Good morning, everybody. We're at the uh, Top Cut Events Peoria Regional, joined by Julia Riley over here. Hello. Uh, we're going to have a special matchup for you because we have one lone Reiju in Top 32. So we're putting them on against a Bonnie. Originally, I had asked if you wanted to have on Twitter uh, Bonnie or Boa or Bonnie and Reiju, and you guys voted for Reiju. So we're going to have it, and it's going to be uh, what is Jorge against Dan Daniel, I believe. So. From what I recall, Jorge is a player coming from Mexico that came with Josh Graham's group to travel here. So, uh, yeah, he definitely came in to win big. He had won a Latin American Treasure Cup or okay. online regional not too long ago, too. So, nice. definitely someone that has the experience of playing at top tables. And a little bit of different rules for top 32 or 16 or whichever we're on. Uh, so, what happens now, we are moving on from a best of one to best of three because not everybody knows. The best of three format is going to be a 60-minute match. And you can either uh, you know, do two games, all three games, whichever. But when the time ends, instead of getting five minutes, we're going to get 10 minutes of overtime. But you still have the two turns each. Two turns so each. a little bit more time to think about your plays, to be more relaxed. And after that, it will come down to the usual tiebreakers, your life, your cards in uh, deck, your characters on board, who took life last, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one specific rule that is particular to Bandai games where that if for some reason uh, time ends on game one or in game three, we go to the, uh, end, of the uh, end of time procedure, you know, the 10 minutes and such. But if it goes into game two, the game will automatically end. And it'll decide the, uh, whoever wins yes. the match by who won the most yeah. games, therefore who won game one. Game. So uh, we highly encourage these players to uh, play at an adequate pace so that they have a full three games yeah, or full absolutely. two games, you know. And we're starting out here. Yeah, Daniel Stoyer and Stuart, pardon mm -hmm. me, and Jorge Carlos Rojas Montenegro. <laughs> well, so we have Bonnie going first. Uh, Rage is a deck that a lot of people wanted to see because people are really hyping it. Because it has a really good, uh, all their cards have really good effects, but they are yeah. all very related to being a less dawn, and red purple law kind of counters that. So, with the recent bans, people are really excited to see Rage. So, it's super nice to see a Rage in top 32 before the bans, too. Yeah, it's, um, I believe it was Europe that had a, a bracket where there were a lot of Rages, like four of them, in, mm -hmm. in a top 32 setting. So, it, it, it does see playability. Maybe, you know, variance and luck happens where they don't Absolutely. see uh, law to contest them. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like Nami. Nami, yeah. sometimes it won't even see law. It yeah, can if happen. You if you dodge your one bad yeah. matchup, usually mm -hmm. it can work smoothly. And Reiju has, like, uh, Reiju started very aggro with the Dawn Minus there. Already started with the baby Reiju. Yeah. S drawing three cards because of leader ability plus Reiju combined. Establishing a body early. Mm. So really strong. And then Reiju has the ability to basically shut down Bonnie yes. by playing Judge. Exactly. Yeah, so that's a, a benefit to the effect well, of the character. Yeah, Judge has a, an effect that if you do a Dawn Minus 1, you can mm -hmm. rest one of your opponent's Dawns. So for Bonnie, that always has that one extra Dawn separated for leader ability. can be pretty strong. And Judge can rest up to two Dawn, so it's mm. even better. So looking at their player's hands, uh, we have Jorge Good with five. several Bonnies, one of each. Okay. And he got the 8-drop kit and a 2K. Yeah, this is not the optimal hand for Bonnie. You're not seeing mm. like the rows you want on curve. Meanwhile, the Rage you has already a, a regular Rage you play down. And the Porch, doing the Porch search. Uh, Porch has a tendency to whiff because they don't run a lot of targets for Foxy Pirates. Yeah. Uh, but Porch's effect that plays a character with 4,000 power or less is perfect to combine with the little baby mechanic that yeah. Raju uses a lot. So the Raju player seems to be going for a really strong early game here. Yeah, and even so, even when it whiffs, it is still a 5k body and it is getting Chopper into this. Chopper is a blocker that if you have less Ramps Dawn than your opponent, it ramps a Dawn. Which normally you are into that. Exactly. Yeah. We're having uh, some yeah, draw, finger pointing over here. Cool. Mm -hmm. He is just reminding him that since he did minus one for Porch, he needs to do the draw with Raju because the draw is not optional. Yes. Uh, like you said earlier, uh, the majority of draws, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, draw effects are mandatory. Mm -hmm. Boa, Mihawk, so on. Mm -hmm. Usually, the boosting attack ones are the ones that are optional. Exactly. Mm 
Mm, the Bonny player doesn't have the best play. He has a Cavendish that he can establish this turn, which allows him to swing six with leader and keep two dawn up. Uh, no, six with leader and keep one dawn up mm -hmm. for leader effect, which is probably the play that we might see here. Um, the question is, he's going to swing a Rage or the life? Because Bonny has a tendency to starve, but I don't think Rage is a deck that can be starved since they can draw so many He goes cards. too fast, yeah. especially when it sees stage, just pitch, search, pitch, search. Yeah. You're going to fuel your discard. Uh, I believe it's the mom that gets cards back too. Yeah, so. the Sora gets mm -hmm. the cards back too. Uh, whatever he swung, we just a see a block. chopper block. Too bad I don't judge out yet. <laughs> oh. Okay, the radio has two baby Ichiji in hand, which is one of the scariest setups you can have for Reiju because they can just keep spamming the 7k body rush. So yep, uh, they has two Ichijis and one big one also on hand. Yeah, the lucky thing is that if they kill the big one, they can so just summon the, from the small one again from trash. Yeah, it's not safe. The best, uh, like the best resource to get rid of those is off obviously bottom decking, but green does not have access to that mechanic. Okay. So Ray just needs to be going for a Rest solid start. That's the rage of yeah. your ability. We got Jorge to decide on what to rest out. I mean, getting rid of it, it can be brought back also. Yeah. I think he's it's just playing defensively yeah. there. And here we go. We're starting off playing the Ichiji, the Ichiji and going Ichiji. for the effect to bring out the big one. He has a lot of 2K hand. I think I see three 2Ks in that hand over there. Who, Daniel? Yeah, uh, yeah the yeah. Oh, player, yeah, I see. Yeah. Oh, I, I There's see. There's like I two or three Soros. I see the yellow hair. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And trying the 5K body going for six. Trying to get those lives starting to go down. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like Bonnie has any of his key pieces yet. We're seeing a lot of search or encounter in the hand, but not pieces. Bonnie's like very defensive deck. So it's like defensive. Re reactive, you could say, because it's always waiting for the attack to do the uh, the rest. It's expecting you mm -hmm. to attack to do half of your Roche or yeah. base of Hawkins. They do have the five cost Bonnie hand that they could use to keep one of Raju's Dawn rested. Mm. And Raju is working with what I believe is three Dawn right now, going to five next turn, maybe four. Yeah, that would be a pretty good hit against them, I think. Yeah, that, that could hold them back a little bit. Uh, not, mm. But we'll see. Even if Bonnie yep. puts down the 8-drop kit, uh, it does have the benefit from Daniel that uh, Daniel can still play out each G and Give reduce 2, yeah, and, yeah, 2,000 the 8-drop kit and make him a 6. And yeah, just so. swing over it, take all the counter from Bonnie's hand. I'm pretty sure that's yep. what the Bonnie has in mind right now, that playing yeah. kit is not the optimal mm. play. Not the highest of Gordon minus 3,000 or Ace minus 3,000, but exactly. it's still pretty good. Yep. And did he point at Ichiji just now? Yeah, the Ichiji okay. cannot attack. Okay, so you got frozen. All right. Hmm. So we're at two dawn up. Two dawn up. Uh, the Rage is in a really solid position with four mm. life still. And Bonnie is already down at three. Yeah, not seeing the uh, the stage is uh, pretty big for Rage, I think. Pretty big. Because... There's no cog to keep things moving for them. They do have the judge in hand, so they could play a little more passive now that they established this very solid board and try to get to that uh, judge spot. Because judge will not only fill the board if the board gets empty, mm -hmm. it also counters Bonnie's leader ability. Uh, straight up fight to Porsche, yeah, right. and we're saving it. We are putting one of the big brothers on the trash. Since he doesn't have the stage, one of the best things you can do is counter with the brothers, and uh, the siblings. Yeah, and the whole deck is just counter. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those decks where it's like, you can't just counter. Oh, no, you got brick. No, it's they're all counter. Yeah, I believe they run 12 uh, non-counter cards and Minimal. 38 counter cards. Yeah. Oh, we see the Finally. stage, which could be really good because he has the baby Ichiji. Does he have the big Ichiji? Is that the second card on the uh, left there? I only saw the small one. There's. Oh, no, that's a, a cheap house. That's yeah. chopper. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Stage one. Stage. Ichiji. He can't really eat Ichiji right now, but maybe he can find the Ichiji mm -hmm. pitching. Let's see, what do we pitch here? That's the real good question. Yeah, the the stage for Raju, uh, you have to discard before doing this uh, mm -hmm. the search, so it's a little Both more Sanji, risky because you Sanji. can whiff, you can Emperor. do many things. Little he pitches the Sanji 2K, looks at that top tree, gonna be getting another Ichiji. So yeah, Pretty as soon good. as he is able to put another seven cost on the trash, this game is gonna go crazy. Right now, he doesn't seem to have any consistent big body plays other than buff lead and put a lot of dawn on their characters. Yeah, it's like chopper could uh, work too because he ramps mm. you and it's a blocker, but still nothing. Yeah. Uh, Jerma, you know, Reju in general, they're not that top top end heavy. It's just it's Judge. Just judge. E so, so it's like, yeah, it's Judge 8,000? Eight, eight into nine. Eight, okay, so that, that is their, their biggest body, okay. Yeah. HG is more like in the middle of that with 7,000. So yeah, he's, That's the reduction. he's trying to go for the Cavendish, rest the porch, gives a 2k to save it, yep. and then we're going six of the Cavendish. Yeah. She's going up for Chopper. Daniel some pressure to get rid of it. Yeah, because Bonnie has a good amount of cards in hand, so it's good to start trimming down. I'll go six of Cavendish. Another Cavendish swing. Thinking about it. Is it worth protecting? And it is. It is very worth protecting. Yeah, the constant restanding Dawn is a pretty good thing for Bonnie to have. So the Rage is at 6 now, so they can't play yeah, Chopper to ramp and go to 7. So we could be seeing a Judge play next turn. And pass. Yeah. Uh, d d d d so he has the Roche. Roche a little late to the game, but better late than yeah. never. And he does have the Bonnie, and he can always just play out the search. Mm-hmm. I don't think. Uh, I mean, he it has. Funny searches it dies. Yeah. For sure. Or he's thinking over here. Search. He's in a rest. Yep. Search first. Search first. Let's see what we get. Viola, baby yeah. five. Apu, baby five. So we have Barto oh. and. Oh. The only targets. one. No, there's an Eroge in there. Oh, without an Eroge. Okay. He already has one. I in saw a green and I thought it was like the grass in the background of Eroge. And this is the Barto that procs when I think is rested. Oh, and he's Ooh. gonna use Kid. Gonna Sorry. does he have? The, he doesn't have the Dawn to attach on Kid. He, so he just puts Kid down, mm. which is a solid Attack. play. But and then he swings with the Cavendish Sports over, gets two Dawn up. Mm. One for leader ability and one for Kid. Really solid play. I'll give me Sanji. And Sanji countering off. Porch. I think you let you let porch go because if you're gonna judge next turn, you're gonna be That's flooding that. your board mm, regardless. 16. Might as well just let it you go. You might as well because yeah. especially the the bo the brothers siblings brother uh, bodies, you want them back from judge. So right. If he is swinging okay. at the rage, you oh he swung at life. Okay, that was smart because if you put the rage in trash, is a lot of value for them. I remain. A they're finally getting the rest of the kid. Yeah, Gonna put the yep. blocker, yep. Pass with one down at two. Cool. All right, it, 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 it's a morphing time? <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Okay, see another, another stage, stage, very pitchable for stage surge. Yeah, it's any German card, right? So yeah. Or no, it's smoke, any card. Bit smoke, any card. Oh, any card? Oh, even yeah, better. Yeah, it's just a card. Okay, we found the baby Ichiji, so now I believe he has all the babies in hand slash in trash. Yep. It's two, two Ichiji, one queen, and what's the rightmost card? Uh, uh, the, the judge. Oh, the He has a judge to That's Ichiji. the rightmost one. Oh. And the Nichi that he just got. Yeah, uh, Rage is in a very good spot right now, just opening the floodgates. 
for this judge play? Yeah, if they uh, they can't do the judge play, it would be really strong for them. Just wondering why they don't swing with the bodies on the field first, if those bodies are going to go away. But he might just not do the judge play. Doesn't seem like he is. Mm. Maybe he wants to do it at 10 dawn or higher dawn, so you don't go too low and don't have any aggression in the following turns. Okay. Especially if you plan to consume your one, minus yep. one on every okay. turn to rest uh, bonus. They're doing the, uh, the bounce. Bounce. He chose to bounce the... Oh, he KO'd the search right now. ETG has two effects. You can KO a two or less or bounce uh, four or less. So we're choosing to KO the, the little Bonnie, which is really good because when kids established on the field, you don't really want them getting extra cards, getting extra resources. Back. I'll swing All right. eight, a kid. We're going uh, eight, eight, slight 1k. Probably going to rest the chopper. Rest. Or a leader. Mm. Uh, they got the redone up right now? Mm, uh, looks like it, yeah. I mean, they could. Oh, no, there's blocker still there. Yeah, the, they can't mm. just go all in. But it's interesting that a 1k counter is taking so much brain math. Oh, yeah, the, he is going to block with the Barto? Okay. Hmm, he's debating it. Uh, I mean, I, th I think the longer you pr prolong it with a blocker active is the best. Absolutely. Because then you can save it for like a bigger swing of sorts. Yeah, no, it's harder. So We're going to go another eight, eight. eight. The blocker goes this time. Let's see. Draws another Cavendish. Bonnie reaches their 10 dawn mark. We're and okay. technically with Cavendish on the field, they are working with 12 dawn. All right, we're, we're doing the crack back it's now. Oh, and the resting yes. Dolphy, resting all three siblings. Uh, yeah, dress the siblings, dress the leader, which could, uh, with Judge, could kind of solve that situation. I go five lead. Uh, well, uh, kid still swings. Queen five lead. Mm. So they, he has to be ready for a six and a nine. So he's debating, do I counter the, the five that is essentially the only one he can use in the counter? I'll give you a cheat. Okay, so he does put the little brother on the trash. I imagine he's going to take the six okay, and block seven. the nine. Right, Goodbye, six, Chopper. Six. Six. Three, two, six. I I'll take. Take the six. So the Rager has, the Rager, no, um, Bonnie has three cards in hand. One of them is a Hody, one of them is a Cavendish. Mm -hmm. Cannot see the other one. So we go nine and we have the nine swing. Goodbye, Chopper. It's chopper. Yeah. Okay, if uh, Rage does get oh. the judge now, they can. Yeah, 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 yeah they're, they're, those three are rested. Mm -hmm. okay. If they oh. can't put the judge down, they can refill the The, the Don board. does go back uh, behind like the Don, Don area. Yeah. They're not stuck there permanently. Uh, yeah, the Don under ECG. The I'll tap stage, track the team. Uh, okay, yes. the judge yeah, pointed it was, out. It, it wasn't he pointed out. Yeah, those go, go back at the uh, starter yeah, refresh phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to be doing the search. We pitched okay, the judge. big Ichiji. We found another judge. Oh, judge is an 8 into 8 correction on my part. Nice alt art over here. Very uh, nice. I mean, considering his trash, Judge seems to be the best option. Mm -hmm. No, he, he's definitely fueled his trash a lot. And then he is going to get tr three cards because he can play an, a baby radio out of the, the whole thing. Bro. The Dofi body on the other side is very intimidating. Even for a that has so much counter. It's a Dofi and an eight dra a drop kit blocking everything out, exactly. walling everything out. So it's a difficult task. Bonnie only has three cards in hand and no blockers. So I think that's the debate that the mm -hmm. Rage player has on their head right now. Do I just go all in 
on this one kid, get rid of it guaranteed, or do I gamble and try to do the judge play? And if they think that they can survive till next turn to do it then, perhaps? Um, uh, but so going tall? Mm -hmm. Someone asked how they play 10 drop Dofi and attach the Dawn on kid. They used Cavendish's effect when attacking Restand to Dawn. That's how they were able to do both mm -hmm. uh, both Dawn management. Yeah, one of Green's thematic is, has a lot of restanding effects. Or like resting. Dawn and characters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like resting, activating, that sort of thing. It's been a thing since uh, day one with Basil Hawkins that would restand when attacking. Mm -hmm. And that's been the identity of Green since, uh, since the beginning. Since yeah. Yep. This is the first time that Green has come back since OPO2, right? Yeah, since the Kinemon days. Since the Kinemon yeah, days. Bunny, Green. Well, Kuro did top 16, or, yeah, I think that's... Kuro? Kuro? Oh, Kuro. Kuro, Kuro, Kuro. Kuro top 16 a long time okay, ago. Okay, so he went for the that's judge card. play. Gonna be trashing that's two cards. That's a requirement mm -hmm. from the judge. As you guys can see, he separates his trashing play. two. One that's is just, like, Germa people, and one is, like, the other cards in the deck. So, who do you play over here? Like, uh, you can only put three bodies down because you don't run the green Power Ranger. So, do you mm, replace the Rage so you can get the Rage you draw, and you replace yep. the Ichichi so you can get the reduction on the on the kid so you can swing with Fresh. And they're letting go blue? Uh, I, I would, uh, yeah, because they already they have a seven cost uh, Ichiji in the trash. Yeah. Is that all? Okay. We're keeping just the Rager, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we drew from Five, the main Rager effect. Okay. Mm. We're going to do Rager effect. Minus Don't one, draw two. And we'll see what we get. And it's going to be... Two baby Rages? Yeah, based on the, the, the hue of the card, yeah. Now we got... Daniel thinking how he's going to play this up. Yep, and we're going to bring out the big Ichiji. The big Ichiji, swinging seven at that kid. That's going to be a six. I don't know if Bonnie has a 2K counter in hand. So that kid could yeah, very well seven. die. Does he have it? Hmm. He could have rested that Bonnie's Dawn if he, does another, if he did another minus one. Mm. And now the um, Dolphy can swing over the judge the judge so yeah, i don't know uh, if i would have done that but i'm sure they know what they're doing oh now we're gonna have a seven swing with okay. bonnie character are we going for a lethal here uh, it is one life left and three swings left so it's yeah, very and possible i don't think bonnie's oh. surviving next turn i think we're going lethal going for the nine Ooh, it, it is not looking great now for okay. Daniel. No, it's not. He's gonna he, he's gonna counter, counter everything card, out. Yeah, one card in hand. There's no oh, crazy gonna, trigger that yeah. you can use, right? Oh, no. he's he just draws drawing a card and, and 14. 14, game two. Yeah, no, that Dofi was very game changing there. He's a goat. He's a goat. <laughs> oh, luckily they <laughs> still right. have other two games that they can possibly mm -hmm. play. The so we're gonna like see yeah. a little uh, more of that Raju and, and Bonnie action. Th that's a strong part. I think the yeah, that was uh, so very back and forth game. Started a little slow with mm -hmm. with Bonnie yeah. setting Gives up. Yeah, time to actually. Yeah, Bonnie uh, was uh, that ten cost Dofi added a lot of like tempo for Bonnie. Gives them a lot no, of space I, to rush, push yeah. for that yeah, last yeah. two lives. Kind of Just like not not seeing the cards early enough uh, was very uh, big on on Bonnie. Made really good plays. Mm -hmm. But uh, eventually yeah. it came back, and setting that 10 drop of Mingo <laughs> and resting yeah. everything was like very crucial three? to Absolutely. that game winning turn. Absolutely. But both uh, players did a really good game. Rolls, Congratulations like, to rolls, them. Like, I, I, they're having a little chat while it's set up their, their board again. Mm -hmm. I need to draw the stage just one turn earlier, I think. Uh, oh, you had it? Oh, I got it later. But, er, I got the stage before. I mean, it's, a, it's not good. It's only four cards in the deck, so. Yeah, this was a very requested deck to be seen because I, I guess people I, that I play more sure, aggro decks like want to uh, see the search how it's going to perform in the future you don't, yeah, based on the I, future limitations that we're going to have with red, green, uh, red, purple, law. Absolutely. Yeah, I think and I was originally running one. Maybe it's like an investment. Do you see how it's doing right now? Mm -hmm. Because 
if it's doing okay now, it's gonna do even better it's next uh, format. Next format when uh, yeah. because Black Maria is still a card that exists, and it is a generic card that can and duel them up too. And it's a 2k counter, so it's not bad in Rage. Well. It's two. Wow, yeah. that, that, that's very powerful. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people are very excited for that. I'm sure we'll see a good amount mm -hmm. of rages and Nats like the in Dallas in a couple of weeks. But you know what? Let's keep Gekwa four. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep Gekwa four. Yeah. The f oh my god. Which of the players were in the was in the higher seat? Do we know that? Jorge. Okay, so Jorge, Jorge chose. was fifth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fifth, and no, Danny was 25th. Jorge is on Bonnie, oh, yeah. right? Uh, yes, Jorge. Like okay. Yeah, he's the Bonnie player. It's interesting uh, that he chose to go first because he started Raju, started with the two cost Raju on turn one. Oh, that so is, Bonnie yeah, did that choose to go one, and Bonnie curve. has a better curve going second. Mm. So I, w uh, I wonder what was the decision there. I'm sure he has a reason. Maybe, yeah, it's that. Um, he also might have a different meta yeah, back absolutely. in Mexico. Uh, it, there is a lot of good players back over there. Uh, we have Nestor, we have Yeko. They're all people who have topped or won regionals back over there or have gone to Chile and topped over there as well. So they definitely know what they're doing and it's uh, very competitive over there. Uh, I imagine we're way ahead on time, though, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, 60 minutes for the best of three. Mm. Yeah. Damn, that's oh. nothing. Wait, oh, I was yeah. playing slow. I should play a little fast. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But I thought he was being a little I thought it was uh, like 60 minutes. Oh, I misread per that. Game. So I was no, like, oh, we have a ton of time. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, my apologies. Okay. Danny's the fifth. Yeah. I read that uh, in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, okay. it was a handwritten bracket, so <laughs> I read the numbers no wrong. Yeah, like Daniel yeah. is the fifth player, and Story Jorge match. is the uh, the uh, no. lower ranked player. Oh, okay, that yeah. makes that that makes sense. Why the the bunny ended up going first? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, my apologies for the uh, mishap. Okay, so uh, we are I'll going into it. round two. Yep. This time the, the the rager gets to choose again, right? Because it's the loser to choose. Yeah, correct. it's like a regular game. Uh, in most TCGs, the one that loses chooses their who goes Absolutely. for second, right? Yeah. So. No, no baby rage is to start there. So we're just gonna. I'll pay one for searching. Okay, we have two good targets, Kid and Cavendish. Oh, we have a 2K, Niji. Same last game. Oh, yeah. The GOAT. Yeah. Bonnie already getting key cards for uh, the following turns. Yeah, getting those Cavendishes, Yerosh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They're sorry. really strong. <laughs> yeah, he gets the Cavendish from the search. <laughs> Mind you, don't forget, guys, that uh, this is a top cut. This is on stream. People get nervous. They do... Uh, Mistakes here and there. Pass. It's not necessarily that it's malicious. It's just little accidents. Yeah, being because on stream is it can be mm -hmm. very stressful. Yeah, yeah. Playoffs, it definitely uh, counts for everybody. You know, us here, the production, the judges, the players. You know, it is a very high stakes situation that we're in. Uh, so sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes they're fixable. So we just make the best of them. Absolutely. Mm. We don't see stage again, so Reiju once again gonna have to play the early game without the I'll stage. And for mm -hmm. the record, I guess I'm being quiet because it's not Wiper plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Same as last game, actually the same. If it was Wiper, I'd be yapping more. Absolutely. <laughs> you know everything about the Wiper. Yeah, we same almost. So we're doing the porch search. Let's see if he hits. The porch search is a whiff. I think they only run 12 he, he already. Targets. Uh, uh huh. And oh. the. Oh, he's he has to. Uh, he has to. Uh, uh, I draw before I play. I think. No, I don't. Oh, okay. What is okay. the sequence that's so happening? Um, the Porsche does minus one to no. search and no. play. No. Mm hmm. So I would imagine that you play first and then you draw. Because you have to finish the yeah. whole card action. All right, back to the library we go. Yeah, let's go read the card. So just get, to be sure. Let's get the VAR over here. Mm -hmm. Give my whistle. Uh, he did. Uh, he does have the seven cost, so he could do another minus and put that 
Early pressure hard on the board. Porsche is P O P O R. But he chooses to pass, which is interesting because then his Niji doesn't. His Porsche doesn't get rested. Yeah, in any order, <laughs> then, then you may play one. Of, yeah, if yeah, you, you search, finish, then play. You search, you play, yeah. and then you draw from mm -hmm. the leader ability. Yeah, it, it all has to go in that particular order. The Cavendish coming down again. Mm. Cavendish being clutch, getting those uh, Dawn restood for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those uh, little things that just keep adding up, like letting a Bonnie stay up, letting a Baby Five stay up. Yep, we're gonna give uh, a. A little Foxy Pirates 2K there. Okay, passes up over to Raju. And then I feel like we haven't even seen much of the Bonnie uh, thematic kit yet. Like no, we no haven't. Basil was played. There was no urgency to see one or get rid of one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like green. The has Bonnie didn't have the best early game, like that four dawn that you played the mm -hmm. four or five dawn that you play rose, yeah. six, seven you play Hawkings. Uh, but they did have a really good top end. So the Dofi mm -hmm. was very impactful, I agree. Oh also don't don't send this like play Soro? Yeah, it should play Nine calls yeah, Zoro. Yeah, so we don't know if this uh, if Jorge is running a Zoro. I should probably be knowing this. <laughs> no, uh, it's closed deck list, so No, it is open deck list. I asked uh, the judge. Yeah, when it's well, it's open to the For players. Us. And, uh, right, it is. Uh, what you might call it, when there is a top cut, mm -hmm. the players themselves yeah, get told. Interesting. Yeah. He was 25. Okay, uh, we're set. gonna do the double minus. Play the rage. He is at five cards, so he can draw three. Very, very strong. Two from rage, one from leader ability. That's some good fuel, some good counter. We can also summon the Ichiji and have a 7k body on the field. Mm. That is uh, the incorrect deck list, my bad. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I believe this is the one. Oh, okay, uh, Jorge. Two, yeah, yeah, two he, 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 has, he, has, he has a couple Zoros here and there. Yeah, the the hard thing for Bonnie regarding Zoro is because Zoro is an absolutely unsearchable mm. card, and your only yeah. pure draw mechanism it so would be Barto. Barto rest has his rested effect character. Oh, I see in this rest only nine two Ks in this deck. Mm -hmm. uh, three, two, four, nine, uh, nine. Anyone else a two K in this lineup here? Part no, just nine two Ks, right? Sure. Nine two Ks, two okay. zero drops. Yeah. Hmm. I think we saw Violas yeah. on his deck though. Oh, like with this. The surge, but I don't think. This is. Uh, oh, he does get the we'll ETG out. Yeah. Wow, the like ETG out into a blocker. Yeah. Uh, chopper, so he gets that one blocker. little Always. ramp. Yeah. Very nice for Raju. Yeah. Yeah. Putting that board at consistent no pressure from Raju <laughs> is, Wait, is uh, pretty big. And that's just the thematic that they have to do. Just swarm the board, draw lots of cards, ramp up, they're done. And very similar to last game, the Bonnie five cost comes down freezing the Ichiji, which was exactly how it went last yeah. game. Blocking out a 7k attack is, is pretty good, I'd say. Absolutely. Uh, the Cavendish gonna get two dawn up there for him to work with. I wonder if a Rose is coming No, down. Russell, the uh, HG e is it's a minus 2k. Yeah, minus yeah, 2. Not 3. This is not Ace. He's Ace at home. <laughs> hey, he's an Ace that comes from trash. I, I'm fine with that. I, I suppose so, yeah. And it's also easier to get, for sure. Way for sure. easier. Yeah. So oh, we see the stage. Very, very nice for Aju there. A little late, but better late than never. I'll play stage. Yeah, so now we went from... I never saw stage two. I saw it too late. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to be pitching the okay, big so HG, finding the Germa Searcher. So we're probably going to see another search real quick here. Yes, I also don't read radio cards because... Uh, so as you can tell, the Germa have a color thematic that copies the colors of their suits, right? So yeah. the HG is the red, the rusher, the reducer. Uh, Yonji is the blocker because he's green. 
Uh, the blue uh, does weird the, things. The it's drawn blue. ramp, yeah, right. <laughs> but then uh, the, the blue, it bounces. It bounces but the thing is, it's a very specific bounce because in the blue uh, thematic, most of them bounce anything, yours or mm -hmm. theirs. He only bounces opponents. The opponents. So uh, something very interesting to uh, uh, catch because you could have the impression that, oh, it bounces anything. Play Kaya. Yeah. Bounce and it's like, oh no, you can't do that. I think we're gonna bounce the Roche back to hand, yeah. Yeah. So that's three down to spend for later. Draw, uh, he draws another set for cost, Ichiji Baby. The Bonnie that? is playing uh, more aggro than actual uh, Bonnie actually plays, because I I think I the player of course uh, knows very well that Rage is a deck that if you go into the long game, Rage you can I'll do a lot five, of five. things. So he's d like poking at the life. Yeah. He's always like pushing that one counter. Especially now that they have stage, they're just gonna keep searching and searching and searching, fuel on their discard, getting whatever they want. Yeah, you cannot their give them that much time, especially because they can keep, keep yeah. playing these rages and their hand size doesn't go down. It's not that much glass cannon like Lois, but it is mm -hmm. somewhat fragile in comparison. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. And I got the draw still. Did he just draw the Zoro on that cost? No, that's an alt Oh, he did. Oh, okay. here we go. The Zoro is very scary. The comeback getter right here. You know, that is, I don't really know how, uh, <laughs> unless Raju is running bottom or deck events, which I don't think they are. How many cards do um, have? Yeah, I don't know that's how That's something really hard to play around. If it was a single 9K swing, it might be passable yeah, to play around. Yeah. But seeing that it's a... Uh, Basically unstoppable, 9k swing. Even more, he can put Dawn on there. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to get two Dawn up from the Cavendish. Having that Cavendish on the board. Oh, oh no. Okay. Fre fresh leaves happened. Yeah, the Cavendish being on the board for the entire game is so hurt. It hurts so much for the Rager player. He's going to have to take that life. And the chopper block For gets seven the seven. Block, yep. <laughs> no, the, not the mangas or yeah. Yeah, he, he's not a real high rarity player, okay. manga or bust. <laughs> and we're pitching Ichiji. The Ichiji. The Rage only has three cards in hand, so a board clear is not impossible other than Zoro. But Red I Rock looks pretty good, you're right, but it's it'll be very specific tech. Not sure they'll be running that. Yeah, six dawn for rage here right now, it's very consuming. It will cost all their dawn, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, uh, they wouldn't have much else what to do. Half to big three would rage you have here to just go for board, clear him out, let Sora be the lone attacker and just Take it and counter what you can. Yeah. Maybe. So he lets the Bonnie go, mm -hmm. which is solid. I would have swung at the Cavendish. I think the Cavendish adds more value. Because Zoro needs three Dawn rested, and Cavendish can get those Dawn back. That is true. That is uh, like two sides of the, of the coin where it's like, do you want to get more search or you want to get more attack? And they're both very hard. You, you know, they're a tough choice. Yep, he's going to be playing the porch. Let's see if he hits the chopper. Hitting the chopper here could be very helpful. And 2K. He hits a 2K, not bad at all. And he gets to play the baby and draw another one. This is like a load yeah. of the counters. Right, yeah. And draw one on that. Okay, he drew another 2K. we love to see that for Raju. He has a baby rager that if he that he could try to dig for more counter to try to survive that triple potentially 17. Okay, so we are really gonna clear the board there. Yeah, they should because Cavendish becomes a four. Mm -hmm. The rage you can swing out both rages, leader and character. Uh, Dan with a pretty pretty decent stack of cards, mm -hmm. not necessarily all counter. We have a an event in the hand for sure. That's minus one counter card. Uh, a straight up five. Yep. Five out of four. And Horia takes it. He has to let it go. I don't think the Bonnie has the counter for it. They only have three cards in hand. And 
Oof, this is dire here. Mm. Just loading up on everything, minus the Don needed to restand Zoro. Uh, could be really dangerous. Yeah, no, he's gonna do the search. Let's see if we can find him a 2K or something. Or a blocker. Oh no, he doesn't run the German blocker. Yeah, they don't play Yanji. So. so the only blocker would have been the. <laughs> Russell, you're killing me. <laughs> Go home, please. Yes, they should have indeed attacked the Zoro. And hey, that's just, active. Just eat the Zoro. Yeah. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we are finally digging onto Bonnie's life a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I think if they have like six cars in hand. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, it, it, it is quite... Oh, he played oh. the Porsche oh, that turn. Oh, no, 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 you use... Yeah. Ask me. Okay. You guys are 2k with that. Okay, he gets he gives him the wow. counter for the 7. He's not going down to two lives. All right, now we're going to have Soro locked in for a triple swing for a potential game right now. Mm -hmm. Is the Rage There's coming down for more draw? Yep. Rage is really trying over here. Minus one gone. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't tap. That's okay. Okay, okay uh, we're going to do Rage. You. Draw more card. two. I mean, that's the the Rage's strength. Mm -hmm. you, they will always draw, so they can maybe always have counter. Yeah, a couple of 2Ks. And nine. Uh, that, 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 that's still. Fast. I don't think it's enough. Mm. It depends. He has two life. If those lives are two two Ks, mm. he could have two enough two to two survive two another sixteen. Two two nine. How many cards? Seven. Seven. Ten, Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Yeah. 13. He could survive Seven. one swing probably, if he gets a lot of two Ks. And the rage you did pass with one dawn up, so it's kind of the dawn that was on porch. Anyways. I, 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 yeah, I wouldn't have. Change much you wouldn't have changed the outcome yeah. of that turn. Games, well, decks nowadays, they don't really have much like on the counter mm, yeah, uh, defense need. side. That was mostly like a red thing, like playing Whitebeard. And yeah, having who else that. would play? Nami. Nami, Na has a lot Nami of is the only other deck that uses uh, Donna for defense, by the way. Everybody else has opted to become more aggro esque with the zero drop. Mm hmm. We are here pre-planning our dawn um, yeah, I think allocation here. Is he just thinking if he's gonna put three dawn aside and swing? How much is that? Seven dawn on door, sixteen three times. Fifteen lead. And we're going he's in. Oh, he's keeping one dawn up for leader ability, in case needed. Would that make a difference? Let's find out. Yeah, it, that 1k might make a difference. So we got a 2k. The opponent wants to see the trash. Probably count the amount of 2ks. There's 15, right? Yeah, but... 15, Zoro? Yeah, Zoro is swinging for 15. Okay. Hmm. Does he have it? Uh, how much the uh, Rager has three, four, two Ks? I see three moms. Right. Yeah, and there's the. So that'd be 11. Yeah, okay, uh, he's gonna one. take this other one. Yep. Pre standing with a purpose right here. It's a Rager, so he does. <laughs> see? 15, so. Seven. Nine. nine 11, eleven. 13. 13. 13. 14, 15, 15, yeah. 16, 16. okay. Oh. The Raju wow. got the counter. And now yeah. Raju is probably going to go for Leto. That's their only choice. They do have a big board. In mm -hmm. They have a lot of able bodies. And everything is actually, yeah, everything they have is. Uh, is it two bricks on Bonnie's hand? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, a whole six swings into three life and three cards in hand. gonna be five. Hand. He has leader ability. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right. You're That's right. why. Yeah. If he had swing sixteen, he wins though. 
Oh, no. Because he didn't have another 1K to okay. get out of 16. He had Judge. Being half-hearted uh, might have cost him. Yeah, and he drew another Ichiji. Does he have the the baby? I don't think he does. Sometimes you got to have the heart of the cards and just trust, I guess. You do. He's going to rest the other Ichiji. Yeah, the other seven is gone now. Mm, Life yeah. taken. Four cards in hand. He has how many doors? Is that five? He's going to do yeah. triple. Yeah. Four sevens? Yeah, four mm -hmm. sevens, I think. Or, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take. I mean, the Rager doesn't have another choice. They have to go for it. Yeah, there, there, there's no way out of this uh, sort over here. It looks like he can he can only swing seven, seven, six. So I think I would have swung the six first. Uh huh. Yeah, because you don't know. Because you last don't know the been. Yeah, he has Cavendish, Rouge. Oh. And two. Oh, he's going nine, nine, five. Okay. Right? Seven, no, seven, seven, yeah. All right, so counter. Seven, no life for seven. Oh. And bricks. And wow, bricks, yeah. Close, yeah, Hody. And, and the, okay. the, the Rager takes okay. it, yeah. So we're going to go to game three. <laughs> we're going Kay. to game three. They have more 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, that, that's time. Mm -hmm. And it's. Uh, then they yeah. have the ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Well, yeah. it's a two turns, but so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That was a pretty, pretty uh, back and forth game. Uh, yeah, I feel like if you were gonna commit to the Zoro, you probably commit all the way uh, and leave the yeah that uh, that one don. That one don made all the difference. He did. So now I wonder if that's gonna be in the back of uh, Jorge's mind. Yeah, that was really what, funny. You know, because that definitely that it can crazy. change your mental. Mm -hmm. The fact that you knew, like, if I could have done it this differently, that would have been it right there. Yeah, and uh, and it's always a thing like how many times can your opponent counter out of a 16k <laughs> swing? Not many times, not many decks can do that. I think Whitebeard and uh, Nami are the only ones that yeah, comfortably was, were doing that. I'm glad they both drew decently though. Like, so now it is. Uh, no, no complete breaks. Oh, uh, on Bonnie's court to cho choose who goes first? The first time Bonnie gets to choose because uh, yeah. cause they, yeah, the first two games that yeah, right. the Rage chose. So we'll see if it pans out on their favor. Uh, go second. Okay. Nice. I was choosing the correct one. <laughs> uh, people are saying that he had it's a 10 cost Dofi that he could have played that turn. That's the, uh, I'm not sure at what point in time he got it, but he did present it at the end when he conceded uh, the match. Okay, so yeah. Uh, in that case, I think if you wait one more turn, play the Dofi, keep their bodies rested, and then you mm -hmm. get guaranteed next turn. But I can understand why you feel safe going 15 three times. Yeah, 15 is a humongous number for sure. And <laughs> to a 5k leader, that's exactly huge. yeah, yeah. So it's like there's deck being full of counters, yeah. saved it, and Daniel filtering his entire hand get more and more cards with stage okay. with Reju okay. all these other things definitely to help out yeah, absolutely and the Porsche getting the Porsche 2K. getting yeah. that 2k was also the Porsche crucial. getting that 2k yeah no that was a very intense game good for them so this turn this game decides it all who goes to top 16 and top 16 it's gonna be uh, Essentially, they're playing off for a Charlotte category price card. Yeah. The yes. Yeah. Sixty four got the pudding. Top 30, uh, oh, 30, no. 32 is just as is. It's just invite. Six, invites, correct. I think there's some Packers leaf. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's like for a that, I believe. You get the finalist pack. First oh, week. true. Finalist packs. Yeah. They're the uh, former the, the Japan 7-Eleven promos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're pretty nice. They are. I managed to buy a couple in That's Japan when I went to Osaka. They're like, oh, they're in the wall. Let's buy them. <laughs> but okay. they have Hall of Foil here. Raju okay. opened the Ooh, stage. That's double stage. Solid. Already pitches a stage. Already finds a baby Raju. That's a yep. really solid for Raju early game there. Mm -hmm. Daniel starting off with the uh, right start over here. And I see our Raju. I was, I was going to say, I had that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Okay, we're seeing the Bonnie Bonnie surge. <laughs> Yeah, I cut. think he only has double kid as target there, so. Guess what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Exactly. Stack. The big stack. Okay. Five. Five into the little Bonnie. Five five. You cannot let Green get their searchers sticking on I'm the board because they give him oh, so much value. There's been so many instances where I've seen people just ignore searchers, and it is a death sentence. Oh, so hard. Many moons ago, it was a big Pasadena event. My friend Andres, he got second place in the event mm -hmm. because he was playing film kit okay. in, a, in a world full of dofies that everybody was playing green purple. And the player that he played, he just Larry. let Nami run wild. Oh like my space. god. He let Nami run wild and he came and back to bet him at the end. Especially Nami because uh, Nami's yeah, an attacker too because mm -hmm. like this blockers they're not gonna, uh, this searchers they're not yeah, gonna yeah, go for Nami life but then Nami goes mm -hmm. hard. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so he plays the baby rage. You're gonna do that minus draw three. Is that four? Okay, I know that was... Daniel's not the only Chicago local. Um, with, there's a couple others I believe too so mm -hmm. definitely more to go around. Okay. Oh, he was doing search, that's why. Okay. okay. That's why it was five cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the bunny, I think they're just going to go A to lead. Yeah, a to lead. Mm -hmm. Can't, I think the rage okay. might be able to counter, but it's probably not worth that's, that's a lot of cards for Lots a very initial uh, play. play yeah. You like to hold your 2Ks. For One that nine. Zoro swing in the end, yeah. you know. Okay. We could see a Porsche coming down to summon the baby Ichiji that he also has in hand. And Let's see what we're gonna do. What stage. are we getting? We're getting oh, another baby Reiju. Alright. Reiju is another card that was contested for getting somewhat bands. Uh, Address, yeah, for banned or limiting and such. It, 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 it's a very strong card. Mm, yeah. uh, it does have two conditions, though. You have to have less than five in hand, and you have to be a less or equal yeah. don than your opponent. So even though it's a strong card, not all purple decks play it. Right, yeah, because it has to be a specific kind of purple deck. Yeah, because if you think about uh, it, Raju and Red Purple are the only purple Pluffy decks. Pluffy can probably do it too. No, Pluffy wants to ramp. You're taking your life, you're going higher. Raju doesn't work in Pluffy. Oh, okay. Well, they, they have some dumb minus effect for the ramp. You're correct, yes. Yeah. I feel like yeah. Raju thrives in Raju, of course, mm -hmm. and in Red Purple Lock, because both decks keep themselves in like a really low uh, down count. Okay, we're going to be giving a zero cost event and a Hody. Hody has not been the savior this uh, oh, yeah, today. No. Yesterday, Hody, Hody, was, Hody was the MVP. The MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And so far, um, I think we've pretty much seen most of Raju's kit in these two games into a game three for Bonnie. Have we seen everything? Mm. We have, right? Mm -hmm. Dofi, Soro, the yeah. Drapke. Yes, yeah, so we've seen the greatest hits from both players here. Mm -hmm. uh, so now it's a matter of who sees their, who sees their, 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 key their races first. first yeah, yeah, exactly. Pass. No Dom active? No. Gonna be starting the turn for Radio there. Gets a chop block. Oh, uh, Basil, finally. Oh, yeah, the Basil is strong. And that is a 7 that can match Ichiji's energy. Mm -hmm. The thing is, uh, if he is able to get that Ichi uh, that Basil somewhat rested by blocking or something, he can play another Ichiji, reduce it by 2, and then um, attack it. Yeah. I think that's their only removal on, on Hawking's possible. Yeah, Brute Force is the only action they can possibly take against it. Yeah, Bonnie does not have that Dawn up. So it's free attacks here. So, yeah, and oh. he, do you see, he refuses to rest the Hawkings because mm. he sees those four Dawn up, uh, even though there's the Porsche coming down. All right. 2K blocker or whiff? Yeah. So we're going to get the 2K, 2K block, 2K that counter. Is a uh, correct yeah. observation. We are playing a 60-minute game, and there's about seven so minutes left on the clock. So protecting your life as much as possible it is a valid uh, option here. Mm -hmm. Definitely change your gameplay. 
as you're aware, time is coming to an end. You know, like any other game or sport, as time comes to an end, you want to play more defensively to guarantee your, your spot, I, okay, I would like cool. to say. Mm -hmm. We're just organizing some sequencing no, no. stuff there. On, uh, when do you draw and when do you yeah. ramp the dawn? I'll play another. And then he, was seen. He oh, the blocker is blocker into, okay, so he recovered uh, all the dawn that he minus this they're turn. They're both parking the bus now. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is sad. Why is he sad? But the boxing parts are so fun. Oh, Zoro on hand. He's still at like eight dawn, so Zoro is definitely not coming down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there could be some <laughs> resting. Oh, the third body. time resting the Ichigi. That Ichigi is not getting anything done. Oh, wait, uh, six. That Bonnie has been the assist no, king that Bonnie this has entire been match. Putting some work to that. Yeah, well time Bonnie is definitely really good. The like an example, another good one will be like resting a dawn to deny you of your curb. It's a really strong play as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, both boards are pretty intimidating right now. They both have like a 7K, a 6 slash 5. It's looking solid. Mm. 7 to me. We'll see what they put down. I guess um, the five minutes left. Uh, yeah, whatever defense they can get for Reju, the best. Because yeah. I think that's the only blocker they play, right? Because they don't is. play Yonji, so they either counter they or they block. Not. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a little stage, getting a 2K, mm. always nice, when you're putting a non-counter uh, uh, yeah, non on the trash. We've yet to see a judge in hand so far. He could do a judge play this turn, but with his current he, board, he might just try Oh, and, okay, is it second, second left? Okay, I got it. Yeah. I saw it shining in his hand. Yeah, if he was going to play the judge, he should have done it before, of course, swinging because of the dawn oh. rest. But maybe he's not particularly worried about them. Yeah, but uh, strategies do change. We're nearing to the end of time. It, it is going to be a calmer 10 minutes once that happens, so definitely more time to... Clear your head, make the right play, but it does limit you, limit you to a two-turn siege. Mm -hmm. And right now, to make you uh, as a reminder, it is going to be two-turn siege in 10 minutes. And five. highest life, then characters. Sorry, sorry. Highest life, then deck count, then characters. So as it stands right now, based on the speed of the deck that Raju is, if for some reason they end up on a tie on life, then raid you potentially could lose out he on deck count. The judge. And we have Judge bringing out the forces here. Now he, he pitched two, and now he's going to call the babies out. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be out. really strong. Maybe full aggro is a play here. I mean, yeah, if you can push Bonnie yeah. down to one life. Especially because they're higher life. Yes. So swinging out fast and closing in, countering everything you got left, making sure you have mathematically more life. It's interesting, Ooh, he bouncer. chose to trash the chopper. Interesting. Uh, Oof. I mean, he probably feels safe with the amount uh, of counter he has in hand. So, to clarify, when it's best of one, offline in person, it is a 30 minute Might timer, down, five minutes overtime. When it's online, we grant you a little bit more time. 35 minutes of gameplay and in five minutes. Right now we're in a top cut situation. It is a best of three. So when the 60 minutes ends, we're at 10 minutes, but it's still two turns each. Okay, so now we're going to seven rush alive. The Bonnie has to take it. Is it is 10. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I completely forgot. <laughs> All right. I shouldn't have. Yeah. yeah. How many downs Coming down to the wire with Four. under three minutes over here. Mm -hmm. I guess she's active now. Roach, uh, Zoro on hand. I mean, Zoro could be a viable Bonnie player. with one life at the pace Probably that they're now. going. It's probably going to hit better. turn zero when it's raid use turn. Maybe their best choice is putting yeah. like an A-cost kid to try to protect Why that one life. But still not looking great with that board against you. 
with the judge on the other side being able to arrest your dawn, it's very scary. Mm -hmm. Oof. Very critical moment for Jorge. He has to figure out a way out. So. Mm -hmm. He could turn drop Delphi freezing the EGG, the both EGGs and the Raju. Mm -hmm. And since his Dawn is going to get There's rested regardless because of Judge, uh, it's somewhat okay if he doesn't have the Dawn up, mm -hmm. anyways. Three. Five lead. And the Bonnie's going in for a. Uh, Soft five, five lead. Yep. Yeah, I think you, you use auto counter this. Yeah. You just want to invest on having a higher life back on right now. Yeah, I think his only 1Ks are babies. That's why he's debating if he's going to mm. pitch a 2K or he's going to oh, hold sorry. the babies. That's okay. I'll give you a he gives a 2 oh, Okay. He so they're conserving all the babies. On, yeah. On wow. Oh, that's okay. Bunny, character swing. Ten, oh. dawn, up. Oh. Sorry. Jorge needs to make this fast, or uh, so it's going to become turn zero at the end of his turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think at the very least it would work out best if he were to end, so it gets on Daniel. Mm hmm. Uh, what's the play here? I don't think he has enough counter to do almost anything other than mm. Kid. Kid or Dofi, of course. They mm. both establish. Uh, and we're swinging out. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock and the counter. Okay, with Navy card. That's the, uh, the that's one the makes you discard. Gion. You know, yeah. she makes you. Discard or? Uh, if you use an event, yeah. you have to bottom deck a card. Oh, from it's your bottom hand. deck, not discard. Okay. Really strong Delphi. against Nami. All right, 17. If he does it within the last hand, yeah. if the he ends turn right now, I'd be so pro right now. Oh, he, he ended did. right on Daniel's turn. So Daniel's going to automatically become turn zero turn in zero. three, two, one, and... Okay, the judge is yeah. probably announcing it for them. Yeah, so Daniel is now turn zero. He's going to go back to Jorge, then to Daniel for his last turn, and then lastly Jorge, two okay. turns each. Yeah. So now we're on more more relaxed 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, how many guys are? I'm not saying... Uh, you know, one, play two, one three, turn in five minutes, five, of course. Six, six, six. But uh, yeah, definitely a lot more smoother than five, for sure. Oh, so he just plays a baby Ichiji over the other Ichiji, Minus probably five. to get that reduction on the Hawkings. No Make him weaker. No free blocks for the Hawkings. Yeah. And does he have a baby Rager in hand? I don't think he does. Because he Daniel could draw has two more shots to keep him at a lower life, while mm -hmm. Jorge has to get him to equal life or less yeah and the last life is taken that is Jorge ooh. doesn't seem to have a lot of counter in hand counter the the Chuke and the Roche we're gonna and go like soft, five. soft five he has Zoro he put Jorge in a spot over here and giving out the Barto and last swing the nine goes nine he's gonna have to block that one and yeah the, and block the Bezo is a five so he dies even if he, oh man. We're going to turn one, that this was really turn zero. Yeah, this is really tough for uh, Jorge now because this is my Daniel one, has right? a full board. You could potentially clear three characters, but that's still, you know, three other bodies who can attack, oh. The Rage is not gonna let a body go other than for Dofi. Mm -hmm. At least I don't think so. And then do you? Do you establish the kid into a blocker if you have it? Oh. Because I do think they have kid into Barto. But I might be it, wrong. It seems very dire right now for Jorge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's seeing the writing on the wall now because there's not much defense that he can have. And he extends he his hand. Oops. And oh Daniel. I, I rolled out of my mind. Oh, With Rage yeah. advances to the top 16. Oh the Rage did I dropped, it. I dropped the, the last game. Yeah. That was no, yeah, that was very really back and really forth game. game. The the clears pretty close three. I had I had huge like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was a uh, very yeah. contested game from both players. They both saw their aces and. Oh my they, God! Look at oh that hand! Boy. Oh Lord! Hey, that uh, is card I dropped, games. I dropped, I dropped is the R&D, mm -hmm. you know, and it's uh, 
it shows yeah, I got like the medal of the players the when world. they're in that position and they're still coming at it with a smile yeah. because Absolutely. new things happen. It is card games, it is RNG, it's luck based. You're not gonna have you know what? an unbeaten record every day. Yeah, and they sure. and they all yeah. did a pretty good job. They all knew yeah, what they were doing. Yeah, it was doing. a very good match. Uh, I'm not you, sure you of any of the results because right now we've transitioned to a pen and no, paper method to see a bracket. So as soon as we get more information on what decks have advanced, we'll let you know. You but as one card. I posted yeah. to you guys I last did, night, we had a plethora of uh, law okay. decks, 13 law decks, 13 7 laws. Luchis, a lot of single individual decks or a little two offs. What was it? Uh, that was the, Boa, right? One Boa. Yeah. We got to find out if Boa made it out or not. They had a bunny. Uh, I saw there was only wow. one black, yellow Luffy. Too, uh, okay. the, the, the single ability. black, yellow Luffy, a single Boa, a couple of NLs, and... Right. Yeah, uh, that yeah. was for the top 32, by the way. Yeah, there are three Bonnies, uh, one already so guaranteed hard, advanced. Uh, oh, Chidolf is made top 32. To to, yeah. well, I thought it was three at first, and yeah. then I completely misread the uh, oh, wow. yeah, player because they're all blue cards, and you, your brain automatically assumes. No, and they run the same package, essentially. Mm, very similar package, yeah. It's just the preference of leader, for sure. Mm -hmm. There's one that had a... What was it where it's... Literally the same deck, but different leader. I forget. It was one instance back a few sets ago. Huh. Um, but anyways, yeah. Oh, and Moria. Uh, Moria I believe Mara was one of the Moria players and our person. Yes. Yeah. We have a whole background behind us covering our back, Absolutely. so I can't peep and see uh, <laughs> who's still over there. Uh, but it is end of time. We ran our timers simultaneous to the actual people playing in the back. So this should be ending pretty soon, if not moving on to the next round of Top 32 yeah. uh, in a few minutes. And yeah, I think we can go on a short break and I'm gonna find out for you what made it out and I'll update you guys on that. So Sounds great. We'll catch you in a minute. Okay, bye.
Hey guys, and we're back for top 16. And you know how I said, oh, we got a boa on top 32? Well, we have one in top 16. Yay! Yeah. So we're going to be having Luchi against Boa Hancock. Yes. And let me put this over here. The matchup, this is a very cr crucial round, I would say, because this is the, the round for the cereal and the price Charlotte category. Yes. So a lot on the line for this particular round. We have uh, Pedro Cabral, otherwise known as Kush, from uh, the band ID. And oh, this, the gentleman's had it right here. Uh, pardon, I was away from my keyboard. Yeah, oh, it was Diego. It was Diego Dimas. Okay. I feel like I should have known that because. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you get over there? Uh, this is a Dexter's participation. We got the Altamar. Oh, nice. You got yeah. Altamar. Mori is pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. Nothing else, though. But yeah, Mori is a pretty good card nowadays, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabo, too. It went Sabo? up in value quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, the base Sabo is $40. Uh, yeah, anyone that, uh, that uh, invested in uh, Porsche Stonks also yeah. made out big. <laughs> The penny card is now worth something. Mm -hmm. It went from ten cents to five dollars. That is a whole four for four right there. <laughs> Cute. All right, and we're starting out mm -hmm. with the base rarity Boa Hancock leader. Yes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Boa's going what first. What is that hand? That's Temp Tempest and Islovi, Sabo, Helmepo, Spandine. The pudding is very in, uh, very good Sengoku to have Searcher. it. He is running nine cost Mihawk. That's interesting. There's a Not secret Sanji. And yeah, yeah, because if you're playing Sanji, you play the Mihawk, and he has that on setup already. No, the, uh, the Sanji comes from the top deck. Uh, like, Sanji plays the card oh, on your no. top deck. That's but it's still yeah, good. Okay. He can still sequence it to put, like, another mm -hmm. big body out. It's still a decent impact play to uh, put down. So Two big bodies against Luchi can be stressful for Luchi, because mm -hmm. reducing those two bodies might be hard. Especially right. when Boa has access to all the bottom deck mechanics, so they can bottom deck your important mm -hmm. pieces. They can bottom deck your Rebecca's. They can bottom deck your Hina's, your Luchi's. I mean, no, I don't. I don't think Luchi runs Hina's. You guys know what I mean. So we did have uh, Pedro start up over here with Sage. Yeah. So very good start already. Very good start. And we have the Diego. Boa player was yeah. stacking their deck with the yep. three cost Dofi and then passes. Two K I'm putting in hand. Okay. Mm, looks like the Luchi has a Sabo, a Spandan, Rebecca, Spandine. Not sure if they have the brook. A brook right now could be very nice to get rid of that Delphi. So I guess to clarify, Boa is anything removed. So No, yeah. it's bounced, right? No, uh, it's removed from the official translation. It says oh, removed, removed from the field. Okay, so that is a very broad statement that can help out on whatever condition, bounce or bottom decking. And then so you draw a card yeah. from that. So that's actually a very big change in wording. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And he plays a Rebecca to play the Brook and KO the Sengoku. Okay. Just a small game right now. He did mill uh, into the Brook, which was very nice for him because he did mm -hmm. not have a Brook in trash. To work on that before. Uh, I'm not particularly sure. I would assume this is similar uh, on the odds, like the Delphi matchup, I'd say. Uh, I would say uh, Boa has more ways of drawing than Dofi. Dofi can mm. sometimes run out of cards because mm. you're always like pumping out like Jimbei into something. If you don't have the uh -huh. Weevil to get a card back, sometimes your hand can go low. Why a, why a Boa can sustainably keep cards in hand? Does plain. But I think black Sanji is Boa's tough matchup. Mm. Does playing the Sanji mean you don't? Play the big Kaido and no, no. Yeah. Sanji only plays nine or less. No, no, no. Like play in the deck of role, oh, and he yeah, does really. not. No, that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, the Kaido can be kind of clunky. It's interesting. He's running the five cost yeah, ace. Yeah, it is. You draw stacks. four. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, he's running the five cost ace we saw yesterday. Oh, on that's the, the blocker one yellow. too. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Two red rocks ready to get anything back to the bottom deck. Uh, that brook needs to go. That brook is doing a lot of damage there, KOing the the little blocker. I think we're going to see a Sabo coming down right now. Yep. Sabo, draw two, trash two. Fantastic card. 
yeah, unfortunately, there's not much Sabo can do to protect things in this uh, deck. Yeah, uh, Boa matchup. doesn't have any yeah, KO effects, no KOs. but still helps you organize your trash mm -hmm. and refresh your hand. Especially because, as we saw yesterday in a few games, Luchi has a problem with uh, low counter counts because they run so many bricks and so many 1Ks. So it's uh, it's good. Sabo is always good. So, let's see. Bo is going to their 5 down turn? No, 7. And we could see a Gravity Blade here. Uh, oh, he's already choosing to keep those down on Boa and swing over the Brook. He could yeah, rest Sabo and give a 2K, which I think is what we might see mm -hmm. here. Oh no, he and does he let the let's brook go. go. Of the brook, yep. Oh, we and get the blocker ace with the stack. You draw two, put two back. So he can be setting up that Sanji into Mihawk that we talked about. But now putting the Miho mm -hmm. the, the Mihawks back in the top deck. Yeah, because if he was a seven, he probably put Mihawk as the second card because the first one he draws, the second one he plays. All right, we're going back to Luchi. And starting off with that stage is really, really strong now that you have this inherent cost reduction from the get-go that's undeniable, basically. It's just a matter of seeing his key cards that can also go in hand, like the Luchi Sukeo. Mm -hmm. So we are already, like, reducing so the ace. Spanda. We're going to play Brook to remove. Yes. To trash, I mean. Two down left. Gonna swing with the Sabo. He's gonna take that. No triggers. And then seven. Another seven. swing. We do meal a Moria there. It's one last Moria. And Boa takes it. Boa takes it. I think we're gonna see the nine play here. Sanji into Mihawk, bottom deck, the Sabo. Oh, and this is something you don't see very often. We're actually seeing two monocolor leaders. Yes. Yeah, normally it's just the Gecko, mm -hmm. just the Luchi. Now we're seeing a Dofi, we're seeing a Boa, we have Bonnie. We have a more a bigger variety of individual color leaders now. Yeah, if he successfully does the Sanji into Mihawk play, I think he one of them at least survives oh. the turn. To play the Mihawk, Stonks. bottom deck, the Sabo, oh, that's so beautiful. We love to see it. And then he has more than five cards in hand, so he doesn't get the draw, unfortunately. Yeah, well, bottom decking is still a really, really good thing to happen, so yeah. it's not that big of a loss. He, are, he has another Sabo in trash. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that there's now two nine cost bodies that need yeah. immediate yeah, removal. The, oh, Isho. Okay. It's gonna hit. Six cards are gonna become four. Okay. And the, the hits are gonna be suspense. Let's put the cards away. See the two How hits. Hard. Ace, Ace and, and the Sanji. other Sanji. The Sanji is uh, uh, an unfortunate loss. So you lost two cards right there, and now another inherent reducer once he has a Dawn attached. So yeah, that's a minus three fix there. It can turn any big body into easy pickings with the mm -hmm. correct amount of uh, KOs mm -hmm. that he has on deck. Does the Boa has the answer for, uh, do they have the bottom deck event, the six cost? He does. We saw that he does run a couple of those. Mm -hmm. He has, okay, so we're going to counter with the Mihawk. Zero cost event plus Mihawk. Mm -hmm. And we get to the 10 down turn. We know that he's not running Kaido, so we're not expecting a draw yeah, four here. The lone top end is just that, and after that, it's just small game into it. A lot of mid sized cards like the Boa, and where are we at? Yeah, Boa, Ace, Pudding, uh, the yeah. Jimbo, of course, and Crocodile. Warlord, Gekamoria to, to always get things back. Yes. Only one Gum Gum Brain. He is going to go for the other Mihawk, another, another nine. Draws a card from. Yeah, he went to six cards. It's a lot of big bodies, but Pedro does have a lot mm -hmm. to do to be able to get rid of them. Yeah, with the issue on the field, all of those nines are to six now. 
so if an I uh, Ice Age or uh, the Tempest Kick, we can get those low. And you can always swing over the one of the big bodies with Isho, because Isho is also a 9k base. And also, oh, hold on, let me verify. Uh, where's, oh yeah, there's four Mihawks. So it's, it, it is a game of odds, because now we have seen three Mihawks get played very early on. So uh, Pedro can literally just go, oh, where are the odds for our bottom deck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he can just literally play for free and not worry much on the probability of Diego drawing into a Mihawk, maybe? Yeah. There's always, you know, the uncertainty. It's like, oh, does it play three? Does it play four? <laughs> Is he going to see it? Yeah, Luchi seems to be doing some brain math there to make sure how he can uh, use his Dawn more optimally to remove the biggest amount of bodies he can. I mm. don't think he can get rid of the whole board. Oh, that, that, that's too many. Because <laughs> yeah, if uh, he KOs two with a Luchi, he just has to swing over the other one. Yeah, that's fair. And he always gonna ha he's always going to have the, uh, the E show as one of the big bodies mm -hmm. that's already a 10 attack due to its Dom being attached. So it, it's a pretty good body to swing with. Yeah. Boa does have four in hand. So yeah. there's not much to do in the counter department. It will have to get a lot of resources to save the Mihawk or Sanji, whichever they decide to attack with. Yeah. But it also depends on how efficiently they can remove Yes, yeah, so we're going to go for a 7 to life. 7 at lead. Uh, and then giving the 1 reduction mm -hmm. to the rest of the So we're going to 8. I think we... No, he doesn't have some dawn to play a sob. Mm. He has 7 up. 6 up. 6? Yeah. I think we might see a uh, Helmepolucci play. Get him onto that. Swing in the ten. Ooh. We're going live. He's not. He's not going for the board. Five plus, right? He yeah. might feel confident that he's removing two bodies. So unless they're running rushes up, which I don't think is the case, we are getting rid of both Mihawks. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty nice deck box. eBay. Love it. Yeah, black is really strong into blue, exact, exactly because blue uh, does not have, like, very aggro mechanism. They remove your stuff, but they are not always establishing bodies. Okay, so I wasn't the only one. Because uh, the, the Moria can bring it back, right, into hand? Isn't, isn't this one? No, Moria no, only brings four, four Oh, never mind. And yeah. that's... Uh, what differential? He, would it he can't get them any of them yeah, out so of the trash. So at that point, would it be, would it be preference? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Jackson, our uh, world's runner-up. Sorry, not runner-up. <laughs> top four has more insight than I do, of course. Absolutely. So he's playing the dove. He's gonna do that. He's gonna bottom it. Definitely not what he was looking to see. He has six caught. Oh, okay. We're gonna freeze the. We're gonna freeze the Isho. Can't attack. His effect yeah. still works, mm. but he just can't attack. Cannot attack. Yeah, it is not quite like the Bonnie effect. It is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It's still protected by being active. It just can't swing at you. Yes. And despite being the usual ball Hancock, he's got a very deceptive stat line, 6-8. That, that is pretty big. That is a really good stat yeah. line. And also a pretty good effect as well. Because now you're protecting yourself from a 9, 10k or more swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I mean, the, the game looks very in favor of Luchi here right now. If Luchi has a way to remove that blocker, it's absolutely game. But if he does have to split, Boa might be able to push through that last counter. Mm -hmm. 
If he does has Rebecca in hand, he can Rebecca Brook and then split the six dawn to swing or do like a five twelve if he doesn't want to split. It is really rough to have only one blocker, no life, and five in hand. And five in hand. Yeah. If the Luchi or the Boa had a one cost mm -hmm. on the field, that Boa could bottom deck to draw a card. That yeah. maybe could have helped a little bit, but mm -hmm. still, the situation is still pretty tense. Ooh, a little chilly here. <laughs> pre-ranging is done on how you can play this out. You're just doing the uh, math. A yeah. lot of math involved in yeah, black. Definitely do the math in the back, in the workbench, and definitely not on the board. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah, that Don's being attached to each issue, right? Yeah, he's he just making sure it's all kosher, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, because once you attach it, you let go of the card, then it's a done deal. It is a done so deal. So you definitely want to be cautious on how you do things, mm -hmm. not haphazardly play cards. Very much so. And so here we go. Is he gonna go for a board clear? I don't think he even needs that. <laughs> I guess just to be safe. So right now we're going in looking into a uh, one cost Boa, zero cost Delphi. Right, what's the execution gonna be? Uh, his that is a healthy stack of a hand, also. Mm. Yeah. Alrighty, we're getting the mill effect. You gotta get that one K. Who? Pudding did not get to do a thing. He yeah. did not. Yeah. All right, making making moves, making moves, making plays, and seven. seven. Now, they definitely have to. Ooh, two one. Two. Uh, yeah. Okay, Jimelo. All right. Okay, how's they done up? Everything is up. Is he looking for a removal that hard, or he's just trying to survive? I don't mm -hmm. know. Don't fully know. More minusing coming on here from lots yeah. of minusing. There is no pairing slink. It is going to be uh, it is strictly pen and paper in a bracket style. One yeah. through thirty second. He got the brook, but he doesn't have a swinger anymore. Yeah. And he got the luchi. How many cards in hand does Rob Luchy have? One blocker left, and it goes back to Boa with three, three in hand. Yeah, I mean, Pretty rough he has one. to go. He goes for it. Just 9-9. Nine, 9-9. Nine. Nine, nine. Or 9-10, nine, yeah. Right? No, yeah, 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, 9-10. Nine, ten. Nine, ten. And, and, and yeah, there we go. Game two. Yeah, that's why he was so confident. He knew he could survive the 9-10. Yeah, so uh, I overheard Diego say he is picking second now, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Pedro is now really confident with one win, one win closer to, to getting a cereal in Katakuri here. We love to see it. Yeah, it was not like any other deck. I think that board produced oh, yeah. by Diego would have been really, really strong. But black having that removal and no need to actually interact by attacking is Absolutely. pretty big. It's it was pretty unfortunate for the Boa that the the Isho came down and they did not have the out for Isho. I'm not sure about Daryl. I, I don't think I saw him. Uh, oh, hold on, I have. Let me look at the top season picture up I took. Maybe I can take a peek at that. Uh, well, that was a video. My balls are hurt. Uh. Hart, Myra, Kevin, Cameron. I don't see Daryl in the picture. No, so he did not, in fact, make top 30. Uh, sorry, 16.
Oh, Diego Dimas top with a. Uh, oh, Miguel and Garp. Wait, um, is this the player that top with Garp that one event in, in California a, a while ago? Oh. I mean, if it was, that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Yeah, no, Garp was. People Garp were really trying to cook with him. They tried. Yeah. It's just that a four life leader that doesn't have a strong mm -hmm. defense mechanism can be. People really try to like do like a dress rosa mix where you want a King Kong. Yeah, you pistol. want a King Kong yeah. gun. King Kong uh, gun, yeah. Job le jump. It was in Texas, okay. Yeah, that was yes, that was pretty cool. Yeah, top thirty-two with Garb. <laughs> Back in the heyday, <laughs> many months ago, when we, when we were younger. They're setting everything mm -hmm. up for the next game. Who said they're going second? Uh, Diego said he's Diego going Sanchez second. second. Okay. Yeah, Boa has a much better curve going second because mm -hmm. you can play Jimbei into something. You can establish multiple bodies. I'm enjoying the uh, the background camera over here. <laughs> Who's walking by? It's Karar. Yeah, it's Dexter. Karar is everywhere. Oh, that's Dexter. Hi. Yeah. Okay, right, we're back. we are ready. We're on Dolby stream over here. Uh, mm, top five with Miguel in Oklahoma. Okay. Oh, I know that Oklahoma. But that was the one where we had a bunch of events in that same weekend. It was. That was the uh, the weird in between set and bandless, if I recall. Yes. Was that like in, in a convention or something? It was right after the Nami Dadan ban, something like that? Yeah, it was before a set release, but during that. All right, so we're starting off with a Warlord slap. Yeah, it's just Warlord, right? Yeah. yeah just search. a Warlord yeah. searcher. Let's see. He's going to be getting the boa. Can, uh, we, like I said earlier, I can't look back and see the people here. Did Hart already win his uh, top 16? It's only been... 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Uh, I mean, if he is playing Red Purple Law, it's a possibility. N no, he's on, on Luch. Isn't he? Uh, oh. I don't... Hart. Oh, he... Wow, that was quick. Best of three. Yeah, congrats to Hart, a local Chicago player. He got his uh, second serial. Let's go. I just realized that uh, Pedro has some really nice uh, sleeves for a really good show. <laughs> no, the, yeah, uh, that's yeah. a really good show. Yeah, the elf girl. Uh -huh. So he swung eight, and the boa gave mm -hmm. the two counters because they knew they could get one back Jimbe, with the gecko. Mm, the gecko. Yeah. And Luchi does not have the stage out yet, which is very favorable for boa. I believe whatever uh, whatever body they established right now just gets Boa next turn. Mm -hmm. So it won't be able to attack. We have our reasons why we say it that way. And, oh, Luchi can't. The little scoreboard is like <laughs> right in his hand. It's Pandine. Yeah. Uh, what is... Tempest kick. Oh, is that what it, Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. the one cost producer. Swings uh, five. Provided green lid by oh. Top Cut Events yeah. no, no, and your courtesy, okay. I will be posting okay. deck lists uh, when I have the opportunity to. I will be probably leaving shortly after this. It's That's the so. Manga Sabo, right? Yes, it is. The Manga Sabo comes down. Yep. And we're going to see pitching two cards there from the Sabo, draw two, twist two. Mm -hmm. Mangas was so nice because it was um, the black contrast with the panels is really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, it's one of the better looking ones for sure. And he pitches the Luchi. Speaking of Mango Arts, are, are you excited for the upcoming set that's going to have all these reprints? I am very excited. Do I think yeah. I'm going to pull? No. No. <laughs> I have pull, opened so many boxes and I never pulled them I am. How many? So we're at seven sets. I did yeah. not get a case of EV. Yeah. So I am two, two and five in pulling a manga in a case. Oh my god! Yeah, I pulled a Shanks in OPO one, and I pulled a Law in OPO five, and that was it. No Oda Luffy, no other mangas. I should be like sixty boxes in or something like that, and I still have never seen a manga. 
Okay, so uh, the first 5k he free blocks with Sabo, the second one he takes, and then Boa is gonna uh, be freezing the Sabo from attacking. He bottom decks oh. his own Sengoku so he can draw. It's a very nice play. Yeah, Pedro has been using Sabo more aggressively, which is something that's been an on and off. Uh, uh, how would I say this? Met, uh, meta I ideal. Yeah. Yeah, where people keep the blockers to block, and some would use the blockers to attack until it's necessary till the end. Uh, one of my friends, Fern, who play RG Law, he would always be adamant on attacking with his blocker law mm -hmm. because that 6k attack was huge and then blocking if need be at the end. And a lot of players didn't catch up to that and that's what separated the better law players from each other. No, overall, even when people were playing like uh, Borsalinos in a lot mm, of decks, exactly. knowing when to attack with your blocker is one of the skills that differentiates a good player from a great player. Yeah, and Borsa being a five, that goes into a six, six? on the defense. Yeah, it's very big it's difference. Very yeah. nice. It's a whole different map. Okay, we're gonna do a, another soft five. I think it's at the get go. Milling two. Oh, it's broke, okay. It's a base rarity broke. Yeah, it's like I've been seeing so many alt arts. That was a little confusing <laughs> like, there. Who is that? Yeah. Yeah, seeing stage early on is uh, a blessing and mm -hmm. very crucial into getting that advantage early on. Absolutely. Especially since we saw, again, that this blue deck has more mid-range cost cards, so it's easier for him to clear. We are going for the Hel Helmeppo uh, to reduce the other body, and then we're going to do the Espendine into Luchi play. We need first to bottom deck three CP cards for the Luchi effect, for the Spandine effect, so then we can summon Luchi. He had to bottom one of their own Luchis. And, but he does have another one in the trash. He's going to KO both. A gravity blade would be really solid right now for for the boa. Do they? Uh, where's the deck list? The deck list for oh for the boa. I got a tab right here. Okay, cool. Just so I can check. So you see the ratios. They do have three gravity blades, three gravity blade. and it would be really strong because if and you remove two red rock. yeah the the Luchi and uh, maybe the Sabo or even the Helmeppo because Helmeppo is such a key card when you're trying to get the reductions via Moria. So I could see that. Ah, I think we saw that. Yeah, the gravity blade on mm. Sabo and Luchi. Yep, yeah, and there he goes. Then we're going to go six and an eight. Drew a card from the gravity blade. Very nice for the boa. No, he used Tempest. Oh. And, and you go and spend, uh, spend that. So one little interesting thing, uh, as you can tell by like the art and the sign of Spanda, Spandam. Mm -hmm. uh, Oda, the uh, illustrator and writer of One Piece, he has a lot of references mm -hmm. to a lot of pop culture, historical figures, and it's super interesting that in that whole arc of Water 7, he actually had a, a few pro wrestling ones as well. Spandam, his uh, look is uh, inspired by one pro wrestler, Mick Foley, oh. who had the same leather mask. And his sword is also the Defunct Freed. Mm -hmm. It's another pro wrestler who was very uh, into like the hardcore matches. So it was super cool that he had like a double reference to uh, pro wrestling with that. And of course, we have Freddie Mercury too. Mm -hmm. what, what was the fellow's name? The, uh, the guy with the cow leg and the glasses? Uh, uh, Talstone? No, it's not Talstone. It's the other guy. Uh, I do not remember his yeah. name. And of course, we have Eminem too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most popular one. Yeah. Um. Okay, the bow is taking a few life here. Probably looking to see a few pieces, maybe the Sanji. Yeah, 
Dan, another researcher, and we're gonna look for there's zero drop in hand uh, and and the preview hand. That's an ace. More, uh, another Moria. I see like a little little sky in the background. And we're searching for a Mihawk. Yeah, it's really nice that said that card is now searchable. Mm-hmm. Very strong nine cost. Mm-hmm. Then you can search on the same turn you play. Very few cards bypass that uh, bottom decking effect. Mm So we're gonna get F5. Miha comes down. We're gonna bottom deck the Helm Apple. Uh, what do we have over here? Uh, okay, we're going back over here with Pedro. Full tend on. There is only the one obstacle, and that's the Mihawk. Right now, they're in a more uh, even playing state, I guess, because we have a two and a three life situation, unlike before, where it was a super low ball Hancock on life. Yeah, the Mihawk's now a six because yeah. of the Tempest kick. Mm -hmm. So we already started the, um, the quest to reduce Mihawk into nothing to KO it. Was Spandance on, on, on play, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's, he's already done his task. Yeah, no, he doesn't. And we haven't subbed to draw into and cycle the hand? The the Luchi has to be looking for one of his bigger bodies because it's going to be hard to compete with the... if he does get another one of those combos that he got last game. This is that one number two, right? His first one is the mango one, this is the regular one. That's, I think he's running one of each art of everything, oh, almost. I, th that is something that I would do. I used to do that with Ace, also. A lot of people yeah. used to do that in Red, Green, Law, so you could keep, keep track very, of what you bottom deck. Yeah, then you would know. Then you know when you went through your whole deck again. Yeah, it's like twofold, because you can also tell, oh, your opponent has this many left, too. Yeah. Like, oh, he searched this one out, that's the one he has, or there's a new one, so on. So there, there's two sides to that coin. And we're doing the we're five doing the to five. reduce again. Milled out of Brook. Yep, so the Mihawk is now a five. Mm hmm. You're gonna give the ace. There is still five cards in hand left. <laughs> Big stretch. And we're hard casting Rebecca over here to mm -hmm. do effect, get Brooke back to hand. He got six cost Brooke back to hand? Wait, Rebecca? Yeah. Is that because uh, I, I missed that first? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's two blockers on board, and we're going to go swinging. Yeah, that's the, the free five. You just take it. Because you have the Rebecca in case they swing over it. I think we might see a Boa play. Mm -hmm. Maybe a putting into Boa. Oh, a Jimbe into Moria. That's very good. We're going to be getting oh. the 2K Crocodile back. Mm -hmm. More defense is good for the hand. The Boa comes down. Yeah. Bottom decks the Spadon. Uh, uh, sorry, Freezes. Freezes the Sabo. Yeah. Bottom decks the Spadon. And draws a card. Very nice. The Boas board is very intimidating mm. right now. Yeah, we have the nine and the eight. That's really strong. Two fives. Plus leader. Mm -hmm. mm. Can't. Yeah, so there's nothing like particularly wrong with this. Is that we do see the uh, Diego's hand a little more clear because he's putting it down every time, whereas uh, Pedro is not always doing so. Yeah. So we're like, oh, how many does he have left? How many does he have left? We're not in an online game, so they're free to do that because 
the players and the judges and everybody else can see their hand. We just can't see it ourselves because we're looking at a screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're paying the one for Tempest Kick. And we're going to reduce once again. We're going to go into Mihawk. Mihawk's a six again. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're reducing once again with stage into Mihawk, bringing him down further lower. Mm -hmm. Full set of dot. No, no, we are at nine. Attaching two more into Luchi, and we're gonna mm -hmm. swing out to Mill. Yeah, we know uh -oh. that the Boa has counter. They just picked the yeah, 2K. Boa has plenty of counter. Two twos. Two no, twos. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's was that, was double, that a, another crocodile. Double croc. Oh, okay. He and does Mihawk remove. And goes away with the trash brook. Yeah. He has not seen his top end. Luchi has not seen. Yeah, uh, no geckos no on site yes. as of right now. Still. Four in hand for uh, Diego over here, and Pedro has four, four ish. Uh, yeah, looks Somewhere like in four, that vicinity. four or three. And we're letting go Khalifa for mm -hmm. counter. Another six with he, he, more another the, 2K. The boy And another six taking life. Yeah, the boy is doing a really Eight. good math there, swinging the sixes because Luchi does have very limited 2Ks. Bring, yeah, bringing down Luchi to zero life while. Diego and Bonnie, sorry, not Bonnie, um, eh. Boa has. He just scoops because okay. he wants to go to game three. Very smart, and uh, it's very concise for him to do that since there's only 24 minutes left in, in the uh, match. So he definitely wanted to end it as soon as possible to get onto a better, more calm yeah. game three. And this time he has choice of if it goes first or second, so yeah. that's second. probably going to yeah. be much better for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to pick his spot. He is. He is two shots at seeing a better hand, you know, the opening and the mulligan. So definitely something to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. uh, second. So winning game one definitely did help get that chance to get to a better spot for game three. It's yes, definitely a different breath of fresh air to see blue be in a competitive uh, field against black. Absolutely. Because normally Black would just nuke everything on board and get mm. rid of everything, leave you with nothing, and then just lock you in with Sabos and Gekamorias. Yeah, no, it's it's really tough to, once you are just putting out one body per turn and mm -hmm. Luchi is removing it up to two bodies per turn, yeah, yeah most decks cannot keep up with that. Mm -hmm. Very unlikely that we see a overtime for this game, possibly with the speed of how they're playing and also... The nature of both of their yeah, decks. Yeah, exactly. We might not be seeing that this turn around. I think that's why yeah. he scooped so fast, because Boa yes. has a more uh, more counter, more resources, mm -hmm. defensive resources. Yeah, definitely more conscientious of time, wanting to um, proceed to the next game, have more time to think out plays. He does have stage and Moria in his opening hand. Ooh, already really off to solid. a good start, and he kept. Yeah, of course. Uh, we have the Boa uh, is debating. still debating. I don't think he, he keeps is small again. Hmm. What can I think if Boa can get a similar board to what he did on game one mm -hmm. with all those big bodies playing off Sanji and establishing some blockers? Uh, I think that would be a pretty good spot, but already seeing Stage and Gecko. Yeah, that maybe is. Maybe Isho later down the line could be a really, really dramatic combo to have as that's free reducers, free reducers, free reducers. Mm, yeah, with Basically the Basically 10k body Isho. also. Yeah. It's definitely tricky. Uh, as much as I love Heart, it really depends on what he's playing against. Okay. So we're 
we're going to start. Boa is going first. Do they have the Sengoku? They do not. So we're going to pass Luchi. Probably put stage down or Spadan if he has it. Stage down. Yeah, it's a pretty good hand. It's not necessarily a one-off, but seeing your stage to start off the, uh, the turn, definitely uh, a good hand. Yes. The boss swings five. The Luchi is countering out. Mm -hmm. Gonna do a little stacking. That goes to oh, the bottom. bottom. Okay, so a he fresh did. blind five. He did not want whatever was on that top. He got a whole new top five now. And we're doing a clean five. Mm-hmm for a reduced a helm map one stage mm. Mm -hmm. does diego take this one i think he blocks because he can just blocks. stage ko the mm -hmm. you said well he still got it yeah. for sure gonna be pitching to a little hand refresher with the khalifa yeah luchi's definitely one of those decks that wants to end it fast it's not as aggro, per se, as like long, but the fact that you're playing out all your 2Ks, because they're all crucial to your deck. I think the other one that doesn't get played much is the Kaku. Yeah, uh, uh, the, the Kaku can yeah. He's also a minus three. Yeah, he, he is, but in all the games that I've seen, it is the least used 2K out of yeah. all of them. Because Suru gets used, Leafa gets, gets used. Yeah. It's because his effect, he'll have to bottom deck two cards just to get a minus mm -hmm. three, while Khalifa gives minus two and cycles yeah. for... Pudding in hand. I think I see a red rock on the rightmost next to pudding. Mm -hmm. So definitely a lot of opportunities to uh, get rid of a big body. Maybe Nisho. Yep. Solid and first five. life is taken. And we're going to see the ace to stack the deck. Draw two. Put the two back. I do believe this ace is being... Uh, Reprinted as an alternate art for yeah. some tournaments coming up. Yep. Looks so, super good. Yes, especially with the Western style uh, alt art because they're a little bit different in the West. We have them now, the sort of tournament winner cards, a little bit different on mm -hmm. how they set them up. They have the character art, and behind them, they have a uh, copy of them, but in a singular color in a shadow kind of thing. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. So. He chooses to bottom deck the two cards because Ace allows you to put it on top More or bottom, bottom of deck. It. He is not he's really, seeing. Yeah, looking. he's really not happy with his fives. I think he is looking for the for the Sanji. Mm -hmm. His best chance is to get the two nine Ks on board again, especially going second. Mm -hmm. And we go stage. We're gonna attach an, an attack. Oh no! Before we're oh. gonna uh, finger, finger pistol. pistol. Yeah, and it's gone. Yep. And we're going to go 5-6. Uh, Clean 5. Boa still a 5 life. Mm, and we're now it's 4. Take, and, and we're going another 5. Ooh. So is Spandang, is Spandang coming down? Drop in a Mihawk. Oh, Spandang for search. We're going to be getting the Kaku. Uh, we mill a Moria. We know that he has that other Moria in hand. Bo is going to their nine dawn turn. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Uh, we do have a face cam, so we're seeing more of like their demeanor and their look. You know, I see a D Jinbe, Sengoku. Sengoku. Yeah, we're, gonna see. we're seeing setup plays on mid game to late game uh, dawns right now. He did see the Sanji there, but the Sanji is gonna go to the bottom of the deck with a Mihawk. Good gravity blade right now. Remove both bodies, even though they are not particularly interesting targets. I mean, it, it is CP targets, but at this point, at this point, you just it's the CP stack is huge. Yeah. Yeah. In bottom decking, I don't think necessarily it's that big a deal against uh, Luchi, since a, a good Luchi player knows how to loop their deck, mm -hmm. so you don't deck out. Although I have personally, like yesterday, someone actually accidentally decked out with Luchi. So it is a possibility, but people do know how to not lose that way. And Jinbe for on play Moria to fish out a Mihawk 2K counter. Yes. All right, we're passing out here to Pedro and which don't turn? This nine, nine don't turn? No, eight. Uh, 
yeah. how it is. Yeah. I mean, luckily for Bo, even though they are not seeing their key pieces, Luigi didn't have the strongest early game. We're not seeing a lot of no. bodies. So maybe Bottom decking. Five twice is very telling of what is uh, what you saw. Yeah, very telling. Yeah. Uh, We're gonna walk counter. The first Moria comes yep. down. Probably gonna be Jinbei is a one cost with leader plus stage, so it's probably gonna be Rebecca. a Rebecca Helmeppel. Yep. Some of Reduce. the Spandine. Yeah. And we're sacking. Uh, yep. Putting the spandine. Bottom deck three CPs. And that's the one more combo over here. Two summon the Luchi. And we clear the board of the five K attackers. Absolutely. Yeah, the Boa player is in a little bit of a tricky situation it right is. now. Uh, Maybe a Red Rock on the Gecko to do it. He does have five life. He's it four. Is, oh, sorry, I'm blind. My apologies. Yeah, he, uh, it is demoralizing to see a blocker, a Luchi, Khalifa. We have already with stage. He could choose. Uh, I think getting rid of the Moria could be yeah. the play. Could be the player. Could be like a Mihawk bottom deck, the Rebecca, so he can't do the. Spandine plays as mm -hmm. freely anymore if he doesn't have another one. Yeah. And he is going to go ahead and do that to so. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that Rebecca giving you free blocks. It's definitely not optimal. Yes, Mario is a very strong card. Very hard for other decks to compete from, with two cards coming back from the trash. All right, we're bringing it back. And a regular five. Yep. Another, another Moria, Moria and a Tempest Kick into Mihawk. Yeah, the Mihawk is not mm -hmm. at eight. Now and we're stage. Six. I wonder, does he have the other Mario now? Oh boy. I see it. Maybe a Tempest Kick. Tempest, Tempest Kick. Make it a three. Just needs one more to put both of them in a uh, Luchi target area. We have a little under 13 minutes left on the clock. The game is developing at a decent pace, so I don't think we'll be seeing end of time in this yeah. particular match. They have pretty much yeah. a lot of time. We have, we've only spent, no, only one Dawn, right? So we're going to go for the ninth Dawn being used and another Tempest. Uh, more, uh, sorry, not more, yeah. Mihawk going down a little bit further. Yeah, and I think we might. My, we'll see oh. a Luchi definitely. A Luchi or sort and of removal is coming now. Pedro's pre planning on how he's going to spread out his dawn for these uh, incoming plays. Mm. Okay. We're going to start off with swinging first with five. Counter with 2k. Mm Okay, we're 6 k with the Spadon. So wait, he did all the... Re oh, no, he does have three Dawns apart. Uh, probably a Brook. Oh, Span. Oh, even better than a Brook. Oh, Much here better. we go. And putting all these events back on the uh, bottom of the deck. Yep. And then we're going to get here another Here comes Luchi. Yep, going to be clearing both boards, leaving Boa at two life and no characters okay now it's time where it becomes really dire for boa hancock 
here. Yeah, they can't do much life. about that. They can't do mm -hmm. much about that board. Yeah, I think this might uh, seem likely as the end of the road for Bo Hancock on this uh, run as a sole Bo Hancock in tournament. It is one of their roughest matchups, yeah. exactly because of the existence of stage. Yeah, that's the nature of the game. You, you'll see your bad matchup. You won't see it. It depends. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky, dodge everything. But it is a numbers game, and there, there were seven Luchis in this tournament, uh, top 32 tournament uh, portion of a tournament. He did play off into a Bonnie and beat the Bonnie. And he still had uh, a really good run. He made top 16. Really congratulations to the player, too. Mm -hmm. Both of them, of course. Yeah, no, getting to this point in the event is uh, no small feat. No small feat at all. Already getting the Katakuri, right? Uh, yeah, uh, the top eight. Uh, six, no, six, 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 yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, that, that's this still a price card. You know, it's still some value still? in that. And we're fighting towards getting rid of Mihawk as well. Yeah, he's not going to let a single board, uh, single character stick on that board. While I'm at it, I'm also uh, want to thank all 800 plus people uh, tuning in to watch this top cut. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I know it's been a very busy weekend full of events and all sorts of games. So we appreciate you all coming by to watch this top 16. And I look forward for more games coming up uh, for this round. We're going to be seeing who is still left of the uh, top eight. And we'll get you a uh, fun and exciting matchup. Absolutely. Although at this point, I'm not sure I... I'll have to see if we have any Dofies left or not. Man, no, no board, no life. No oh board, my no goodness. life. Yeah, you just yeah. accept that. I'm playing Sengoku for Searcher. Fine. Fine. That was the he whole is. game, just playing Searchers, looking for something. Yeah. Manipulating top deck. You already bought on deck so many cards. Yeah, that's it's been really rough times. Be being blue is rough right now, for sure. And you're only losing stage in the incoming new format. But, I mean, we'll see. Uh, based on how decks performed in Japan, the Flamingo did do quite decently in a format that had Law and Luchi. Yeah. So there's still plenty of chances for blue to make a resurgence, to be dominant in some way, to have a presentation. I mean, if Vegapunk can top, you know, and an event in 08, it can definitely happen here. Mm -hmm. Especially that we don't have a law to completely to aggro. Completely aggro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He gives his whole hand uh, for the counter on that uh, on that 9k swing on the Luchi. 10k? Nine, nine. Mm, but yeah, Boa has 5 in hand. He has so many attacking bodies. And then we're going to see a 16 live. And Lucci advances for the next round. Yep. Pedro has earned his category in Serial Shakes. Congratulations, Pedro. One of the f uh, last few, I think, being given out. Because we're moving on to the uh, the Ace. and Yeah, it's the Ace. Yeah. yeah. Ace is the Serial. And Yamato, and Yamato is the... Uh, Top eight. The, no, it, no, no, Yamato becomes the Nats, the uh, finals. Oh, really? Yes. So no, but she's also top eight, right? So the, there's two versions of Yamato. In Asia, that was a flagship battle pricing. Oh. Here is going to be the pricing for the finals. I don't know if it's going to be also for the Card Fest in Europe and Orlando in January, but mm -hmm. it is confirmed to be the pricing first, second, third for Liverpool, Paris, Milan, mm -hmm. Dallas, for those at least. Yes. Very course. likely also, my opinion, Latin America and Oceania probably. Because then the other two are like later in the year. Absolutely. Yeah, so it might be for the whole thing. Who knows? But it's still a nice price. People love Yamato. It's a really nice card. Hey, for you to yeah, look at. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm one of my favorite characters. Uh, yes, so we'll find out on what's left for top 16 going to top 8. Uh, we're going to do a small break, uh, catch your breath, and see what's left. And we'll get you a matchup. We'll see.
how Jonas is doing, see if he made it out or not. We'll see what decks are left. So we'll catch you in a bit, guys. Sounds good. Bye. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Hey. We're back here with our top eight game. We have Jonas and Kevin yep. Zhao, really. Uh, big, names. big names. Yeah, uh, your prayers have been answered. Uh, have been asked we have, a million times for Jonas. We have the Jonas. Yeah, but we, we have to go through the order. We have to go through the road decks, the interesting matchups. And, uh, well, it, it has now become the mirror match fest that it is. So yep. uh, we're having Jonas now. High level game. Yeah, play. we have uh, Kevin Shaw, one of the uh, top uh, players top in this players? game for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. he's top all over California, mm -hmm. Florida, and Mexico. So definitely a really good player. And Jonas, who is our uh, North American champion. champion? Yeah. So really definitely going to be an exciting matchup. I believe they're both on RP Law. Yeah, so. It's going to be a, yeah. an interesting mirror. Mm -hmm. RP Law, especially the mirror, you have to be mm -hmm. very aware of situations like getting rage locked. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful if you ramp, if you don't ramp, what can your opponents do, what they can they remove. It's a very, very uh, skilled, inte right. skill intensive oh. matchup if both players draw decently. Because Law has that problem. Mm hmm. And then currently we're gathering, we're letting them set up and also gathering the uh, data for the opening hands to be shown so the, the, the uh, viewers can know as well. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I, I didn't particularly see Kevin's build, but uh, Jonas is, is very, very standard. Very standard. It's uh, humble, nothing crazy, no black bug. Yeah, no black, no black no bug, fire no fist, fire no fist. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, that's... I imagine that they are both on very similar lists, maybe like two or three cards difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for that deck, it's like not much room for like any flavor, I'd, I'd say. Uh, yeah, there's not you much You gotta space. get your necessary cards to pull up your combos. You need your kit killers, you need your blockers, you need your uh, rampers. So, mm -hmm. let me see if I can. All right, we're starting up here. Yeah. People watching want to know our hands. Just don't get mixed up. Okay. Who? <laughs> I, I, I believe Jonas picks first. Yeah, I think Jonas was fourth, so he has the higher seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both on the same sleeves. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this? Oh, yeah, so funny story. Uh, Kevin had been using uh, the same playmat he's on right now <laughs> because he and I both went to Europe for the last European regionals, and we both had that participation playmat. Love that playmat. And he ended up playing on the European one, too. <laughs> it's a very nice playmat. It yeah. is. Ace and Yamato is the combo. Mm -hmm. It's got zones also, so that's mm -hmm. very appreciated. Okay, so we see Zoro Juro, we see Ayn. There is a reducer mm -hmm. on that hand, too. And, yep, they're both. Oops, a little. The judge fixes it for us real quick. I'm going to get my Dawn because I'm going first. I won't move until. Okay, so Jonas chose to go first. Mm -hmm. nope. Or maybe not. <laughs> Wait, yeah, they're taking it back. <laughs> It happens sometimes. Uh, is that Chris Sock in the background? Yeah, that's Chris Sock in the background. Just watching the game. So we have you Raise might, Max. You, you might be playing Dragon Ball. Uh, Blocker Sanji, Captain Kid, and Zorajuro. Yeah. And for Jonas, we have Bone Clay, Rage, Zorajuro, Captain Kid, and Sanji. Yeah, they have yeah. somewhat similar it's hands, two yeah. cards in common. The Bone Clay is not as good in the mirror because it's such an easy bottom deck. You use matching. Yeah, mm. nothing high. It's so easy to bottom deck. We're going to see the Zoro Juro coming mm -hmm. down. Question is, does uh, he attack regardless Life and give that Zoro Juro some value? Mm -hmm. He is going to attack. That 5k is going to go through. Are we seeing the yep. Z and his own <laughs> Zoro Juro? Matching Zoro for Zoro. Yeah. And already putting a reducer down. He's going to go super aggro now with his Dawn. Doing a minus three into probably the iron he has in hand, going to chew on. And the ramp begins. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, if the Zoro Juro survives, he can kind of keep up because he will be a five dawn next turn. Mm -hmm. 
I will see you at Jonas. Will. He's paying five for ca uh, Captain Kid blocker. He's gonna do the bottom deck, the minus three with no bottom deck. Into a nine, ramp one rested, ramp one active from six. Kid, and a six elite mm -hmm. goes through. Much more faster gameplay, yeah, <laughs> for no. sure. Yeah. Red purple yeah. law tends to be much faster. Yeah, and we'll see if this uh, six cost, five, sorry, five cost kit stays because there is one of those continuous effects that always gets you more cards. Uh. Hmm. Do you see reducers? I n either of them, neither of them has seen Chachi Penguin yet. Chachi Penguin is a really strong card. And we're making it we're adding Dawn. No, not yet. Kevin contemplating if he wants to increase Soro into a six. Yes. And it's gonna be a six swing. Six Make swing. him utilize a two K if he wants to guard it and Jonas will take it. And slamming down the Gordon with a purpose to reduce into the uh, kit blocker. Mm-hmm. And minus, minus three, three to bring, get him out of the board. Yep. Bottom deck, playing Into kid the killer. Kid killer. We're going to do a 5-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Always deliberate swings. It is very intense. Jonas taking and life. Jonas doesn't have much counter in hand. Going down to one. Pretty sure he has two reducers in hand, which is lots of non-counter. The bone clay goes, the Sanji goes. How effectively can Jonas clear Kevin's board right now? <coughs> uh, the Dawn from Mine came in rested. Yeah. The Dawn that came back active was from Captain Kid. Mm -hmm. So he was at five, minus three, one comebacks rested from Ayn, one comes back active from Kid. Okay, so he's swinging a six at the Zorjura. The Zorjura, you let it go. Kevin Hemity, absolutely. <laughs> Gotta love those names. <laughs> The brackets looking like uh, I did peep that it was Ryan Hartman against Josh Graham. Oh, wow. And Cameron Barden uh, should be playing against. Where's the picture of this bracket that I just took? Uh, or did I not take it? Oh, snap. Um, Cameron Barden, I believe, is playing to Hassan. Mm -hmm. Oh, the double kit killer for yeah. Jonas does the board clear and took two counters out of. Uh, Kevin Zhao's hand. Yes, and then the really? remaining one is Pedro Cabral against, my apologies, um, the witness is the Pedro Cabral. We are going to 7 8. He counters with three cards uh, Chachi Penguin and Double Raju. And now Jonas' hand is just one card, so we know he's going for game. Mm -hmm. He has Double Kick Killer, oh. which does is help. Is this happening? Yep, I think we're going and to. And the big swing law. And the game Kevin and just scoops, scoops it up. Jonas takes yep. the first one. <laughs> we are not seeing any time in this match, guaranteed. Not even close. Yeah. <laughs> Max Rory decks aren't that great because look at you pulled over at the airport. <laughs> I've seen it. They'll deck check you. They will. <laughs> Yeah, the Reparable oh, Law Mirror, especially yeah, when yeah, both players yeah. have a lot of kick killers, mm -hmm. they they go so fast. We clocked in at 4.5 minutes. Uh, to be fair, actually, the fastest match that I've witnessed in, in Top Cut was actually last Peoria, where it was Enel playing into RP Law, and it was the Enel player that was always on starf mode against the finalist from the uh, tournament. Uh, he was playing RP Law. And that match was so fast before even game one on stream was concluding. Oh. And that was a white beer Gekomori at top four. That's Jeez. how fast the match went. Yeah. Setting up again. This time Kevin Zhao gets yeah. to choose if he goes first or second. Uh, I talked to a bunch of players, like um, even Jonas already gave him some of his thoughts. Some players prefer to go second, some players prefer to go first in this mirror. Mm -hmm. It's much more about like, what do you want to see first? Do you want to see your five drop first? Do you want to see your eye and Chachi Penguin first? There's a lot of versatility on the law decks and that's what makes it such a, a good 
It's a good pick for a strong player. And we're starting up with uh, two kit blockers, one Bonkle, Sachi, Sachi Penguin Peng. on the leftmost side. And for Zorgio? Kevin's. Uh, I think so. Yeah, that, that's the one, right? Sergio, uh, yeah. Can't I know. Quen peep on Jonas. He's quick with the hands over here. Debating. Mm. Yeah, the Vegapunk uh, did yes. lose in three minutes. Right, but also uh, I was referring to a match as in a best two out of three. <laughs> and it was in an L into an RP law. So <laughs> that, that was pretty brutal. Yeah, it's probably just two games, right? The yeah, we were getting both. comfortable uh, sitting down to judge the stream, and I saw the NL player walking to get his pricing. So rough. that was rough. Okay, so um, did you on a skipper on his mode again? Because uh, it's calving mode again. Oh, there we, bigger screen. Uh, I haven't seen him move it. Uh, so Kevin yeah. chose to go first as well. Just gonna pass. Five lead. Zoro Juro goes down. Jonas guarded that first swing. Mm -hmm. Which, unlike last game, both of them took their first swings. We're going to see a, a nine into pass. Okay, no leader effects. So Jonas going to be going to seven dawn. Mm -hmm. Very demure of Jonas. I don't believe Dofis are left. I think it's just Lucci and uh, Lost left in turn event tournament. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I can always correct it. We'll find out in top four if there's anything left. We're going to swing a five lead with the Zorajura, ramp one active. Another five. This time he's gonna be taking that. Not a max rarity, Sora. Unfortunate. Yeah. We we're gonna, we're gonna remove the yep. iron. And iron goes away. Yep. Jonas is running the blocker law, as we can see on the trash mm -hmm. over there. That's one of the differentials. And Kevin Zhao is gonna be getting that seven in. It's one of those decks that goes really fast, so I, I wouldn't think the mirror match would utilize it as much. No, nah, yeah. yeah. It's for the other, other matchups. Like it's an, for an, an the NL and, uh, yeah. Black Yellow Luffy picking up some of their cards in their hands. Yes, yeah, Gravy, that is the correct wording for that. Well phrased. <laughs> yeah. I think that beats the uh, surgical comment from yesterday. <laughs> Oh, Kid Killer being slammed down on the board. Yep. Two Dawn left active. Are we doing a 7-7 seven, seven and clearing board? Or uh, and a 7 into... Six. Oh, sorry, sorry, 6. Into Sorajura. And 8? No, 6, because the mm -hmm. Kevin Zhao is at, at 3 yeah, life. higher life count. But the Zoro does go. Wait, he countered? Oh, he gave a chicken. Yep. I thought he was... Sachi. Letting go. I mean, he does have another kick killer in hand, so this could be seven, seven, eight. And Sora swinging out with seven. Kid killer he in hand. He also has a reducer that he could bottom yeah. back the kid. And a Bonkle, Race Max, and is a Raju in the very last card in hand? Mm, yeah, I think that's a Raju. It looks mm -hmm. like it. I think I recall. No, 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 that was the other game that had the Raju in the hand. Okay. Uh, it, it could be, not sure. It is a purple hue, like mm -hmm. Sora too. Could be that too, we don't know. Yeah. Mm. So he did, uh, from the 7k swings, he rest Kid and gave it a 2k counter. So... Kevin Jar really has to think, because if he loses this game, it's over for him. We're going another seven 
Are we going a seven inch kid killer? Or are we going seven in life? I think he said life. Yeah, yeah. being a one life, it's pretty close to uh, and then finishing game okay, two. Okay, we're going to raise Max, bottom the kid. The kid, yeah. Bring out the kid Their killer. own kid killer, or maybe <laughs> right. a rage you. He still has three life. He's in such a comfortable yeah. position. Definitely more comfy. Yeah, I don't think he is in a hurry for anything. And uh, We do an extra seven. Sorry. Jonas Counter has to out. Give a two, two cards one. given. So they, it goes back to Jonas here. Mm, yeah, uh, Cabbage out did go do, uh, low in Dawn, though. He is going to mm. go to four Dawn next turn. If uh, Jonas can wall up, maybe with some Sanjis and uh, kids, would be a possibility. The fact that his kid killer is only a 5k right now because mm -hmm. Kevin Zhao protected that third life is very, very uh, strong for Kevin. Yep. To Clean Zoro. six to Soro. Yeah. Because he knows he needs to mm -hmm. clear that board. He can yeah. do a reduction. Bring it now. The oh, queen. the queen. We love to see Little it. Little hand cycle here. Yeah. One, two. He. It's a ra oh, rage. Mm. Strong, strong. If he has a reducer, he can bottom deck the kid killer, play the rage, or draw cards. Because even if he does minus three, he still won't be. Uh, uh, he uh, he won't be able to play Sanji, free. Mm -hmm. Oh, he trashes the rage. Okay. This we're gonna. He just passed turn. He didn't play anything off leader. Oh no, he did blocker lock. Best. Yep. Just pure two blockers, only out the zero life. Oh yeah, he has higher down. Thank you, uh, New Game. That's why he couldn't play the Rager. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Kevin sitting here, pretty comfy. Yeah, pretty comfy at three life. life. One of the lives go down to the blocker law. Okay, so now we finally got into the area that his kid killer is a seven. Can he establish another blocker? We are gonna Ooh, see a kid coming down. Nothing, That's nothing. good stuff. Correct. This is top eight gonna bottom deck nothing to play the Sanji. Yeah, he walled up right now. Triple blockers, all of them require reduction. That's a lot of blockers. That is a lot of blockers. And they're all in the sixth range of attack, so they can defend easily on a 2k. And Kevin putting on his own, his blocker, own blocker, cycling for his hand, looking for a better hand. Uh, he Still needs to pitch one from Queen, just deciding which one. Oh, that is some feedback we just got in the ear. Yep. Happens. Race Max. Race Max. Yep. On Gotta the choose the kid. Kid. It's the Can't only that one that's effect, staying still. Yeah. Any value after on play? To play the kid killer. Okay. Free block for the Sanji. Mm -hmm. And then seven at the kid killer. And one card in hand. One card in hand, one blocker, two life. Kevin could Could potentially get. lose. Yeah. Could potentially. It depends if Jonas on has the reduction uh, to remove that queen. Oh, if queen gets removed, that's also an even easier swing, right? Yeah. yeah. However, if he fails lethal now, then mm -hmm. he has a zero life and probably no blockers active. We'll have to see. I mean, it doesn't seem that Jonas can survive next turn, maybe? No, I no, don't think. No, so he has to uh, finagle away into removing Queen. So it's a clear two hits yep. and see if uh, he has enough math to do it. Because yeah, if he leaves one blocker, he, is, uh, he can oh. be Gordon or something of that nature. Only five done up for Jonas. And I would assume that 
he needs to get rid of queen first. Otherwise, she's just going to eat the block. Uh, that is a setting that changes from place to place. So, unfortunately, we opted to do have the setup, which is quite nice. It is very comparable to other uh, tournaments, and I quite like it. We have a bigger retail space with the screen seeing the actual gameplay, so that's really nice. Very good quality uh, footage and audio, so I definitely don't knock off points for not seeing the hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he took the six. One life left. Yeah, so that was thinking. What, yeah, I would have thought that he would have just taken the block right away because of the potential. But what if he did? I think it's... Um, it's bait. Oh. Yeah, it was a little bait. So the queen yeah. goes to the bottom, losing one dog. So the queen was for nothing almost at this point. I mean, it forced the... Law lost one dawn active mm. for that queen removal. So we have a 7 and a 6. He has a 2k Sanji in hand. Mm -hmm. right? So he needs two cards to or take. Uh, yeah. And he will take, and the rest go into this for an 8. eight. And Can he count counter the out. 2, 2, 9. Uh, 9, and we're going to pretty much go into game. Well, yeah. Yeah, you are okay, going yeah, straight into yeah. game 3. Yeah, we're going to go to uh, a very contested game 3. Well, there's a lot of nuance for that. Um, more often than not, it is going to be a different kind of tournament, for yeah. sure. Like Bandai Card Fest, it is the uh, celebration of all the Bandai games. And it's kind of difficult to run every single event at the same time. A lot of manpower and effort and tech involved. So celebrating the finals is definitely one, definitely one way to do it. And this year we get to have two. We have one in Dallas and we have one in Orlando early next year. Now that Jonas lost, he has to pick if he goes first or second. They're currently settling on that right now. It looks like both players prefer to go first mm -hmm. in the matchup. Yeah, going first does get to attack first, though. So. Mm -hmm. They want that extra, uh, extra swing. Yeah. Race Max, Sorajuro, and Sanji. Oh, and the Mulligan and the Keep. Okay, we see Chachi Penguin, we see a reducer. Uh, the Reju that was here, uh, was it was Jorge, uh, Daniel is not longer in the tournament, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Following yeah. the uh, instant replay on this one. Uh, Not just start. Yeah, correct. Daniel is no longer in a tournament. I see in the picture Kevin, no. Jonas, Pedro, Ryan, Cameron, Josh, Hassan, and I can't put an name to this face. It's either uh, Andres or Holden. Strong early play for Kevin Zhao there, getting the two Gordons on the field. The top eight, as a reminder, by the way. Which means that he can already... Shuraya, first sighting of Shuraya here. Mm -hmm. yep. We're currently 20 minutes into the match, so... Uh, yep. Yeah, I think this is probably the fastest game this round that we're going to see. I, I think that BY Luffy is out. I, I don't recall. Uh, I don't recognize the name to the face. I believe the black hair Lo Luffy is out mm -hmm. of the contention, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's mostly just Law and Luchi left yeah. at this point. Yeah, the, the Law rep has been real with 13 representatives of Law and 7 on Luchi. Mm -hmm. And they just so happened to get more favorable matchups. Blue. Uh, <coughs> green taking out some of the... Uh, I'm sure Quan is still in, right? Quan lost round oh, one lost. against the uh, boy Hancock player. Oh, yeah. Blue is a rough matchup sometimes. Yeah, so that... For green. Yeah, and then blue faces to black, and that was the done deal right there. Mm -hmm. 
doing six, and life is taking two life left, enabling Kit Killer in the future. Mm -hmm. And we're putting a Bond bon clay. clay, ramping the one. So I guess it's just for the one to do a race max, getting rid of Sorajuro. Sorajuro Zora Zora is a threatening mm -hmm. body there because it's gonna give him that ramp. Um, you're at three and yeah. we're gonna see a Chachi Penguin coming Rage out. No Rage, you. That's good. I wonder Chachi. if these two K bodies will eventually see uh, a purpose. Mm -hmm. They did their thing, always. No, hold on. They're both bottom decks, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, so. It should be a fairly simple investment for later to get rid of a 6k blocker. Yeah. Or Law. Law, Law is also, you know, he's 5 foot, so. The remaining in the top 8 are going to be just Luches and Laws. Now that the stakes are a little bit higher, we're on game three. There's more deliberating going on, thinking more of the plays. Yeah, this is their final game. Yes, and they have been all gas, no breaks. So they definitely deserve to take a little bit more time. They have 37 minutes on the clock on game three. They can take all they want right now at this point. And it looks like none of them has, like, Kid Killer, like, as much as last round. Because the past two rounds, we saw at least two Kid Killers from each side. Yeah, I think that's the cue to go right. all in. And in this case, yeah. we haven't seen it yet. It's more conservative, putting two down for seven. Establishing bodies, yeah. removing their opponent's bodies. Like right now, he can just get rid of that bone clay very easily. It doesn't even take a reduction. And a big 9k swing alive. The new bands go into effect right before the wave of finals in September. Right before. Yep. Mm -hmm. Playing the Zoro to the Raise Max, so he's keeping the board in a way that Locke cannot remove the entire board, keeping the Zoro active, so they can't be, he can be swung over. Playing a very, very smart game there. Uh, one little uh, cheat sheet in order to identify if a game is on finals. You can. Uh, for Top Cut at least, you can always see if there's a timer. Top Cut finals are always indefinite time, unlimited time. Oh. Yes, uh, so once you get to the finals, they have all the time in the world to play out their game, no worries. So that's one easy way to identify if a game is played on the finals right now. Seven lead, gonna be taken. Mm -hmm. Is it trigger apparently? Oh, is he considering it? Is the old Sunday? Is he the baby? Oh, yes. Sunday. More Ooh. boards to worry about. More characters on board. Yeah. Just doing the sequence correctly because my uh, all Sunday is a minus two trigger mm -hmm. and then she brings one back. Um, Just correcting the. And we're doing a seven. Yeah. Yeah, seven. that's how I see it goes, right? Seven, yeah. Last life taking for Kevin. Yeah, I think Kevin is going for game next turn. I don't think uh, he's he will have. To, yeah. Targeting but the two sun, life. Oh. Does he have a? Kevin got his all Sunday bottom deck. Kid Killer, does Kevin have it in? He successfully counter off. Yep. All he right. Was prepared for Jonas it. passes the turn. Three attackers, and very little Dawn to play. Mm -hmm. Only three. Ooh. Oh yeah, swinging. Yeah, so race Max getting rid of Bonclay for sure. He does have the Sanji blocker. I that might come down. Because he has so little it's, Dawn. It's, yeah, it's so low. He has a kid killer in hand, though. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that one of the cards? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not sure. He's flipping so fast, it's hard to detect. Uh, yeah, Sanji, Gordon. Those are two of the cards that I identified. And yeah, and the other Straight F5 into countering. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mathematically, it's not looking good for Kevin. Not over looking here. good. Yeah, six. Because he would have to go to zero dawn mm -hmm. to play that Sanji. Yep. And he can remove the kid killer, though. And, seven, and a eight. seven. Committing. Majority was done. And oh. And the kid killer. We're going to bottom the kid killer. And we're bringing out. To zero dawn with no ramp. Mm -hmm. One blocker. They're both a zero life. One character. Jonas, Jonas has also only. 
How many cards in hand? He has Couple. more. Yeah. He has more. Okay. Well, Kevin has two, so it's looking referee over here for him. Jonas' hand is big. Okay. Yeah, he has a big I'll hand. I'll take your word on that, yes. Yeah, and Race Max getting rid of Kanji, but he's gonna have to minus three for yeah. that, which is if he plays mm -hmm. a bone clay, he ramps on that. Oh, Kid Killer for the seven and the last. Ooh. And he had good game. So we finish this in record time yeah. for uh, this event so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-seven minutes ish, and Jonas got this here. Yeah. Really good early start. He had no card advantage. I see any five drop. Yeah, he got five. Any five drop would be. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see, but after he wraps up, I'm gonna put Jonas in here and Julia. We'll talk to him. Sounds good. Because I know he's a very popular <laughs> player. He is very he's popular. He's always in, in high demand for events. Like last <laughs> week, I said in Pasadena, he was like, "Is he playing?" No, he's literally commentating. No, he's not playing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna get a hold of him real Sounds quick. We're right back. We're right back. Julia's got this. Yay. Yeah, we're gonna get to talk to Jonas. Uh, let's see what he is. Thinking about the next rounds, if he prefers the mirror, if he prefers the Luchi matchup. I know he always has some very insightful uh, thoughts to share. Hope you guys are excited too. Who doesn't like listening to Jonas talk? <laughs> I believe, let's see if the other, let me check, let me check the scoreboard, see if anyone has moved forward while he comes here. Oh, he's here. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for posting the prayer. Yeah, you saw that, so. The beautiful prayer, someone yeah. already put it there for <laughs> you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. I'm good. That was yeah. a very silly game. That was game. a very, <laughs> very, very intense game. Lots of kid killers. How do you feel about the mirror? Um, the mirror has been a very interesting dynamic. Basically, like. You just have to look at your hand and figure out whether you want to be the aggressor and just draw multiple kid killers yeah. or you want to be the person that takes it slow. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of blockers, a bunch of Don, and just try to win that way. Yeah. Um, Ke Kevin kind of did that games one and two, mm -hmm. being the aggressor, and I had to be a little bit more defensive. Yes. Uh, and then game three, I had the kid killers, uh -huh. so I got to have the fun. <laughs> yeah, and what do you think is your main strategy uh, when going into Luchi, that is the other deck that is in top cut? That is a terrifying matchup always. <laughs> um, Basically, my strategy against them is I always like to go second just to like, stop their stages from the coming stage in play. Curve. Mori is always very terrifying. If they're playing a Kasabo, that card's also a beating. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, my uh, my priority number one is always make sure I have enough Dawn to keep playing things. Okay. Because if I get too low, the deck's really good at just KOing my board. Mm -hmm. So all of it goes away. So I'm usually just playing Ayn and then passing, passing or just like Bond play dawn. and then pass, go to seven Dawn, and do something involving Kid uh, or Asachi Penguin on my seven. Oh, okay, because then you are able to create like a wide board. Luchi has a hard time dealing with that. Fingers crossed, at least. <laughs> Finger, <laughs> like, let's hope they have a hard time with that. I saw that you, uh, you are both a very low Dawn in the mirror. Yes. Is that always like the play? Is that something that yep. depends? So the problem is you kind of always have to follow your opponent's Dawn management mm -hmm. because of Raju. Okay. The fact when you're at um, when your opponent's really low on Dawn versus you, mm -hmm. all of a sudden if you're at two Dawn, they're at like six. Then they get to rage you all the time, okay. and you can't Dawn minus three to get towards their range. Okay. So because of that, you kind of have to like follow their Dawn, kind of like mm -hmm. be in like a close range. So you can always like hope to draw Raju basically. Yeah, Raju Raju is a great card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and why did you choose Law for these events? Because the bands are coming, you just think the deck is good? So, to be completely honest, I don't want to put too much more time into studying this current metagame. Now that Nationals, both Liverpool and Dallas, are going to be for You're the post list, I'm going to vote. It's going to be a fun time. Um, so a lot of my testing has been towards that. And I was just playing Law because the deck has been the most versatile. Basically, a lot of decks in the format have one really good matchup, or a bunch of really good matchups, but always have like a really, one bad, really one. bad one. Luchi against like Black Yellow Luffy, Black Yellow Luffy against Bonnie. Like, all these like other really popular decks always have like one nightmare matchup, mm -hmm. except for RP Law. RP yeah. Law kind of has like a balance, and it's like slightly unfavored against mm -hmm. Luchi. So I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the the only thing that I see on Red Purple Law that sometimes it's hard is your own draws. Is your own draws your your enemy if you don't see the things you need? Yeah, it is just. You figure out what your hand is, and then you work with the best of what you got. Yeah. Um, the sometimes when you just draw a quad rage you like I did round one of yesterday's tournament, then like oh everything's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but if you play against, like, if you just draw none of that, you kind of have to play a game that just like uses your resources you have the best. Yeah. And sometimes it's very difficult and like almost impossible to win. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can like eke out a victory with like a very very bad draw. Yeah. Um, it's a very complicated process. I think Kevin's draw game one was actually quite poor. Yeah. But he was able to use his kid killers very powerfully to make mm -hmm. sure I actually died. So. 
Do you have any advice for people wanting to play Red Purple Off before um, it goes away? Um, <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. Aside from the fact that it's being banned, um, take every turn slow. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're planning out both your turn, trying to use your Dawn the best you can, and also making sure your Dawn's at a reasonable spot for the next couple of turns. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people end up kind of like having a bunch of queens and like five class kids rot in their hand because uh -huh. their Dawn got too low. Making sure you're planning for that next couple of turns in advance. You're seeing a few setup. turns ahead, what yeah. you can do. Okay, very yeah. nice. Do you have any decks you have an eye on for For Nats? Um, yeah. I was testing a lot of Black Yellow Luffy today, testing mm -hmm. a lot of Bonnie today. Uh, no one now? No one now, not at the <laughs> moment. I should be trying it sometime next week, but I kind of want to put that on the back burner. Okay, yeah. um, there's going to be a lot of things, and like Anel is kind of a control deck, and mm -hmm. control decks are really good when you know what the metagame is going to be. Abs but and we, we can't do not know what the metagame is going to be. So nice. it's going to be a really weird format trying to like adapt and improvise, but we have time to test. I've we been have doing a that lot in between of time rounds. to <laughs> test. Uh, well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to no watch problem, your game. Julia. Thank you for having and me. And we hope to see you more because when you get to those finals, we can see you more. Fingers crossed. That All was right. good. Bye, guys. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Julia. We're going to go on a short break before the next round, and we'll see you guys soon with our next match.
Dragon Ball Super Players going to round five. We have 35 minutes in the game.
Cameron's playing blue team. Right.
if you're gonna take one, I might get two of you. Uh, bro, you gotta, if you win the first one, you gotta let me get the second one. <laughs> Make it interesting? Yeah. Make it look interesting. Oh, why was I looking for my deck box? I don't know. You got it under control, don't worry. This is weird. <laughs> And we're back after a very quick uh, top eight. Now we have our top four. We're going to have two locals play each other off. We're going to have uh, Cameron Barden and Ryan Hartman play out. And it's a Lucci and Law match. On the other side of the bracket, we're going to have Holden Miller and Jonas. Mm -hmm. So pretty exciting. We already are in that singularity where it's just Lucci and Law. There's we knew what's going to happen. Yep. So at this point, we're just looking for that high skill level of gameplay for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, these two guys are definitely used to top yeah. tables, top cut uh, and such, mm -hmm. really good players. They're from the area-ish, Chicago, not Peoria. Peoria is like more in between kind of thing, I think, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, yeah, looking forward for this game. Um, mm -hmm. Cameron doesn't travel as often, but he does do well at online events since he's more staying at home. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, Ryan Hartman, he does go out a lot, travel to events. He uh, does perform, he does get his, uh, he was here 
last Peoria, I believe he ended in top 16. Mm -hmm. well, they give you, they give you the and then uh, he no, no, did no, no, get my, his oh, cereal oh, in near Mesquite oh, or Santa Clara or San Diego, oh, one of those two events. He ended up losing to uh, Jerry Lopez, who was the eventual winner. I think it might have been in California, based on who that was. So we are setting up their boards. Mm -hmm. And we will be having our hand freebie like we always do for the beginning of the game. So who do you think is favor in this matchup here? Uh, people say that it's a 50-50. Mm -hmm. uh, but Law versus Luchi tends to be in my... This is a Luchi mirror, oh, it's a right? Luchi. Oh, the, yeah. There's three oh, Luchi. No, no, it's two Luchis. My bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, the mirror is 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see who gets the geckos first. And the stage. Gotcha. All those so little pieces. So this is mm -hmm. uh, the Luchi mirror, yeah. but in between Luchi and Law, I think Luchi can do more with less, while Law needs to see very mm -hmm. specific things. And it can probably just aggro into it too yeah. as well. Yeah, but that's something to keep in mind for the other side of the bracket, where that's the case. Uh, it's Jonas against Holden Miller, and Holden Miller is a former winner. He. I believe he is the gentleman that won a regional with Queen, Blue oh, Yellow Queen yeah, back, in, back the in the heyday. Day, yeah. Yes, so definitely another, qual another quality matchup yeah, over there. So we have our mirror match right here with two Luchis. So may the odds be ever in their favor and see who gets their stage and their geckos and all that good stuff here. Absolutely. Those confuse me. I'm going to use these ones. I'm going to keep. Lots of dice, marking those reductions, lots of options. We're just going to see this like top four like match, uh, and yeah. then we're going to, after this one is done, we move, down, move to the yeah, finals. Mm -hmm. We're not going to watch the other match, no. I might get confused, bro. bro it says minus one. What's there to get confused about? Dude, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll use the <laughs> We're going to use the, uh, the dotted die. Perfect. Yeah. Well, the others do say minus, uh, what? but uh, it makes it easier on the viewer as well to see the dots of the die rather than the minus what, number. No, especially when I had the ball. Yes. I already mulligan, I got you. Do we, uh, which one of the players had the higher seat? Uh, Cameron had the higher seat, if I recall that correctly. He just only a, lost one, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me go, do, do a quick double check. That is wrong. Okay. Please hold. Please remain on the line. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. He actually did finish second. He was second in Swiss. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what happens is it was Daryl and Quan Le on the final round, but being the final round doesn't automatically guarantee you second place in standings. So Cameron losing and then winning out got him second place. Yep. Yep. We have some really nice. This game is going to take an hour. It's going to take a long time. Mirror, black mirrors are in. Is it? I mean, I, it's not as crazy bad as it was a Sakasuki mirror or it was just a seesawing back and forth. It was always going combo. Yeah, yeah. Rebecca Luchihina, Rebecca Luchihina, all that stuff. Uh, they have more firepower to play faster now, I think, with the constant plusing from the Spandine combo. Mm -hmm. And now they have a stage, which. Well. By the end of a cycle, Sakasuki yeah, did no, end up playing too. Yep. So. I'm so much less nervous playing against you. That's so good. We play all the time. Yeah, these two guys play each other all the time online. They're uh, habitual webcam testers on Cross AS Discord. Double Moria on Cameron's hand. Ooh, Brook Sabo, Spandam, Gekamoria, Gekamoria. That's mm -hmm. pretty nice. The and Ryan then. also has his own Gekamoria and, and stage. stage. So that's also a pretty good hand. Yeah, they both have Sabos. Yep. And Similar bro, hands. Oh, different Brooks. Different Brooks. Different Brooks. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> pretty good outside. Pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah, double stage. It's going to be a, they a fun time. They both have it. Yeah, it's... We disc... Um, Luchi... Cameron discarded a Luchi. Who's behind? Is that guy? Who's behind? Suru, right? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think it's Suru because, like... The little cape flowing. Yeah. yeah. And then we're discarding off a Helmepo and a Finger Pistol. Mm-hmm. Getting... 
expand them. Oh, playing Luchi, no effect, no targets, just mm, establishing a body. Can, can Ryan answer that Luchi? Ah. Five elite, meal two, double Ooh, Rebecca. Double Rebecca. Oh no. I mean, we do like to see the Rebecca's in the trash, the Moria combos, all of those mm. things. Sorry, readjusting. Um, Sabo gonna filter and fill that trash even more. Gonna be getting rid of some cards. Another stage, definitely not needed. Mm. Now are we considering... Front cycle of that hand. Yep, we're missing one card from that cycle. We love to hear that. Actually, we don't love to hear that. How did your hand stack? Yeah, I think now that we're past the top eight, well, top eight was also fine. Mm -hmm. Once you get to that top eight, a lot of the pressure already comes off. Yeah, because you already got yeah. your cereal. So, you so now you're fighting for glory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're pitching the six cost brook for that Sabo effect. Right now, uh, Sabo on play effect is um, right there. And then he brooks the Sabo. Brooks does the effect of trashing yep. instead of KOing, so That's he nice. does play around um, Sabo's on play effect. Uh, Iona's in a, is in against a Luchi. There are three Luchis and one Law in top four. Yep, he's a lone Law player. Lone Star Jonas against all the uh, Luchis. Luchis. Yeah, earlier I, I didn't put a name to a face, uh, so I wasn't sure if it was uh, Andres or Holden, but now I know it's Holden. <laughs> Each player's discard pile is getting thicker and thicker. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hearts is pretty uh, big already. See yeah. that depth in that one. And we're going to have six mm -hmm. into Oop and Kaku. counter out. Applying the minus effect into Brook. And then he's going to trash. And, uh, Judge Tyler's going to uh, keep us reminding on what the count should be for that one. Yep. The other semi is Jonas, Abraham, and Holden Miller. Law against Lucci. And if anyone sees that on chat, if you want to uh, come support us and post it as a reminder every so often, we're currently in top four. That way everybody can know because everybody comes in and joins the chat at different times, completely understanding that they might miss out. Yeah. They just that 1K for that, uh, for that 5K swing. We're reducing the brook. They're both pretty down on life. The first Moria comes down. First Moria down. We're going to do the Luchi into the Helmetpo. Yep. Get rid of that. Bottom three cards. I'm not so sure if Gravity Blade needs to be addressed. Gravity Blade is not even a, bo a body. Yeah. It's an event that consumes your entire turn. Yeah, there's other cards that could be addressed way ahead of that I believe. That yeah. Played. An example, the card that you seen four of in this matchup right now can get you the win. The oppressive Moria to Moria to Moria to Moria. Moria to Moria. Yeah. So many cards people were speculating about, yeah. but I don't think Gravity Blade was one of them. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna and heart measuring the trash part over here. Camera only has five cards in trash. Yeah, very minimal compared to the other stack that Heart has. Our first Moria is out of uh, our first Moria is on the trash for Ryan. I think he has a Moria in hand, mm. but I don't think he can effectively uh, him remove Cameron's Moria. And he doesn't. He's still thinking about who he's gonna give the minus one. Okay. We're gonna do the Tempest kick. He has ten cards in trash, so he can do that. To get that minus mm -hmm. three effect, then the draw is at any point. Never do that too hard. So we're looking at a four cost Moria right now. When you minus, do you 
use a die to reflect what was minus or what is left? That's the problem. Some players use to reflect what is left. Some players mm. use to reflect what you reduced. Yeah. So it's always good to confirm with your yeah. opponent how he is marking that. Personally, I like to show what was minus. Yeah. And if it's a positive, well, no, I think what is added or removed is usually the best take, oh, in my opinion. Triple more, double more yeah, on that spend, okay. and that is rough. Because now he has three Morias mm -hmm. on the trash. He's going to have to put it back be an effect later on. Yeah, that is going to hurt a little bit. But we can get those Morias in the bottom of the deck. If, But I don't think the game was going to get to the point that he can go all through his deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one-off hog back, yeah. <laughs> the one-off, that would be uh, pretty crazy. That tech. The special tech. Okay, he's bottom decking the three mm. Morias. Yep. Which he may or may not see it eventually if this game prolongs enough. And uh, Hart's already in a position where he's middling out a lot. So if the game prolongs that much, it might come to that. Mm -hmm. I think Bo uh, Boa or Dofi knocked uh, the Black Yellow Luffy. No, uh, Boa, no. Boa knocked out the Bonnie. So it was a uh, So there were two and L, um, two and L's. I'm not, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It might have been the Lucha or the loss too. Yeah. Because there were so many. So many. So we're gonna go five trash two. We're gonna give the reduction to. Yes, that is uh, the <laughs> one that invented the three brook on Saka. Not to be confused with the when the guy that invented pudding on Saka. Oh my god, so many creators here. Because they definitely did not play those cards in Asia, right? <laughs> <laughs> three Mori in hand. Golly Oof. gee. Yup. It's going to become the battle of uh, who brings out the most. Yeah, personally, I'm already liking this matchup more than seeing the Saka Mirror because with Sakasuki, I was seeing that board wipe every turn. Every board turn. Wipe every turn. Yeah. So I went to Europe for their European finals, and their final was Saka Mirror, and it was just every single turn back and forth, <laughs> wiping each other's board, wiping each other's board. And it's like, when is it over? And it took like a misplay for it to end at that point. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Going for a seven swing. Blocking out Rebecca. Okay. Are we going to see the second, the, the other Mario come down? Ice, Ice Age. On the Moria. So the Moria has been reduced and KO'd with a Brook. Then for five, we're going to play a Sabo. Yes, protects the entire field from KO effects. Really solid the, at this point in the Brooke game. The Brook sitting comfy right now. Yeah, the Brook is, unless he has a six cost Brook, or mm -hmm. a Nightmare Luffy won't help either. So. Yeah, it's, right now it's pretty safe. Very safe. And we'll have the ability to reduce at will for the next round of Crackback. Mm -hmm. No e shows yet. And he trashed one of the mm. Morias from his hand on the Oof. cycling. Then you must be pretty confident in what he, he has left. He must be. Yeah, he probably has. Or no choice. Yeah. yeah. Probably has more uh, one more Gecko in hand to keep that next turn safe. Yeah, definitely Cameron has all the pressure here uh, to emit. Two sixes. The blocker has also six, and a brook that can reduce, and we're luching. We are going six, reducing the sabo. Mm. Could that mean we're going into a brook play since? Since he reduced the sabo. Yeah, so he's looking to trash. I thought so too. It just feels a little inefficient in this point of the game. Mm. You're going to establish a 6k body that can be KO'd on the following mm -hmm. turn in exchange to trashing a blocker that they could use at any point to, to block anyways. 
I'm not sure he has a better play than that. Okay. Doing a little board control. So we have quite a lot, lot of done left to spare. We expect Hart to make a play, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, or would he just attack to reduce to have a target and mill no matter what, maybe? Okay, we're picking up the Rebecca. Rebecca. Are we just getting counter? Yeah, just getting a 2k. Uh, getting the Kaku. Mm -hmm. Five to Sabo. Okay, okay yeah. that's solid. Then he did it to just mill out. Mm -hmm. Keeps your bodies protected, same way. Mm. I mean, nope. he has four yep. cards in hand. It's hard to decide which one you're letting go. Trash is the Chuke Kaku. They yeah. got back with Rebecca. We're resetting back to Cameron over here. Mm -hmm. uh, going to the full Rebecca. 10. Mm, checking his trash, considering probably a Moria play or a Rebecca play. I do believe it was said that we had the Gecko in Cameron's hand. Mm -hmm. If he didn't pitch it at any point mm -hmm. with the Sabos, he should still have at least one Gecko. And he's gone. Can I let that Luchi go? The yeah. Brook's probably gonna sit there for the other for this turn, like since he can't KO anything. Yeah. There's no reason to put it <laughs> sideways. Here we're we're gonna put down the Dawn to uh, notify. Yeah. Are we doing Rebecca? Are we? Yep. Brooke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we are marking for the uh, reduction. Yes. Then we'll do and we're trashing with Brook. Yep. Trash. Bypassing always the uh, no KO effects, right? Swinging with his Sabo and a 5k swing of lead. Mm -hmm. And gets a little Rebecca block there. Yep. Can Ryan find a way to survive next turn? We have two life for Cameron, one life for Hart, and it's not looking too great. On this side, but it is definitely a uh, deck that can turn around by seeing the right cards, bringing him back into play, keying along the way. There's currently no protection None. placed for uh, Cameron's board right now, so. Yep. Yeah, milling the Moria was, uh, was a big deal for sure. Critical. If he had a Moria played this turn, it could be game changing. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but it, it it is card games. It is like milling. And it's part you know. of Luchi. Luchi yeah, has that slight high row factor. Mm -hmm. that you have to pray you don't mill the cards that you can't get back. Right. So it's kind of a it is what it is type of deal. Mm -hmm. and is what's he considering Lito? Okay, you and Rebecca and go for Lito with his board? With two? Yeah, it doesn't seem, huh. it doesn't seem good. That's I don't know what that dawn distribution could be. These bodies are not that big. 
They're both 2 twos, right? Yeah, so, no, they're ooh. not good bodies. That's a lot of dawn investment to get him to a respectable attack range. Yeah. No, definitely I don't uh, I don't think he can go he lethal. He's going to hit for a 6 into... Okay, so we're going to go for board. Uh -huh. I think he's swinging at Sabo. Leader I'm swinging at Sabo. I'm no. leader, leader factor. Yes. Leader factor. Swinging at Sabo, yeah. reducing the Rebecca. Right now, reducing the Luchi. So we're trying to swing out. Yep. Gonna into block. Sabo. Pointing the reduction to Luchi. Yeah, and then mm. we still got cards in hand, stage to play, and we're gonna stage to Luchi, make it a zero. Oh, not yet, not yet. Yeah, the Luchi Miro has way too much math involved, so those players so need time. They need to really think their decisions. Uh, okay, it was, yeah, sorry. Leaving it to one. Uh, uh, Miscounted. Yeah. And Luchi pops off, getting rid of their Luchi and putting more cards back in the deck, mm -hmm. which might definitely come into play if the game gets prolonged enough. However, he is one life, one so uh, one blocker. Mm -hmm. in, and, uh, and Cameron's Luchi has possibly four attacks if he decides to go for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cameron but he could has a Moria in hand. Yeah, Cameron could go for it or secure by imposing his own Gek Moria on the board, which I think definitely will be a strong play. Yeah, defensive Moria into a Rebecca, mm -hmm. get a 2k back. And then there's another 9k attacker to worry about, and we're going to Tempest kick first. Yeah. And Doing some reduction. There's a Rebecca in hand, mm -hmm. what I'm peeping. We're and reducing the, the Sabo by tree. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we got two left on the Sabo. Mm -hmm. Are we going to swing six? Thinking, Not thinking there numbers yet. Not there here. I can hear myself again. Okay. We're gonna uh, go a 7k. Mm -hmm. Choo -choo, is that choo choo case or? Yeah, no, uh, and Kaku one. and one, yeah. And a one behind. Yeah, yeah. for the eight. Mm -hmm. er. Milling two. Countering out. Countering. Very small hand for heart over here. Mm hmm. Still has eight don up. Mm -hmm. He's nice. got quite a bit left in the gas tank. Uh, and he could Moria at any point. Oh. No, I think setting up for next room might be the most secure thing to do. Yeah, I don't think he needs to hurry with two life. Yeah. A Sabo blocker and now a Rebecca blocker gets you a 2k. Mm -hmm. Here comes Rebecca. Oh, he's pitching. And searching. The brook. We're going to see. Oh, we CP. got another oh, 2K. CP. All right, 2K. We love to see it. The Rebecca effect to get another 2K. Oof. Another 2K. And establishes an 8 into 9 body. Yep. Even and swings we're swinging with, the with confidence to the. Uh, yeah. Cameron is setting up all the right plays, readying for the next round. Confident uh, that all this counter and one blocker will suffice. Yeah, he's good. Ryan Hart is going to give it out to Cameron and move on to game two. Time is of the essence. Yep. Uh, not knowing when to concede and move on is, is uh, important, is important because being stubborn can sometimes cost you uh, the loss. In a prior example, like I said earlier in the stream, if you if time were to end <laughs> on game I mean, two, fair, the, the win of the match would be awarded to the one that won the most games, therefore the winner of game one. So if by some gosh for a second reason, uh, Ryan would have just been stubborn, played out this whole game one to no avail, and then be playing game two and time gets called, he would have automatically lost. Yes. So if we hit that one happens, that is the nature of the game, that's the rules of the game. So mm -hmm. 
it's always best to learn when to pick up your cards, move on to the next game for sure. Absolutely. I'd stare at everyone else playing and I'd want to hear these guys the same. Um, now, um, Ryan gets to choose the city? Yeah, because Ryan lost uh, the, the match. Yeah, yeah the, the games. He lost the game, so he's yeah, picking he the traditional, choose. you know, most ECGs. Oh, yeah, the absolutely. one loser of the first game gets to pick who goes first or second. Mm -hmm. In this matchup, it seems like going first or second has a big impact. Mm -hmm. Being able to play all your... Because Luchi runs a lot of even cards. So being able to play all those even cards on curve makes a huge difference in the overall result. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll get to see Jonas again if he makes to the finals, which means if he wins his current matchup that he's yeah, playing. I was, never, well, I was never, I was never winning it. I built three, and you had, well, yeah. I don't know. Once you had the, once I couldn't get rid of your Luchi, and then you had the, yeah, yeah, yeah. you had the book for my Sabo. It was like I'm not winning this, yeah, yeah. but I can try. But yeah, it's just I lose so much cards. Yeah. But then it's an extra body I have to KO, and I, I didn't yeah. have a Mevo in my grave, so I couldn't get a double. Have you tried Luchi? No, in this meta, I tried a little bit of RP Law, and uh, I hadn't played Rage since 05, uh, oh. 06. I mostly play now. Nice. Yeah. Luchi is a deck I hadn't played. I hadn't picked up many cards from the new set, new mm. newer sets. Yeah, the only thing I built was just an L, because I, I pulled out the aces in the case. It's like, all right, I'm playing uh, an L. I guess I'm yeah. playing an L. Yeah, that's the, the preset. I did have Sakasuki build. It's somewhere in the closet. <laughs> Jonas is playing against Holden Miller, another Luchi player. Okay, going to shuffle the opponent's deck. Good. Bro, I shuffle everyone's deck, round one. Looks like Cameron uh, didn't mulligan, right? Uh, he kept right away. Yeah, he kept right away. But That's a is, good like, sign for him. We this are is top currently four. in top four. Yes, that's that my European playmat and my Latin American playmat. They look beautiful. Perfectly arranged where you'll draw the cards that you want. Yeah, I kindly donated this to the stream. Actually, I wanted to have the judge playmat uh, be used, but unfortunately, it doesn't have zones. So uh, we did like how this one looked because it did provide and it helps. A, a grid and layout on how to use them. In mm -hmm. Tempest thing and grab Kalitha and then I will pass yep. you. Yep. Okay. And then good starts. Easy 5k swing. We're milling top two. Pistol mm -hmm. and Double pistol. Play stage. stage. Comes down. Okay. Little five, Nightmare Luffy and Kaku. Yeah, Nightmare potentially Luffy. it's last pistol. Yeah. Khalifa. Draw two, trash two. Discard Rob Luchi. And discard. Yeah, stage does facilitate it does. all the reduction. We have yet to see Isho in play, yeah. another card. Luchi, both of them were pretty low on cards mm. through most of the game, so I'm not sure Isho gets its value. And unfortunately, Isho is a card that requires eight don't commitment to play, and they can just yeah. Ice Age. Oh, there's the Isho, it's the very top one, it's the, uh, yeah. the SP art one. Looks so good. Yeah. Ooh, a Mel Dadakaku and a Spandam. Mm -hmm. Are we going for? Uh, oh, he hits the life trigger. What a trigger! For the Aeneas lobby, much needed for Ryan there to get that Aeneas lobby set up, to get that mirror match to be a little more balanced. And it's free now too. Free. Uh, we put the Sabo blocker down, so no KO effects. Brooks still a possibility though. Nope. Uh, is he gonna answer with his own? Sabo, yes. For a uh, neat thing, we're currently at over 900 viewers tuning in to watch yeah. the top four of this uh, Top Cut Events Puree Regional. So thank you all for tuning in. 
I know it's a little late or a little way too early for you guys in our continent, so we appreciate you coming by. <laughs> Okay, we're swinging with those blockers. Good stuff. Yep, setting up. Yep, forget a place. That is true. Absolutely. Attaching the one and oh seven. Seven milling two. How are we gonna take the life? Maybe rest Sabo and give it a two k. Five downs up, we're not gonna see a brook play, so the Sabo should yep. be safe, but a chain of Sabos here. Draw no wonder it went up in price. <laughs> um, okay. you. Yep, that would do it. Picture Rebecca. The, do any of them have um, Moria in hand? Have I believe been I saw Heart with the altar ones, okay. based on like, the shading of the hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the geckos. Yeah, we should we get into that uh, part of the dawn range. Yep. Both of their trashes are stacked. Mm -hmm. So we know it's going to be a very interesting matchup. We're pitching Letting the Brook, brook and, and we're pitching Khalifa. Khalifa 2K. Draw. He wants to check his opponent's trash. He's good. Especially against black decks, you want to make sure what can they combo, like what cards are going to work. Seeing the probability of what's coming out. Yeah. Uh, if they can already use their Tempest Kick, because Tempest Kick exactly has a requirement of being at 10 cards in trash. That, that is true. Ooh, uh, Sabo mill, was played. We milled the first Moria yeah, on Ryan's side. An attack, attack. Sabo on Sabo violence. Now both Sabos are turned sideways. Mm, and, and we're then playing Maria the gecko. Comes down. So unfortunately, they can't take advantage of these rested Sabos. Yes. We're going to do the Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Spam them over spam them. Top three search for. Not CP, CP, and SCP well. event. He gets the reducer. Tempest kick, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Simple Rebecca spam them plus two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, the, the, the Moria value plays that you just find counter and defensive mechanisms are really strong. Doesn't seem like Cameron has his own good. Moria in like hand. Maybe he, I may, just he may not. Yeah, I don't think he does. He does. Oh, Tempest, Tempest kick, right. kick. We're going to draw. How are we seeing the Moria? Cameron is sitting on two blockers, however, so that's pretty I nice. I think he saw a six cost Brook out of that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he can still draw with the one cost uh, with the one cost event. It's just the minus three that has a condition. Right. He needs a ten CP archetype. Yeah. Yeah. So doesn't have to be there to get that draw effect. I can hear Karaj shouting from across the thing over here. <laughs> He's, oh my gosh, he's sold out. Mm, right now, Cameron is just thinking what is the best math or the best numbers since he can't just play his own Moria to equal the field. Oh, it is 10 cards in requirement. All right, thank you for the clarification. Yeah, and I do acknowledge that it is counting itself when it goes because yeah. it hits this card as it activates. Mm -hmm. Just, Just like, like King Kongo. Yeah, or the one other Dress Rosa card, the, the black, um, the one that has Kiros in it. I oh. Forget. Yeah. Yes. I, it was a, a nice name on it. I don't recall it top of my head. And then four don't left. Are we going to see maybe a Rebecca play? Get counter back. 
or? Uh, mine is Gecko from Siege. Oh, okay, so he's going for a Luchi play, KO the Gecko? Uh, I will drop Luchi. Yep, KO right. Gecko is Panda. Gecko, do you have a Spanda in charge? And they're out. I think I do, yeah. You do? I think. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't. He was quite asking if there was a spend in the trash because sometimes you don't want to give your opponent some of these little cards. The hell map pulls the spandens because they can just come back with another Moria. Yep. The finals is right after this. This is top four. Swing over my Well, I might poke at it a little bit. No, you would never. Okay. Okay, they're both very aggressive with their blockers, hobos, swinging pretty much every turn with them. Mm, he does let his hobo go. Yep. So got Another more there? Uh, yeah, because he played the one. Uh, we believe he had two mm -hmm. earlier on, so. Yeah. Definitely a play. Gotta go through the trash, see what we got to her. Just a quick confirm, quick, quick check. We're dropping in two for a uh, seven swing, potentially. Yeah. Seven. And seven committed into life. Oh, he reaches the hell map point trash? That's very nice. Ooh. So life now the Luchi is at three. I think, I think I saw a Khalifa. So Luchi becomes a one cost. Mm -hmm. And then Helmeppo can put Sabo to a two, which puts both of them in uh, Luchi territory. Now uh, it looks like he's counting how many CP <laughs> cards real quick, how many he had in his deck to see if he can successfully spam them. Minus Sabo? I didn't look. I, 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 would, I wouldn't do that. I'm not I want to show you after the game. And yeah. Uh, Helmeppo is going to minus Sabo. Rebecca effect. Yep, we're gonna get this pandine. Oh, we, okay, he probably has this pandine in hand, in hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just doing it for the sake of doing it, and I will play Spandine. And then charge the Helm Apple. Spandine, full combo. Full combo combo. Yeah, we're putting back Tempest, Gecko, oh, sorry, Spanda. How much time do we have left now? We got 26 minutes left in the match. Okay. Still on game two. Removing yeah. Spandine and a board clear. Luchi, clearing out the whole board on Cameron's side. And it's really hard for Cameron to get rid of all those bodies on the other side right now. Yeah, it's not looking good for Cameron. Uh, it, it was slightly overheard in the uh, The in player's the voice? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't looking too great. Amoria definitely would help his side, but I don't think at this point. Right. He did top deck the Moria. There you go. Oh. Very Let's nice. see. Uh, he probably is doing all the mass, which are the best targets to get rid of. It comes to show how impactful Kikamoria is so. in this deck, or really any, any deck that has black cards, really. Uh, mm -hmm. Seeing that one top deck can change the game entirely. Absolutely. We're milling a Moria and an Ice oh. Age, swinging six at the Sabo. Yeah, you want to clear that board a little bit, so we're going to use the swing, trying to clear. The Rebecca blocker. It's always nice to have the Rebecca back on trash. Yep. Especially with the other Moria that looks like he has in hand. Yep, and has been played. Yeah. Bring, yeah, we're pre choosing already for Rebecca, and the other half's gonna be uh, he expand them. Yeah, he didn't have the Search out. to do the second reduction. We're gonna whiff. Oof. Search. Happens. And then Rebecca effect. They could potentially Go ahead and grab this Sabo. Pick, they pick up Sabo. Secondary effect. I will. I don't have a broken hand. I thought it was a hand. Mm. Uh, 
Do you want me to broker now? Like, can I take the broker now? Yeah, that's fine. Just okay. do it. Just do it. So he lets him swap out the card. The uh, camera really asks his opponent if it's okay <laughs> to pick up the Sabu instead of the mm -hmm. Rebecca. The Brian gives uh, confirmation that he is okay with that. Yep, it's all about consent. Mm -hmm. You have a Sabo in hand. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, the, the stakes that are a little, little bit different right now. There's less pressure. And these are two players that always consist consistently see each other uh, mm -hmm. in, in gameplay. So uh, it's definitely not that dire to have that kind of play be taken back. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hart is also in a really good position right now. So I'm sure the Brook's not the scariest thing for him. Because we might be seeing Moria number three coming down. Ooh. How many cards? Seven. It's like it's a good card, you know, to have four of in every black deck. <laughs> I'm sure if they could run eight, they would. <laughs> oh, no. You like that hand? That's, 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 that's the hand so was Cameron shown and it was conceded. Oh, he conceded. He conceded. Oh, okay. Cameron scoops. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to game three, and yeah, the winner I, I of the next game will go straight finals. to the finals to face off either Holden Miller or yeah. Jonas Abraham. I had all two kids in hand. You guys are free to put on the prayer now on the chat. <laughs> Become wave haste. Amen. Yeah, that's why I scared. I'm never winning that, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wasn't even going to play the Mori. I was going to Rebecca Sabo. Yeah, and it's also very smart. Uh, Cameron conceded. It wasn't looking too great for him, so he... Uh, yeah, it wasn't looking too good for him, but the game was still yeah. goal for a few turns. Yeah. Like, and then he loses the time that he could yeah, be Yeah, so using. exactly. So might as well start start up game that's, three, dude, set up your cards, like so start gameplay, so because you don't want to get caught you just stick the in end of time I mean, playing and this. Because yeah. of something like that. Especially well, in a game yeah. where if you're playing like the mirror, it, it will come down to whoever milled like less. Yeah. Yeah. My thing is, I didn't think I we are like not sure I yet. Uh, we'll try and find out. We're still got 20 minutes plus left on the clock while we're setting up. Maybe uh, Tyler. Are you fully Fox Force? Tyler, I don't think I should have can you find out if Jonas is playing or the Holden one? Yeah, Holden one? No okay. So yeah, we're going to double check, but yeah, it's almost a positive that yeah, Holden yeah, Miller so won yeah, the, the other side of the match. The Law versus yeah, Luchi matchup is very rough. Because mm -hmm. uh, if Luchi gets into that cycle of Law puts two bodies out, Luchi removes two bodies, it's really tough. For, for Law to come yeah. back. And yes, Jonas was so on Law. Yeah, Jonas is playing Law. Sorry. I've been setting up my headset again. Uh, Holden did end up winning the other side of the bracket, so the winner of this no, no, match was, will face was, off uh, Holden Miller on Lucci and the finals. So we are guaranteed a uh, Lucci finals. All Lucci. Jonas talked a little bit in his interview why he chose Law, so you can you can rewatch that later to see his thoughts on the on the deck. Hey, this is the game that decides yep. who is gonna get to that final. It's Lucci or Lucci. Wow, and we're gonna have another Lucci mirror on the final. <laughs> We're still setting up our stuff yeah. over here. Uh, hey, but yeah, no, it's been like a really back, efficiently I run event. I, I would say uh, yeah. not many delays. <laughs> Things have gone on pretty fast. Anyways, yeah. uh, it mattered, but it's always a similar fashion here at Top Cut events. They are pretty good at getting the events running. Mm -hmm. uh, we have actually right now, we're running quite a few side events for One Piece and Dragon Ball. Can't confirm if it's Masters or Fusion World, but I, I think Fusion. it's Fusion World, yeah. And it's also a Fusion World Regional being held right now as well. So a lot of action happening right now behind the uh, the tent we're on. Yep, we have Not two, just One Piece. two 64 player events for puddings happening mm -hmm. on the side events for One Piece. Very nice. It's impressive. Lucci had only seven representatives in the top 32 and he knocked out the 13 loss. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, it, it was also oh, law uh, cannibalizing itself, playing each other oh, out, yeah, seeing yeah, all the colors. Of 
Uh, we did see an, an example, uh, Pedro Cabrera, he did play out into uh, Boa, and it was, it was a just more favorable matchup, per se. Absolutely. Yeah, so it does happen. But uh, getting Law in, in top four is not bad at all. The sole representative of Law for Jonas. Mm -hmm. And we're starting up. Cameron's going stage second with Stage. Curve. See if Hartman can, he can Hart going for that eighth swing, milling Rebecca and Spandam. No stage for Hart yet, but Cameron takes that life. Yeah. Soft five stage alive. Stage makes games. It milling does. Sabo Lucci. Ooh, we're really feeding that trash with the Khalifa. Yeah. Putting the Helmepo. It's mm. always good to have a Helmepo in trash. A and we're also go. digging for Gecko, correct? <laughs> and uh, this is a zero cost event. This year, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. CP event, so it works for span dine requirements and Kako requirements for mm -hmm. bottlenecking. Um, then we're going to mill yeah. Rebecca Brooke. Two Rebeccas in this card and a Brooke. We're going to come down on the same Ooh. Khalifa. Another Khalifa. Both players know what they need set up in this matchup. Clearly, they know it very well. So we're going to see a lot of cycling, a lot of Sabo, a lot of mm -hmm. Khalifa to make sure the trash is perfect for those Gecko plays. It's almost as, they're, as if they're trying to play Gecko because they're feeding their, their discard to get what they need from discard. Absolutely. Are you going to see a 5-5 five, five into Sabo? Could be. Reducing the Khalifa. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, this weekend we do have the release of the uh, newest starter deck, the uh, 3D2Y, and it's the uh, a black starter deck featuring a brand new Luffy leader, and they revolve around the time skip stuff. No, the pre-time skip. No, it is the time skip. Yeah, it is, the yeah, the event pr in between, right? And mm -hmm. also, it is a slightly different philosophy of black. It is not about reduction; it's about increasing cost. So it's kind of like a counter to the current black way of playing, and. It does have some neat things here and there. Leader will increase cost. The stage will increase cost. Mm -hmm. So a lot of potential. It's yeah. not quite there yet, it's but it can happen. Yeah. It's interesting that he went for the Kaku play, mm -hmm. uh, which kind of pays off because right now the Brook would have trashed the Sabo if he had done it. Uh, and so he got rid of the Khalifa. Go. No, I was trying to look at uh, uh, Cameron's hand. Oh, you're good. Okay, we're checking trash, seeing what we're working with. Trash, Nama Luffy. The Nightmare Luffy is just for the Black Yellow matchup, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also has a, a trashing effect, not a uh, KO effect, right? So exactly. Uh, yeah, chew so cost. Trash is a chew cost. So that's really good. So, okay, so we're going to go a 7 alive. Trashing 2. Amoria comes down on the middle. Yeah, this is the five ca fi first time Kako gets played mm -hmm. in the in any game here. Yeah, having access to mm. stage versus non-stage is big, very big. Yeah, if you mean that in Luffy, yeah, that that one's pretty nice, and it's uh basically, I believe, an instant rush, because it was a ten cost on the board, which will be itself. Mm -hmm. It does gain rush, so that's pretty nice. Yeah. And we got a clear board over here. Brooke pressing on, on the field for Cameron's side. Cameron does have stage. That is a big, big thing. Oh, okay, what is he flashing? Uh, Isho. Isho. Uh, Gecko, I think I saw a Gecko in there. There should be an he event. He does in have hand. seven and cards that Isho meantime, could hit. Brooke, Suru, Rebecca. I'm not seeing a, gec a Sabo, a Gecko on Cameron's hand. Yeah. No. But we could see an Isho coming down. Quick trash analysis. Are we going to go for mm. it? Tempest. Tempest. Tempest, reduce the brook. Doesn't okay. look like he's going for a Isho play. Hmm. 
it though. Yeah, and then Ryan doesn't have stage and is at two life already. No triggers. Mm -hmm. He has a, so much dawn open. I think we're going to see the, the Moria. Gecko, okay. Moria, Rebecca, Rebecca. Helmepo. Because the, mm. oh no, the brook is already in Spandai. range because of the Tempest kick. Mm. So it doesn't need the helm apple. Oh, he mills one of his stages. Oh, no hits. Unfortunate. Yep. Take to see it. Putting back a uh, Tempest, Spandam, and Khalifa, Khalifa. bottom. Play Playing out Luchi, KO, and Brook. And then we got a bottom tree. The stage is an easy bottom. Mm -hmm. The Nightmare Luffy too. Yeah, one card puts, puts five, five bodies. bodies out. Yeah, that's <laughs> that disgusting. Is wild. It's the power of Gecko Moria. Yeah, that's why Ooh. we see so many black decks succeeding in the meta right now. We have Gecko, we have Black Yellow Luffy, and we have Luchi. They're all very reliant on that A cost Moria, especially Black Yellow Luffy. To be fair, we had this whole stint where it was all green and then all red, and then we're getting to this now. So no, uh, we went to Sakazuki first. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I didn't. Because he's half, half black, so I didn't want to go into repeating that one. But yeah, pretty much, it, it's cyclical. That's how the you know card games are at. They're gonna have their formats where one color or leader is dominant, and it moves on to the next one. Uh, but for sure, there's a uh, more skillful deck to play as Osaka. You have to get your dawn count correct, your mm. sequence correct. It's not like in, no, no, you know, yeah. in with the old man where you use 6k leader, go to 8, <laughs> rab beam, rab beam. Oh, Lord, you know. no. It is, it is interesting how much value having the stage put in there because he removed yeah. that Moria so easily with yeah. the finger pistol because of the stage. And we are seeing the Isho coming Ooh. down. is going to rip two cards out and of that picking. hand. That hand is big, though. Oh, that was a... Fat hand. Rifle. Okay, let's and see what we the got. The result is show, Sabo show. And the other finger pistol. Yeah, losing the Sabo. And then we mill two, Brook Khalifa. Holden Miller, it. Uh, not sure. It was just the two and the one. Minus three. Oh, yeah, okay. Tempest Geek and Okay. Okay, going through the trash. Very normal for Luchi yeah. players to be fiddling with their trash for most of the game. Yeah, no, that, that trash is humongous. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Spandon. We already have at least one hit, double hit, so... See what he needs. Does he need counter or he needs reduction? Reduction goes. The potential uh, mechanic idea would be to have a uh, remove from, from trash zone. Mm -hmm. That could also be I mean, down the line many years from now. One mechanic you could use to make it so discard and your trash isn't all powerful like it is right now. Yeah. I mean, the six cost Brook kind of tried to do that, forcing mm -hmm. your opponent to bottom deck three cards as his other option. Yeah. But usually it's g it gets played as the trash of four cost. Yeah, that, there's cards that counter milling, like Biola, I believe, is the one yeah. that does that. There's cards that we'll, we'll put back bottom decks, you know, Hound Blaze and so on. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the decks go so fast, they're not that. Unless not that you see, like, back to back to apply that pressure, you don't, you know, it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. I mean, Cameron is being very careful there because he knows he needs to remove it's that. It's just Luchi. Yeah. It's just Luchi. Luchi is our, essentially our winner of this event. Mm -hmm. We're just winning on which pilot wins it. <laughs> <laughs> that is very we do have good. 10 minutes left in the game. We're on game three right now, so. Uh, and then we have 10 minutes of overtime. Correct. Correct, yeah. 10 minutes within the two turns. Turn. Each. 
Okay, so we're gonna go seven, reducing the, the issue from stage. Yeah, reducing the issue from stage and leader. And we're gonna go for the Lucci Helmepo, yep. getting rid of the Isho. Yeah, it's yep. There he goes. Even though Isho is a fantastic card, especially in other matchups, in the black matchup it can be uh, underwhelming because it gets removed so so easily by Gecko and Combos. If he can pull it off another more, yeah, yeah, maybe Ooh. he can survive. Okay. Or bottom deck in the cards needed. One life for Ryan. One life for Cameron. No blockers. So starting with a Tempest Kick. Draw, reduce the Moria by three. Ryan has been playing this entire game without stage. He does not have yeah. that free minus so rough two. Times. He is playing post ban list right now. <laughs> it was seven Luchis on top 32. Uh huh. Yeah, and two and else. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a very big board on Cameron's side of things. Mm -hmm. Stage is there, so. Luchi post band so strong as Ryan is showcasing it. I mean, you could say it that way, yeah. That's, uh, no, he's still doing a really yeah, good it, job. He's just less... Uh, it's oomph. It's more work. Yeah. But definitely it was a card that only addressed just the CP archetype. Yeah, because it's yeah. leader locked. Yeah, so not necessarily other decks that are black that played Moria and Rebecca or so on so still somewhat of a difference yes and we're attacking into Hamepo getting it off play Nailing a Moria uh, ooh Brooke what was the other card that, that uh, heart dropped uh, from the yeah to trash Moria. Now. oh that was Mar okay. Moria okay Moria and Brooke. Brooke okay and finger pistol no, 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 no. Luchi Luchi on the spam now. and he's gonna use the finger pistol on the gecko because the Gecko is currently a four. Put him back. Yep. Gecko Isho. Tempest Kick. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And that was a good clear. Gek, good clear. That was super clean. But can he survive if he splits? Because he only has one life. Jonas was in top four. A seven in hands. He splits 10-11. It's a little risky. Seven cards in hand, but... And we're doing seven broke. Both players have one life left. If he can't counter the seven, okay, he did oh, have to drop three cards two, left two in deck. Three uh, cards uh, left in deck? Oh, sorry, sorry, no. In hand. Hand, yeah. Words are hard. I was and about to think uh, that that was... <laughs> okay, milling two. I think that's a Rebecca behind Spanner. Yeah. Extra the reduction there on the Luchi. They are both gonna go. Rebecca. Probably to play the Brook. Do we have a Brook? Sabo. No, we're gonna get the, the Sabo. Play the Spandai from hand. It's a good, strong play. Bottoming three CPs. We know he definitely has them. Mm -hmm. All right, and Luchi KOing. Mm -hmm. And the board has been cleared yet again. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard for Ryan right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one blocker, a Luchi, and a Brook that's still out there, out and about, being a 6K beater, uh, not being removed. It's pretty dangerous, especially when I have one life. Absolutely. If... Um, um, Brian can make sure that that one life goes down, like the camera's one life, and he's able to do a Rebecca Sabo play, maybe, but not I'm not now anymore. A brook and a tempest. Yeah, pitches the bricks. 
Letting go of Tempest and Lucci. Lucci. Not sure yeah. about that because he might want to save the Lucci for the uh, blocker removal in case Ryan blockers up. And yep, Ryan has uh, conceded the game. Scoops. We're giving it to Cameron over here. Good job, Cameron. Yep, and time to spare. Oh, that was a good game. Good job for him. Congratulations to both players. This, I just realized I have Kevin's mat still here. Did you have some <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> Hasn't picked it up. Is it this Kevin Shows, right? Yeah, Kevin Shows. Yeah, yeah. I got to let him know. Right. Let's see if we can get uh, Cameron on, on board for this one. It sounds Since, good. I mean, they did finish the other match, so. I think the judges uh, still need to follow. Uh, let me verify on whether I can or not, because if they're done, we can proceed to the next round. We can just do that, Absolutely. knock it out of the park. Uh, let me find out. Yes.
It's Cameron who? Uh, Holden, Cameron Barden and Holden Miller. Holden Miller. Holden, uh, Holden, wait. Holden. Holden. Holden like and Texas Cameron. Holden, yeah. He is okay. from Texas. Okay. Hello, we are back in our Peoria Regionals Top Cut. We have our finals, Lucci versus Lucci, Cameron versus Hold'em. Yep. Very, very exciting match. Both players had a great run to, to this point. We're gonna see who takes it home. Yeah, it's been a uh, very contested top 32, 16, a top four. Uh, Jonas, uh, who was the lone, the remaining RP Law left in the tournament, got eliminated by Holden. On top so four. So now, now we're seeing Cameron, who's been on the stream table for quite a bit quite since a uh, bit. Swiss, yeah, and Holden, who's here for the first time on the stream table. So we're gonna have a great match. Both of these are very experienced players, as I told you before. Holden is a uh, prior winner who won with black, uh, sorry, blue yellow queen mm -hmm. back in the heyday. So he's definitely not someone that's a stranger to being in the top, top tables, top cut, and all that stuff. And yes, yeah, moving up over here, and. Yeah, like mentioned before, for those that are tuning in, we have a slightly different set of rules uh, in Top Cut. We always give the choice of who goes or uh, first, second to the higher seed. In this case, it is uh, Cameron because he is the second seed second. player. Yeah. When are you ready? I'm ready whenever. Okay, so they can start when they're good? Whenever, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Cameron is the highest seeded player right now uh, in this ma match between them two. He was second place in Swiss, mm -hmm. so he will pick who goes first or second. And there will be 60 minutes of gameplay for best of three. And we're being judged by, uh, sorry, uh, joined by one of the head judges, CJ, over here, overseeing this match. And then what's happening is it's going to be a little different from the other best of three top cut matches. We are now in indefinite time. Uh, we do not have an end of time. There is no overtime. There is no 60 minutes. You play the entire game at their own pace, a little more relaxed, no mm -hmm. pressure, no need to scoop it up and move on to the next game. Yes, you Unless can try till yeah. the end. Unless they want to. You know, we are here for as long as they need, within reason. Mm -hmm. Very big caveat, within reason. Let's hope both players have good mm -hmm. hands, good draws, see like a good game. And it is, as you can see, it is going to be a mirror match within both Luchis. Um, technically, it's not as spoken as much as it is spoken for low. It is also a deck that is being affected by the upcoming ban list mm -hmm. this September. We are eliminating the stage and its lobby from uh, play. So it will be a very big difference, as you can tell, how um, Cameron, early in the game, one and three, he got the stage, and it was just way more opportunities to reduce in comparison to Ryan who didn't see a stage the entire game. The entire game yeah, just so fighting big for differences the minus there, yeah. two. So yeah, we mm -hmm. we can see the he has a stage. We could not see Cameron's hand yet, so we don't know what he's working with. But it looks like both players has have already set their lives, so mm -hmm. the hands are yeah. final. They are already preset. A habit of playing too fast? Perfect. Yes, we love that. <laughs> as long as you're thinking about your plays. Yes, yes. Not anything too crazy and reckless. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody that's joining in. Yeah, the game is who mills more Moria. Yeah, for sure. That is very, very realistic. Yes, we have uh, the uh, hogback stands <laughs> for this deck. <laughs> One of hogback clutch. I'm sure there's someone that thought of that already and started playing it. And it probably didn't work very well. Yeah, probably <laughs> not. Hogback is the fifth Moria. Yeah. Too funny. Magic. Yeah, so we have a uh, local player, Cameron, and a uh, Dallas resident holding over here. So, Jonas was on our RP law. He was the last RP law left representing top four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like they're I almost ready to start. I just realized th these both have the same sleeves. Yep. <laughs> uh, and they put it diagonally too. <laughs> Sorry for any confusion, but Cameron is uh, the bottom player. He is uh, left-handed, so he has been accommodated to have his deck on the left side, life on the right, 
Hopefully, Here. the diagonal cards will make it more evident that that's this uh, life. Wow, look at yeah. the Holden's hand. Triple Rebecca staged through. Stage is good. Tempest Kick and Broken Span them. And he's also Slage and Moria. Yeah, it looks Cameron like has, Cameron's hand, hand is a little yeah. better. Of course, we love Rebecca. Rebecca mm -hmm. does We're gonna amazing do, uh, things. Swift Oof. pack, milling Moria and Sabo. Mm -hmm. Started with stage. Both have that. Go to the Khalifa, starting to get that trash setup. Very prototypical start mm -hmm. for wanting to uh, get a head start on putting cards on this card for sure. Deciding what he's gonna put. Once you put it in the trash, is final. So you can see that he's putting on the mm -hmm. table first, making sure he, of his decision. Looks again, reveals and put it on the trash. Five don't turn for Holden. Five leads, easy. Yeah, it, it is unfortunate that Moria was milled, which essentially was the first one he would have seen from the uh, the deck. But so it's very early game, a little very bit too early, early to be calling it uh, a wrap. To be fair, mm -hmm. um, plenty of game to be seen. Don't think it's gonna be in any kind of blowout of any sort. True. We did have those earlier uh, in Swiss. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, Vegapunk. Poor Vegapunk. Poor Vegapunk. <laughs> I felt so bad. So bad. That one hurts. Okay, the, the stage is an e easy peach. He already has another stage. Just looking into what that second card is going to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Helmepo like to set Khalifa up the Rebecca. trash. But since he has four Rebeccas, one Rebecca could easily go. He's probably thinking what he's going to do the next turns. Suru. Suru, Kaku, yeah. Triple Rebecca, Helmepo, and who's the last card? Oh, it's Triple left? Rebecca. That's a lot of Rebecca. And I think it's a Luchi on the farther left. Mm -hmm. And a Khalifa. Let's see, we are pitching the. Mm. Tough decision. Stage and we're Suru. Pitching the Suru. Stage Suru. And we're going back to Cameron over here, going mm -hmm. to this six on curve. Yeah, the Khalifa seems to be a very standard player for mm -hmm. play for them. Last game, Khalifa's came down a lot too. Are we doing the dice ourselves? Oh yeah, we we changed judges because it's the finals, so <laughs> they, they were completely thrown off guard by that. It's like, wait, who's doing the dice? <laughs> no, but uh, as you see, we have a very experienced set of eyes here. Uh, I'm not trying to say old, uh, eldest. No, it's not eldest. That's not the word for this. Uh, experienced judges is watching mm -hmm. this match. Gives a Rebecca 1K for that 5 of Khalifa. And, and the Sabo comes down. More two cards in trash. Couldn't quite see. And we're going to let go of... Let's see. Hmm. Going to be pitching one. Still debating there on the second. Reveals trash finger. the finger pistol and the span then? Uh, was it? I think it's a span. Mm. Could be a helmet. Well, they both have like that. Yeah, I think it was helmet. He only milled the one early on. So far. Uh, from the attack, I believe. Mm -hmm. Gonna be going six. Oh no, he just rested. Big the swings from Lucci. Very big swings. Just uh, a rest for the four, mm -hmm. protecting the Khalifa. And Sabo takes that block. Sabo takes that 8k and another um, Khalifa comes down, filtering that hand more and more, digging for more geckos because we haven't seen one in his hand mm -hmm. yet. We do have the Luchin trash. Swing, swing. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, let it go. Yeah. No reason to keep it. No, not going to fight that. Yeah. We're going to reduce the Khalifa with right. the 5k lead. We changed the meta. We're now putting die on this. <laughs> Checking the trash. Cameron also seems to have a uh, Moria in the bottom of the trash there, right? Uh, Cameron, he trashed the very first Yeah, yeah, uh, the very mill. first mill was For, the, yeah, was, the Moria. Yeah. Luffy. Baiting on taking that 5k. Why is the head judge on Twitch right now? 
Does he have a game to watch? He's checking the professional commentary that people make here. Right? Absolutely. No, we love you, Bash. You're doing great. <laughs> We're gonna go. We're currently having a double regional right now. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be getting the reduction, trashing the Luchi and the Brook. And the gecko begins. Yep. Gonna have to bottom. Yeah. He is bottoming mm -hmm. the Brook. Yeah. Uh, what's the first card? Brook, Brook, Mario. Okay, Brook, Brook, Mario. Oh, got it. Yeah. Brook, Brook, Mario. The first Moria down. If the if Holden can answer that Moria, it's really strong for him. I can beat every other matchup without it. They seem to be having yeah. a friendly chat nice there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because at this point, you know, it's really a lot for glory. Mm -hmm. and, they uh, already have both their very good sports. They know each other from, well, not in person probably, probably from the online. Ooh, another Mario now. Ooh. One Mario milled on each side. Huh? Yep. It's okay. There's uh, three on Holden's side and two more on Cameron's. Well, now it's back to three because we got bottom deck. Yeah. So, yeah. Gonna Plenty chances to see Mario. Sure. Gonna take a minute to get Ice up. Age. Ooh. He does have the Ice Age. Two really left. Good. We're still more. Okay, <laughs> the Rebecca coming down. Mm -hmm. Hard play, Rebecca, to get it. To get Sabo. Uh, Sabo. But I think we're gonna play the, the Spandine. Spandine. Yes. Spandine. Do one CP, mm -hmm. two CPs. He's gonna. Okay, he has like another. Khalifa, Khalifa. Span oh, okay, I see the what we're doing. Yeah, is gonna get played out of that. Yeah. Wait, the bottom Luigi? Oh, no, the Khalifa is being played for the on play, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah it's the sure, Khalifa sure. being played. Yeah, they want to cycle out of stuff. Huh, so he ice ages the. Oh, and then he plays for. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. Strong, strong. Yeah, I chose the extra step. They got a more value for sure. <laughs> okay, so the gecko was removed and he established a blocker and a four into six. Mm -hmm. Let's see how camera can answer that. He's yeah, checking the discard. Um, one more on discard, the one that got KO'd. Yeah, his trash is a little small for yeah. any Spandine type play that requires six bottom deck cards. However, Luchi has so many lines of play that you can get removal in other efficient manners. We're gonna start with the Spadam. We're gonna find two Ooh. targets, the Khalifa and the Tempest Kick. And we're keeping Tempest, Tempest Kick, letting kick. go Khalifa and Helmepo. Absolutely. With the Tempest Kick, we can already put the, the Luchi in Luchi range. Or the Rebecca, whatever he prioritizes. And we're going to go for a 7 or 6? Six? 6. Into Khalifa. Yeah, 6 into Khalifa. Okay, gonna Def be staged. That's a big span down swing, okay. That is a big yeah. span Rebecca. <laughs> Do we we're have. Bringing in. We're bringing Sabo in the hand. Sabo. Do we have the Brook? The Brook pops the Luchi, yes. Yes, uh, friends, this is currently the finals of the uh, PRI Regional. Yeah, round one of the finals. Yeah, uh, yeah, game one, finals, infinite time, un unlimited time. Well, six at both 
Only doing a six into the brook. We're milling two. We are milling a brook and a spandine. Rebecca's going to take the block right away. No questions asked. <laughs> Two Rebecca Luchis in the back. final, as you can tell, guys. Brook on Brook. Into a mm. Sabo. Very nice. Some cycling of the hand. And we're gonna let, two. What's he going to let go of? Stage for sure goes. And Nightmare Luffy, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And all Holden's characters are protected by Sabo effect. So KO removal is not happening this turn. He still can swing over the brook and he can use effects that trash characters, but no KOs for now. And we're attacking to reduce Six uh, Sabo, the, okay. Yeah, we reduce the Sabo, but the Rebecca takes the hit. Are we gonna see a brook coming down? Six cost brook? Not sure. Oh, big spam big swing. The double value that Spandam is getting right now. Mm -hmm. Two attacks back to back. Insane. Uncontested. That's a lot. At least the Sabo was able to rest to save that Brook. Because that Brook, even though it's not going to do much next turn just due to the Sabo effect, he still has his minus one effect and he can just stay, leave him active. Okay, so we pitch an Ice Age and a Tempest Kick. He, they already have the stage. They have all the reduction cards in hand, so prioritizing other stuff. Okay. Holden has three Tempest Kicks in hand and two Morias. That opens a lot of play. We're gonna start removing that Spandan. That Spandan has been swinging for two turns at this point. Oh, big stretch. Right. The Sabo comes down. The Sabo doesn't come down. Crazy. Sabo is down. I think I've got. Uh, he's asking to check his trash. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he, he just got it. I'm fairly confident he was right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Was Chancing? Verifying each other's discard. Oh. Yeah. There's no way, there's no way you, uh, you have six cards in hand if you didn't discard. It's just ten. Okay. <laughs> pretty sure you have. Yeah. yeah. You'd have four, <laughs> there's no way you have four cards in hand. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that is uh, currently being addressed. Alright, uh, moving on. Excuse me there. All right, so now we're debating on whether he wants to attack. And he does most out Brook and Ice H. Targeting, yep, countering. He is minus one in the map. Sabo is at a three cost right now. All right, so if he is two, you clear the Sabo and you play another Sabo. That's annoying. I don't like that. So. Currently counting down how they can get. Oh, let's see. Play it. No. Mm, Kaku. Two K counter. Okay. What do I have cards for if I'm not gonna counter with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and holding the swing king. Yeah, so you play zero six cost yeah. brook. There is no <laughs> possible way for him to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him nightmare duty rush and other things. 
That would be crazy here. Go for it. Oh, look at those. That discard. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's his hand. Oh, that, oh, my God. No, that is his hand. That's it's a lot of purple cards there. That's double gecko, triple tempest kick. That, that, that's a lot of opportunities for back to back to back. Another one. All right. All right. And we are getting that Sabo draw, and we're letting go of. That's a lot of events. Yeah, I think you can afford to pitch maybe one of them at least. Mm. Especially when you just keep putting them back in the bottom deck anyways. Uh, Luchi and Kaku, three Tempest. He knows I and I think he pitches a... Yes. Oh, no, sorry. My apologies. It's Helmapo and the Morias. He only has one key counter in hand. Oh. I mean, th th there is two blockers yeah, uh, on board, so... Trash home map. A lot of confidence there. And then the Moria. No, not the Moria. Luchi comes down for no effect. And they're going to go ahead and put stuff back. I mean, I'm probably going to swing at Brook anyway, too. I mean, yeah, Brook's done. Yeah. And you have another block, so you get to play around with You should. I mean, you already got one I do. And again, verifying. This ginormous uh, stack of discard pile. <laughs> yeah, the, the, every turn they need to check each other's discard yeah, pile, see what they're working with. Definitely change the place, the sequencing, all these things. Also, what I can anticipate on the next turn of the opponent. Yes. Yeah, I figured. What a treat. Yeah. Yeah, right now, uh, based on what we have seen from Holden's hand, it is uh, definitely very strong what it can do in the offensive, bringing out geckos. Cameron's, I can't. I haven't quite put a look into it. He is keeping his cards a little closer to uh, his chest. Oh, and we're going to go eight. Are you getting eight? Eight in into a six. Oh, and into a sub. Yeah. yeah. Then Making him, him take two cards. Yeah, no, and he just took it. Yeah, just accept that he goes. It already got a free, free block. Yep. So eight, mill two, Rebecca. Reduce the brook. Oh, he's swinging over the brook, not reduce. Yeah. We have Luchi being reduced and Kakuing Kaku the Luchi. Down. Leaving behind a Spandine and a Sabo left. It's the second time that Kaku comes down in the Luchi mirrors today. I wonder if Holden is going to start his Moria train right now because he yeah, has he, he double has. reduction, double Moria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once he has that momentum running, it's going to be a little bit hard to stop it. Yeah, he can reduce. And we're Kaku. starting with a swing, reducing Kaku by one. Mm -hmm. Six at the other Sabo. Gets a 2k out. For one, we're going to Tempest Kick, mm -hmm. reducing the Kaku to a one cost. The stage is also there, which can make Sabo a uh, three cost. Mm -hmm. Then we can get the Spandine play. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and reduce more with Sage into Sabo. Uh, Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, okay. Yeah, yes. There we are. So, Sabo is a tree. Kaku is a one. Mm. So, guys, some more dawn left to go, and we're playing Gecko. The first there, we are down. starting. The train has begun. Yeah. Into Rebecca, into our reducer. Rebecca Suru reduce yes. more. We just the Sabo to a one as well. And then Rebecca Effect is going to summon the Spandon. Yeah, and Maybe we're going to do bottom three full CPs. combo. Yeah. Which CP 
Does he let go? Kaku. Then from that, we play the four cost Luchi. And the board and is cleared. The board is cleared. A blocker established and a 9k swinger. And if it's not uh, addressed quick enough, there'll be a uh, blocker be restored on Sabo at Have 6k. So that's a, pr that's a pretty big blocker. That is a pretty big Yeah, one. Yeah. Holding have been holding on to those geckos for a little bit of time. And it's waiting for the right time yes, to play them. Yes, and it, it was definitely the right time because he got rid of a lot of that board. Both players at a, are at two life. Mm -hmm. Massive trash piles right now on both ends for sure. Yeah, got to watch oh, okay. out for decking out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to come to that uh, with these no. two players. They, 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 know they know what they're doing. They're yeah. doing the Absolutely. bottom deck cycling. So I don't think it will That's get to that. That's when it gets dangerous, actually, when they yeah, can you have to be the cards. Very careful in how you play it. Uh, a lot of the times they're doing the combo where you spam die and Lucci, you put back all those cards, you draw them again, you do it again. So And he keeps going. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a Tempest Kick. The reduction is going to be targeted Gecko, minus three. Give him a five. We're going to go six at the Sabo, giving the reduction to Gecko yep. once more. Stage and Suru. Mm -hmm. So Ga Gecko has been Gekko. reduced by four, now with stage by six, makes Gecko a uh, two cost. And are in the, is his Mario coming down? Yep. Yeah, it has to be this point. Now we're dropping the remaining eight. Mm -hmm. To do the Rebecca reduction. Absolutely. And playing out, yep, the Helmepo to reduce Luchi yes. and getting the Sabo back in hand. Uh, in hand and playing this Pandine from hand, maybe? Yep. Yes. It is the way. It is the way. <laughs> Just gotta get those three CPs. He has three CP events, so that's easy. Yeah, I think there's a way more. I would put this like rewarding combo than the old Rebecca yeah. Hina Luchi uh, because the play ended at Hina, mm -hmm. whereas Spandine continues to play bo uh, bottom decks more cards to get your Luchi to bottom deck more cards and yeah. prevents your bottom decking. So it's definitely a much nicer combo. Holden still uh, has a Sabo on the field, which is yep. nice for him. It, it's, it's a good one. Yeah, it's going to keep it alive because he already attacked. With it. Sorry, Cameron already attacked everything he could. Uh, the Moria locked him out of any more Dawn being spent. So that's it for his turn play-wise. Mm -hmm. And we know that Holden has reduction and he has another Moria. So yep. he can literally He's replicate Cameron's yep. play I, right I believe now. I saw he was bottom decking uh, Sabo, Gecko, Rebecca. That was the three I saw being put back in deck. Mm hmm those are some pretty good cards to get there. Mm -hmm. And now we have restored Sabo. We got a Spandine on board. It is a uh, humble 2k attacker. Yeah. yeah, and we're gonna do probably a mirror play. Just reduce Gecko by three. Swing. To reduce the Gecko. Stage reduce Gecko. Mm -hmm. And then Helmepo. Luchi back and that kind of stuff. Back around to the bottom of our decks. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, uh, we do that have oh, I do. <laughs> two more geckos. <laughs> at, uh, a a break up stage. Mm -hmm. And to spam them for further searching. But I, I think at this point, Holding has seen everything he wants to see in his deck. And it's going to come down to a matter of uh, how much he can bring out with these geckos and what Cameron has left in the, in the tank also. also. Yeah, I also do think any Slobby uh, could have been done, could have had a little bit more be done to the deck or the color in general. But, you know, this is the list that we have, and that's the list we're going to go to into our Nationals. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, guys. By OPO9, we're all going to be playing red. Shanks, Stonks. Blackbeard. 
You want to play Gekko? You're not playing Gekko. We're going to play Sanji. <laughs> Rush, Sanji is going to be great. I, I actually do like that lead. Yeah, no, I do like the uh, red. It's going to make a comeback. Mm -hmm. Calling it now. Uh, Orange Samurai, uh, August 18, 2024. Call me on that. <laughs> We're going to see all these red leaders being played. I'm a Robin believer. I, I, I'll stick with Robin leader. is pretty nice. The banish on the yes. leader, we love that. Okay. Mm. So he does take the six. Mm -hmm. And we're blocking. We're, re we're pushing with that other six. Is the Rebecca going to go? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to reduce the gap yeah. minus two. Mm. We're going to play his own Moria. Same old, same old. The Rebecca into Helmeppo. And we're back on schedule with Helmeppo. Mm -hmm. Yep, and Rebecca effect. Get out Spandine. Get out Spandine. He was already looking for the 3 CP, I believe. Okay, mm -hmm. play it over. We're putting back event and cp yep uh that was tempest kick and khalifa khalifa okay and playing out luchi 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 what else we bottom decking moria nightmare luffy and another one and no no and Brooke. a brook okay so there are three cps yes. uh just being cautious because uh it does sort of matter yeah absolutely. and it actually could come up to have separate stacks for these Gonna be removing the Moria and uh, mm, the and Luchi. Pass the turn. <sighs> Second mirror 2.0. Yeah, very similar. Does look like Holden is in a really good position right now, but let's see. Oh, Cameron has a Moria again. Oh no, that's his trash. Mm -hmm. That was his hand. That Th would that be that's very That's scary. a very strong, very <laughs> strong hand. <laughs> that would be. He does have the more in hand yeah. the reduction mm -hmm. again. He could replicate the same play. By all means, get it done. <laughs> Who did it better? Oh, they are identical. <laughs> it, oh, no. Yeah, no, Mori's just so good. So good. There's not a reason to play a different play. It's okay. It's not like we're going to have a leader soon enough that's going to make it so nothing on play happens. Don't worry, guys. Hmm. At least the red purple law mirror ends in like 10 minutes. Oh, those <laughs> matches? Oh, they were a blessing. <laughs> they were so. Yeah, <laughs> no, Jonas and Kevin put up a great match. Uh, it's not about the quantity it's of the length the of the quality. game, it's about the quality, and they did great. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, a really slow grind. It seems that it's going to come down to whoever can't remove his opponent's Mori on that turn after. All of these attempts. Yeah, so. the mirror for Law was really fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. It was like watching, uh, you know, a race <laughs> rather than a fight. Okay, we're still with like nine dons mm -hmm. up. We got that one reduction on on Moria and Sabo. Okay. Right there's a dice on Moria, dice on Sabo. Uh, yes, uh, one and a twofer. Mm -hmm. It's a two. There's a, some little cute. Egg dice in there. Okay, minus two Sabo going. I'm gonna pay one for the Tempest Kit. Oh, Ice Age. Yeah, better. So, and the Gecko comes down. Somebody said that they enjoy watching the Luchi Mirror. Well, I too enjoy eating Racing Bran with water. <laughs> Delicious. One more you to the trash and a whiff of that spandam. Spandine summons. It's your choice, guys. Don't worry. Uh, here we go. Play it. Put back all the events. Do it again. Put all the CP events back. Khalifa, probably a. Yeah, we, we, we are seeing bottom decks for sure. Yeah, this, and this is game one. Oh, <laughs> it's been such a blur. <laughs> Are we out of Moria's on both sides on top decks? Like, I know we bought them. Uh, we we bought them a few. A few uh, uh, Cameron has this in hand still, right? Oh. No, that's oh, one, that's one. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's the one. And then. Target Sabo and Moria. I think. 
two heaven put bottom. Oh, here we go. Here you go. Two more is going to the bottom there. Yeah. And I think he already put one back before. Yes, I think he has one more in hand. But we he are. had three at one point, right? Yeah. He had quite a lot. Holden had a very stacked hand. Okay, mm -hmm. he has the Moria. Yeah, he does. Are we going to see the same play for the fourth time in a row today? Very possible. In four turns consecutive. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, when I went to the European finals, it was a similar situation. It was Fabian and her boy. They had a mirror match to Kazuki. And what it took was a uh, miscount, misplay on sequencing, and her boy conceded. Yeah. So that could have gone on for a little bit longer. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, the Luchi doesn't have that extra one cost event this time because both of them played the Tempest Kick. Hi, Fabian. Has to go on there. I'll see you soon, buddy. But it's going to come down to if they crack on the frustration of mm -hmm. the, the game progressing for so long. Yeah. Yeah. We're going six lead. Becca takes it. We're going to reduce. And then he's going to play stage over stage to get. Oh, how Mapo. That's a good. Team. That's a minus three. Thought he would prefer to conserve the counter, but I'm sure that minus one makes a big difference. Another big guy. So here. Mm-hmm. Oof. That's your fourth one, right? Third. At least that I played. I don't know about crashing. Yeah. Another gecko comes down. I'm gonna try and make it there, guys. But ooh. The Rebecca so into the hell map. Oh. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to reduce the Luchi, into Luchi. The, the okay. And it's Pandine. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an original play. To, we're, we're putting back uh, a couple of bands or Khalifas. Is anyone yeah, going to yeah, say yeah. they created uh, her, her. that? <laughs> Is Noel watching this right now? Where's Noel? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, uh, yeah I bought on that King the CP card. Yeah, it was Khalifa, Pandine. Okay, we have Kaku, Khalifa, Spanan. And Kaku, so three CPs going back in deck. This is the, uh, like the one rapper, you know, another one. Another, another one. one. <laughs> Let's see who misses a gecko first. So uh, a little anecdote for uh, Nami. Oh, my friend Kareem was playing Nami this tournament here. He ended up doing a mirror match and I know how just attack to play Hinder and whatnot, but he ended up playing the Pudding, and the Pudding yeah. ended up coming in clutch because the Nami opponent, they have plus 30 cards in hand. <laughs> and he went, all right, Pudding. pudding. Yeah, and that was Osha Road. <laughs> yep, that would do it. Hopefully in the future uh, we get different win condition games. It might be like an interesting thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been long overdue, maybe. Maybe million your opponent could be interesting. Mm -hmm. Black decks would have a weakness and they would have to oh, be yeah, wary of how yeah. they trash. A lot of uh, outlets to explore and ways to play it again for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Rebecca is a really strong card. Yeah. Like Rebecca has uh, been, ever since it dropped on, uh, on Sakazuki, has been a nightmare of my existence. Yeah, definitely not for the outro Rebecca deck. For the other decks, are not Rebecca. Yeah, the Rebecca leader yeah, could. No, she's fine. She's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's just that uh, a lot of the philosophy of creating card games is that generic is king. Mm -hmm. You play the good stuff, and this is uh, one of the situations where all the good stuff is being played. Luchi, Gecko, Rebecca. It's all good stuff. Rather. Does it look like Camera has another Moria to answer that? Oh, no. no, he has. Oh, he's pulling it up right now, and. He's going to play he? uh, Rebecca. So okay, for you. Not right. happening this turn then. Okay, we finally ended. Uh, yeah, the cycle is over. We can rest easy. And don't forget, guys, it's only game one. Still have at least two, well, at least one more game to go. Okay, we're going to be bottom decking three CP cards. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just checking what's the best targets. Khalifa. Whoever is counting cards, uh, bless your heart for doing this. <laughs> yeah. That's four Good carts job. away. My goodness, that that's that's not that much. 
I think One Piece players are in the wrong game. Uh, they can definitely go to Vegas instead. <laughs> that guy can, absolutely. Jeez. And then the Luchi comes down. Luchi Helmepo. The Geckos is sticking this turn. Mm -hmm. Which might be the differential for Holden to win. If is that 5 Dawn? Is he going to play a Sabo after that? He could. Uh, yeah, that's 5, right? Yeah. Yeah, because if. Because yeah. KOing Rebecca is very easy for Holden right now, but the Sabo comes Putting down. Putting the fast sideways, yep. And. Sabo. Yep, Sabo. Draw two more. Event, event. The two Tempest, the two, one of the. Finger pistol. Finger pistol and, and a Tempest. Auto gear. discard that, auto discard that, yep. And he still got Tempest. This is the final. Oh, we're on game one. It is unlimited time for uh, finals, by the way, on Top Cut. Mm -hmm. You don't play six cost, Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> we overheard Cameron yeah. say, don't play six cost, Brooke. <laughs> six yeah, cost, Brooke, praise around. Uh, Sabo's on play yeah, effect. Yeah, the KON effect, yep. Hmm. Nightmare Luffy and Stage and Spandines. Spandems. Nine lead, the Rebecca takes yeah, that. We are in a very late game situation right now. Each player has expended a lot of their resources. The Nightmare Luffy, unfortunately, doesn't work because the Nightmare Luffy's effect is when attacking. So even if he put it down right now, we wouldn't play around the Sabo. It would have to wait. It would have to stick and he wait. He would have to stick and wait a turn. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, it's still a viable thing. Like, we've still seen instances watch. where a Brook, a Sabo, we saw a Spandam stay up for two turns doing uh, and six Ks. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah, not a bygone conclusion to have things, you know, still mm -hmm. longer for one on one turn. Mm -hmm. We're still in a very contested game one. Each player have used everything in the tank to um, keep the game going. Each one has pulled out all their uh, top end. They keep power cycling back things in the deck with the abilities of Spandine and Luchi. And we're doing a big swing big ten. 10. And Luchi. And then a So life? we're going for board and then another oh. 10. That's Spandine? The heat point. Big leader swing to spend then. Okay. Okay. It's not that powerful. Yeah, uh, a little confusing. Maybe he doesn't uh, have that much counter in hand, mm -hmm. and he made the math and he couldn't survive. It was possibly five possibly. Five. Yeah, having that extra, not necessarily the amount, but having another attacking body can make a difference sometimes. So yeah. clearing that out. I feel like that was really telling though of his hand. I feel like Cameron can get a good oh, read that if you had to swing ten at a spandine, mm. it means that your counter amount is very concern. low. Yeah. Uh, yes, it'll be game three in about an hour. Yeah, no, not to be that negative. No, but not being negative. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this game. It's been very fun. It is. They're both doing really, Yeah, and I appreciate really really the chat. Keeping us updated with some things we're not catching, like the uh, <laughs> swan <laughs> placement <laughs> of the geckos and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure. Okay, no, I didn't think you about Because definitely it does take a uh, um, very special attention span to be able to count down all your bottom decks and actually remember by the time you see them. Mm -hmm. That's mostly a Konami player kind of thing, but Gecko is also. So Luchi and Gecko do that too. He's gonna get the Moria from the temp. From, uh, according to the person that was counting cards. Ah, uh -huh, because it was four cards away earlier. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if he pulled the Moria. Do we have All it? Right. Oh, I it think he does have it in hand. It's a uh, purple mm -hmm. hue. Not sure yet. Oh, it was Rebecca. The card count uh, was wrong. Okay, thank you. Oof. I'm glad I didn't say we'll ban you if we get it wrong. There is no timer, as I said, said earlier. The finals of events are unlimited time. Yeah. Milling two. Oh, here's the Moria that we were looking for. Uh -huh. Milled out. Unfortunate. Okay, 1K counter. 
Yeah, like the bottom sequencing from the deck is mm -hmm. really hard to memorize. Playing Rebecca, and we're putting back. Okay. So Brooke so, to pop yeah. the Lucci. There he goes. One less character to worry about on board. Playing Sabo, drawing two cards, CP and event. Yes. Okay. We're going to hold you to that. If it's not an Armoria. We'll stop believing you. Yeah. We have trust issues now. <laughs> okay. I think the Rebecca goes for that one. Yep. Two potential blockers on board from Cameron's side. If that yeah, rest of Sabo does not get addressed, we'll be seeing two blockers protecting the single life remaining for Cameron. Yeah. So we'll see what Holden has in play. To Holden does address. not have a blocker. Uh, yeah, that is uh, rough times. Oh, no, he does have Sabo, but yeah. It was hidden oh, in the, oh, yeah, in the bird. It yeah, was okay. hidden in the bottom. Yeah, and a Suru and a member Luffy, I believe. And he instantly plays it down. Got it. Yeah, got to uh, gotta get some of those stages off Double the stage. I'm sure that Goodbye. Was the <laughs> it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four don't have, five up. We're going to go ten at Ooh. the Sabu. He lets the Sabu Eliminating go. Eliminating any blocker remaining. Yes. No, the other Sabu's still there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, I mean, like, oh, the, my bad. The rest did, of I, did I hit something just now? No, I think you're good. Oh. I'm hallucinating. Uh. Oh, it looks like he drew his yeah. Mario. You're saying that Holden drew a Mario? Having another Mario will be really, really good right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can bring back everything you use lost. So, as they say, you know, we're so back. <laughs> we're so back. Right. Yeah, Ice Age, that's pretty good. That Luffy is chilling there in hand for the longest time. Mm-hmm. I don't think that Luffy is ever going to come down. <laughs> I don't think he would. Okay, he has four cards in hand and one blocker that can't be KO'd. Uh, five At the rate this game is going, I think uh, Cameron is going to live up to his nickname of oh, Mr. Four Hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, I can't go far along. It, it's, uh, no, it's unrealistic, but it's a joke. Okay, we're doing soft fives. He is not resting that Sabo at all. Uh, what? You take the uh, no triggers. And Sabo. And then the Sa Oh, and here are two Morias that he just drew out of the Sabo. I think we should have had a special overlay to count the, the Morias uh, being played and milled in all these other things. And cycles, always like stats. Like other events, oh, sorry, not events, like sports, where it's like, oh, how many fouls, how many uh, free kicks, all that stuff. <laughs> Just have all the stats laid down. How many times how many we times uh, were saw the bottom of the deck? How many times we put back these key cards? Yeah, the now we Sabo have. Sabo coming down. We got a little bit of a Sabo war right now. Yeah, he, uh, oh, he, he drew the eighth Sabo. Okay. I'm not going to do much right now, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> that is why you never starve Lucci. Yeah, because Luigi can keep going. And Sabo goes away. Yep. Yeah, but, but, I mean, there is going to be an end to this, obviously. It is slowly but surely. They are closing out on resources. The hands are the, getting the hands smaller. Are, the hands are getting smaller. The life is getting smaller. We're non existent at this point. And we're seeing more aggression from uh, Sabo as well. Wow, block counter for 2K, surviving that attack. I mean, that was, I'm not sure you blocked, you. I mm -hmm. mean, there's not much you can do anyways. It's four swings, All right. he has no counter. Okay, so first games go to Cameron. All right, Cameron takes the first game. We are moving on to game two. Yeah, everybody in good spirits. It's been a, a very 
extend the game, but at the same time, very enthralling trying to see how who's going to come out on top yeah, of this. You, yeah, yeah. You can't miss one turn well, if you miss I, I play one turn. I think he's getting up. Uh, uh, so please hold while uh, our uh, contestants are going ahead and using the facilities. Yeah. Yeah. So that <laughs> it was quite a long game. So yeah, under understandable. No, it's all good. Um, so I, I think it's been a, a really good match so far. Mm -hmm. A very contested game one. Again, there is no time limit, so they have all that luxury to do their place, be uninterrupted, which is something that you can't really do in Swiss or mm -hmm. even top goal. Mostly in Swiss, because that's only if I'm in a timer, yeah. right? Uh, so definitely you can do your full combos, do all your plays, see the bottom of your deck, something that Lucci is really strong with, apparently, as you can see. Yes. Um, they both knew how to play that mirror very oh well. Oh, yeah. Clearly. Nobody decked out, mm -hmm. so nobody had any mistakes in that regard. No. It was just the luck what of who drew. had what at a time. Yes. Right. In that case, yeah. uh, Holden had so much brick in hand. He had mm. two stages at a point, two more is in 1k counter. Yeah. I, I really thought that Holden had a really good shot with the three good more in hand that he had. But then seeing that, oh, he drew into the stages. He drew into he these drew cards. He drew into another brick. Yeah. And that Nightmare Luffy was non-existent in this game. I don't mm. think it would matter much. No. Uh, maybe early game. Oh, it yeah. might be yeah. a thing, but not. Yeah. You're already playing the other brook. So that other the bigger brook is the one that gets rid of Sabo anyways. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was super interesting. Uh, Both players, mm -hmm. really good job to them. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And on e yeah. Oh, yeah no, go ahead, ahead, please, sir. And now uh, this time is Holden that gets to choose the seat. Yes, order, because right? Holden lost uh, the game. Now he's going to be selecting who goes first, second. I mean, regardless, they both get a play mat. Oh, absolutely. Yes, <laughs> I mean, they uh, both get a lot of things. It was... We're still on the princess map? Yeah, we're still on the princess yeah, map. Yeah, so the prin oh, it's the treasure cup that has the white beer oh. pirates one. Yeah. If somebody wants to donate that to me, I'll take you guys. I love you forever. <laughs> I really That's like white beer. Just, just yeah. a simple. Yeah. No, I like the white beer play, man. It's nice. Uh, no, it who, is really what's great. What's the other one for treasure cup? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Smoker uh, and Tashigi, isn't it? Oh, Smoker. Yes, yes, yeah. So it's a very similar um, setting to the other one that's Low Rocinante. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the pretty cool. Yeah, too. these mats have been yeah, this pretty they good. Co combine two altars, they mm -hmm. look. Mm. Yeah, no, I do appreciate all the uh, the mats that One Piece Cargame has been designing over here. Mm -hmm. We had the official one with the film Luffy, also the red one is on stores. There's that. We have the There's one from the, the uh, national finals. That was the one, the, ones. the one that most yeah. people have. There's like the Tree <laughs> Brothers, the oh, artists. Oh yeah, the, the finalists. Yeah, uh, we have uh, discontinued that for a little bit, yeah, but yeah. Uh, maybe in the future, something to think about that it could bring back. Yeah, really that one cool. is so many people's favorite. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of people like, you know, they watch their fans of the show and they like the interaction the and the lore of you know, the Three Brothers, right? So for sure. Uh, what do we got here for anything interesting happening here? <clears throat> Oh yeah, we are still waiting on them to come back. Uh, but overall, I do want to say we are still on 800 plus people strong tuning in. That's really cool. 800 people watching. Yeah, especially watching because more. most people could be in Europe. Uh, estimate seven plus hours ahead of us. You know, so that's uh, super late for you guys. Very. We appreciate you staying up late for us to watch this. Uh, we're giving you uh, two of our best players right now in the finals. Uh, which is not Jonas and also not Jonas. Yeah, uh, both yeah. not Jonas are great. Yeah, okay, players. and we're back here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that from but break is yeah, over. it depends, Angel. It depends on um, what part of Europe, of course, because it's like the map is like a line. Yeah. Yeah. Like even in South America, and Brazil was different. Like when I went from Peru to Brazil, mm -hmm. it was like hours different. It always yeah, different, for yeah. sure. Yeah. The, uh, what I liked about last game, even though it's a very, uh, literally it's a mirror, you do the same thing as your opponent, mm -hmm. it's that they both had access to similar resources. We didn't see anyone just ro high rolling someone and absolutely destroying. It was yeah. a grind to the end. Yeah, we, we had so many breaks on stream that we have been blessed with a natural, <laughs> full on, a good fulfilling game. Up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't. I'm not quite sure if uh, this channel is enabled to, but I do believe a lot of Twitch channels do give you like some kind of like point reward for viewing. So I mean, the longer you stay, right, the better it gets. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. There's no way. Let's do the math. 
plus eight Moria plays. That's a lot, yeah. That's a lot of Moria to see in tournament. And we have switched to a fresh pair of our eyes. We have our judge Eric over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, judging those games can be very exhausting because you really have to be careful with everything that is happening. Mm -hmm. Those games last a long time. Yeah, uh, definitely, you know, like I said earlier, it is a very high stakes situation, a lot of pressure, you know, people get nervous, <laughs> or accidents happen, people are human, things might get overlooked, you know, that is the reality of the world we live in, so accidents happen. It's, it's, and these people have yeah. been playing games yeah. for the past tw and 24 hours mm -hmm, nonstop. Nonstop, yeah, they go eat real fast, they get some sleep, they wake up early and they get here. And so they have to get here so early, yeah. so exhaustion mm -hmm. is real. Yeah. Oh, I miss the, the old days when people play smoker. The simple days. The goat. The simple days. People <laughs> always played the uh, the bigger Sakazuki. They played smoker. Tashigi. Some people are running the six cost Sakazuki. In yes, yes. Now. They're running it as a opportunity to get rid of bigger bodies yeah. nowadays. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Gekko going closer second, to a bigger attack. Playing mm -hmm. with that on curve goes really hard. Okay. With so a diagonal both players dawn. are yep. set up. Yeah, that's true. Let's see what we're working with. So, one pass, two. Okay, we mm -hmm. see stage go coming down for... Letting go for Gecko right away and Searchers. Yes. Oh, the whiff. The two dawn for stage. Uh, doesn't look like Cameron has stage. Let's see, his hand is a little covered on the camera here for us. In the mirror is usually better. Uh, oh, I mean, oof, double Mario on the trash. Unlucky. Early game, double Mario. That's yikes. Um, yeah, no, I get like milling. You, you have to mill to fill up your discard. But sometimes it makes you think like, maybe it's better to just like swing out and wait to see your cards in hand. Yeah, because, it, yeah it's a hard decision. Yeah, so the first, I think the very first card mill was Moria, and the fourth was Moria right. also. So by letting it go a couple of turns, maybe he would have seen it in and his hand instead. And but, you just, know. just like last game, the Khalifa yeah. comes down. Khalifa seems yeah. to be a consistent piece in the mirror. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We got to fill up those discards. It, it, it's a double-edged sword. You're filling up your, your discard for card count, for and CP it's a count. Four into four. Yeah, you're getting in cards that can be brought back via Spandine. Sorry, uh, Rebecca Spandine, yeah. Lucci. You know, there's this positives and negatives for sure. Absolutely. So we're pitching a Suru and a Nightmare Luffy. And he yeah, passes. sometimes he's got a thoroughly shuffle. You know, it happens. I mean, sometimes you do, it's just RNG. Yeah. So we do have Five Dawn. I think he has the Sabo. We do have a stage on Holden's side, and mm. that's going to be a big plus for his uh, side of the board. Yeah, we still and don't see stage for Cameron. Cameron's letting go of Undisclosed and Undisclosed so far. Yeah, he's very careful with how he trashes his card. He always, like, puts them down first. Yes, that is uh, a very safe choice. Yeah. You know, because once you put him in a discard, it, it is, is a uh, count as an action. And we have Kaku, Kaku and, and Helmepo. Yeah, he decides to leave the Brook active because the Brook cannot be removed by effects this turn due to Sabo, except, of course, mm. via trashing effects. So we're going to have to see how Holden approaches this. Uh, they are not 0-0. Zero, zero. Cameron Barton did win a game. Mm -hmm. That's the little red dot on the middle left of the screen, above the four. Yeah, that's the, uh, the marker for the win. Okay, he did the spell down search, he hits a Khalifa, swings five, uh, trashes two. Is he gonna just take the free block with Sabo here? Mm. Or he's still deciding who he's gonna minus first, okay. Yep. Free block would be pretty nice. Oh. One less thing to worry about. For sure. Is that what we're looking at? 
Uh, definitely under four hours. Yeah, no. Uh, I have uh, cast it. Well, technically, this is my second Top Cut final. <laughs> uh, no, my apologies. Oh, geez. This is my fourth Top Cut final too. that I've done. Yeah, they're all unlimited time. Double Luchi for the trash. That hand is massive for Hoven. Mm hmm. Working with Seven Dawn, yep. Cameron is. Sheesh. Still no stage down. Putting down the Sabo. Yeah, so he's doing the best he can to find it. Chaining yep. Sabos, searching. Yeah, and also at the same time protecting your units from all OKO effects too, so that's really good. Yeah, that's yeah. why uh, Black Yellow Luffy thrives against Luchi, exactly, because they can spam block Sabo Looping very. The, the Sabo is so good. So strong. Yeah. And we're putting back. Yeah, no, he, he's flipping it as he puts it down. Uh, I think I saw Kaku, is it? Uh, Kaku, Kaku and Finger Pistol. Finger Pistol. And do we swing seven face? He does not have a 6k blocker, mm. so probably good. He swings with Free the Sabo first. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go seven. Five. This is the Khalifa. Oh, the stage came down finally. Mm. Reduce the Khalifa. Four and KO the Khalifa. Now we're gaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, now that both players have the stage, they are in sort of an equal playing field, reduction-wise. He does have that Sabo, but the Sabo will not work this turn, right? He played the mm -hmm. Sabo. Oh, not the reject. <laughs> No, we're long gone okay, past one, that, yeah. One more on Miller side has been uh, milled. Yeah, evening out the playing field. Mori has now been put on this card. Yeah. Uh, to with the sand and Holden doesn't play the card. Ah, uh, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, I think Brook is pretty good. Not necessarily in this matchup, but in other ones. So for sure, it is a great pick. Oh, believe me, no. I know all about Moria. I um, in the same community that Cameron's in and Ryan Hartman or Pedro, and all they do is just spam Luchi on webcam. Spam and spam, spam. <laughs> and it's just Luchi and webcam, Luchi and webcam. I was just seeing uh, Ryan Hartman and Cameron play out uh, their match on webcam just before coming here to uh, Peoria as well, too. So it's something they have been grinding to the ground for sure to perfecting it. So this top two finish is definitely well deserved absolutely we're gonna be putting another sabo down and we're putting uh, is it luchi and an event okay. oh luchi oh secret sabo. sabo very nice so that's a slightly different top end that holden has uh it's really good into red purple law oh yeah it's also a very nice big body to keep on board yeah absolutely yeah. So we start uh, Tempest Kick, reducing the Sabo and trash the Sabo, playing around on KO effects, really nice. We're going to go for Khalifa and uh, is he going to give her the minus one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are we doing another for Khalifa? Yep. And we are doing for the bare minimum yeah, to make him use a card and she's gone. She is gone. Sabo swings a six, and then another six. We are gonna see a 2k. Here we go. So 
So um, there's no Sabo play this turn, so mm -hmm. Holden could go for a Moria play, doing Moria things. He mm -hmm. does have two Morias in hand. Do we see the Rebecca in trash? No. So we can't do the full mm -hmm. combo, but we can do the half combo with straight Luchi. And two on two action. Yeah, you just let it go. Oh, the Rebecca got you the trash. Here you go. Just what he needed to see. We're going to give the minus three to the brook. And here comes the first Moria. Do we see the Spandine? Yeah, there is Spandine, and there is enough targets. And we're bringing everything full circle now. The question is, is he going to do via Rebecca, or is he going to do via Meppo? Hold on. We're changing it up. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, now we're playing. There we go. Okay, now. Now we're gaming here. Rebecca and... Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's minus three. Yes. So it's a two and a one. And then Rebecca can bring out Spandine. There he is. And Spandine's going to put back cards in the deck for sure. I'm so surprised. i never seen this play coming. <laughs> Yeah. And here comes the boy. We bought him three CPs, bringing out the... Wait, his stage? Oh, no, that's not his stage. No, that's stage is on yeah. the right side, his yeah. right. Stage right. There no, stage, le stage, stage left. Stage left. Yeah. Dyslexia. Yeah. Okay, and then we see the Luchi coming down, clearing the board. Once he bottom decks the Moria. And... Bottoming Sabo 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 so we've seen two Sabos from Holden, right? Two yes. uh, big Sabos, okay. Mm -hmm. I think he runs two of them. Just mm -hmm. Pretty fair. Yeah, uh, uh, Luchi's been a deck that has had a lot of variations. Play Kaku, don't play Kaku. Play Sakasuki, don't play Sakasuki. Play Stussy, don't play it. Uh, and I think as of now, the format has concluded into we're going to play or four Gekos, obviously, and we're going to play maybe Isho and Sabo, yeah. mostly letting go of Stussy at this point. Stussy has a high cost. Being a nine is a little, yeah. a little But taxing. the unconditional KO is pretty good as it well. It is really nice. And she's CP types. So you can be searched too. That is true. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the times you have, like, example, that span, span, span them, just chill in there. Just sacrifice it. Yeah, the, yeah. One, the, the only thing about uh, Stussy is that most decks that are, like, in contention for mm -hmm. important decks, they are playing at least two bodies for turn. Mm-hmm. And Stussy only answers one. That is fair. While Sabo and Moria are able to answer two. Isho has a different uh, function on the deck. It's more yeah, for sure. For different, not it's not for the mirror. Yeah, it, its function is twofold because it has the impact play of making you discard cards, but it also it can assert more pressure, literally like his character in the show where he makes everything reduce cost. Yeah, everything becomes a minus three with kinda one down attack. It's kind of like a cheaper Kusan leader. Yeah. Ah, sorry, Kusan, uh, Secret Rare. Ten drop, yeah. Yeah. Because the Kusan ten drop, even though it is a really good card, it has the cost is so high. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not searchable. It's not searchable. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go six Aluchi milling two, Brook High Sage. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. We are not seeing a Moria from Cameron's side this time. So we're going to see how he answers all of that. Minus two to the Luchi. The Brook Pick pops up, yep. the Luchi. There goes Luchi. And now we're going to see a Sabo coming down. Oh, no, the Finger Pistol. Okay, and auto clear Moria. Moria. Yep. Yep, leaving a board that is essentially not doing much. Holden has another Moria. Mm, that's a nice hand. <laughs> yeah. And Brook is a uh, Brook and Spendan are home, like with the minus one that the leader is going to give right now. They are both already in a uh, Luchi target. He chooses to not play the, the Moria. He just hard casts the Luchi. Mm -hmm. Just never yeah. a bad play. But yeah, absolutely. And you still get the book cards back. And two Luffy's and a Moria. Are we going for a Sabo play here? Maybe keep your board safe. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we'll just play it for it. Yeah. And here we go. Here you go. Because then if Cameron drops his own Moria, it's Another way Luffy. more valuable, way less valuable. They don't have the Kuzon into Searcher like Sakazuki used mm -hmm. to have. So you can't just do like a pure Moria value in oh the yeah, same way. Oh yeah, that is true. They haven't played They can it. do the Rebecca, get a 2K, and then do a search, but still a little less effective. Yeah, I think it's been, they've been perfecting the build to be more concise, where it's not needing a Kusan. Mm, yeah, no. Who's really nice for the draw and, you know, the reduction on attack. But why have that? We can use Brooke, mm -hmm. who has a bigger impact play of sorts. Absolutely. Yeah. Kuzan is a little slow, unfortunately. Of mm -hmm. course, many decks benefit from yeah, it. Yeah, like, like Yellow probably plays off all too, so for sure. Okay, so we're going to be starting with a Tempest Kick. We're going to Tempest Kick the Sabo, minus three. A second Tempest Kick. And we're drawing. Drawing a lot of cards. Where's that other minus three gonna go? Is it Chaluchi? Yeah, at, at this point in time, uh, there's not much uh, threat to come out of Suru or Spandam, so for sure, just trying to work around the Luchi. Yeah, and the problem Sabo. is just the Sab uh, The yeah. Sabo was played last turn, which yeah. with Cameron's hand, he does not have any out mm -hmm. for those. And he already played out two cards. He's gonna go swinging. Oof. That Forcing Holden to want to attack or take a life. I think Holden is in a comfortable uh, position enough to take that life. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to just do it. Yeah, oh, his trash is yeah. Yeah, big, massive. Big. He is choosing to do uh, Luchi's effect, yes. even though no KO. Exactly, because his trash uh, is already so uh, massive with two Gecko Morias. It was Gecko, Gecko, Breck. Okay, so we'll be seeing Rebecca first. He put Rebecca in the middle. Oh, Rebecca, Rebecca. Okay, Moria, right. Rebecca, Moria. Order of sequences, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, camera hand is not helping him very much right now. And Holden could drop another Moria here. He has the, yeah. the Moria in hand. This is an unlimited time final, so there's no pressure for uh, Cameron to want to let go of this game. When there's a still a possibility, anything can happen, a trigger, a top deck, uh, it can change the game around. So definitely not worth conceding to move on to the next game just now. Oh, but it, I mean, it is. Oh, and there he is, speaking of that. Yep, he, okay. he knows, he knows. All right, moving on to game three over here. <laughs> Do they need another bathroom break? Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I think they probably want this to end more than all of us. <laughs> yeah, the Sabo play from Holden was really good. He could have dropped the Mori and then the removal. Much well. But then um, Cameron would have answered that. And then doing the simple removal with the Luchi and then a Sabo later, it cemented his win for sure. Uh, first round Cameron took, second mm -hmm. round um, Holden took. Yep. So we are going to the tiebreaker. 1-1 one, one is the final countdown. We're going to have uh, oh, not, last game. And we're saying our farewells <laughs> in this side of the country to uh, stage. Mm -hmm. We already said farewell to law. So now we're saying goodbye to stage. We'll be seeing another farewell tour in I Texas like next weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was scary. Uh, no, my apologies. It's the week after is next. Yeah. No, Texas next week. Texas, it's the end of the month. Yeah. yeah. I know, I next week? I, I the 25 and 26? Like, no. Like There's something going on. It's at the... No. Is it Wisconsin? It, no, no, no. It's right here. Let me show you. Uh, okay. Texas is the 38th and 31st. Oh, okay. Or I think it's just even the 31st, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought it was so, yeah. next week. Yeah, so it's uh yeah. So if anyone wants to correct me, please go ahead. I do believe the last the last one is at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 30, 31st or something like that. Yeah, and then we went on straight to our uh, finals in Europe and North America. So really a fun time to be a One Piece player or even a Bandai card game player as well. Yes. Okay. 
So this time Cameron gets to choose again. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the bottom of my deck again. <laughs> feel bad for not tryharding as much as I should. We're setting up again, doing our mulligan, setting up our life. Well, see, I can remember. I can. Yeah, it's, it's Do I want to? Effort, man. Both players with a black 2.0 uh, sleeps over here. <laughs> and I, 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 it seems like they're Cameron's putting it back. Holding it, oh, keeping Cameron kept it. all five. Yeah. Yep. They both kept it. So Lucci spun them. Um, Stage, Brook. What is the best card on the left? Oh, top mm. deck, Moria, strong. Ooh. Oh, yeah. the last Securing the late, the uh, eight downturn rather. Yeah, absolutely. For him, it's or, or, or is dying. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna go five mil two. The Rebecca is in the trash. And they both have the stage. Yep. Oh, it's Luchi the last card. Okay, we finally got to peep it. Okay, we. Lay down the stage. Going to four. Are we going to see the Khalifa coming down? I don't think he has a Khalifa. That's what came down there. Nothing has been terribly milled yet. Yet, yet. Okay. Oh, here okay. You go. No unfortunate mills yet. Oh, he does have the Khalifa. Here you go. And place Khalifa. Uh, uh, oh, oh, double warrior. We love to see good. it. Pretty good. We love to see it. And this. Cameron's letting go of. Find out soon. He pitches the zero cost event and, and the brook. brook. He has a Rebecca in hand, so putting that brook in the trash can be very strategic from his side. Oh, we're not big seeing swing. a Sabo on curve. Big swing. Big there swing. we go. We're just the Khalifa and Brook. Mm -hmm. Brook coming down. And goodbye, Khalifa. Yep. Uh, let's see what Cameron is going to have for us. He could do the Rebecca stage reduction and then play the Tree Cost Brook to KO his own Tree Cost Brook. <laughs> he could do the Six Cost Brook for trash effect, even though he could hold that for when Sabo comes down. There's a lot of options that you can go to. Oh yeah, no, this game is completely wide open. Game two, they didn't go as long as game one, uh, but so this game is looking very promising with both the setup that these players have right now available coming up soon. Mm -hmm. We reduced the Brook, yeah. the we Rebecca. Have Marius, we have stages, yeah, and we're starting up with some Rebecca play over here. Rebecca into Brook. So we see two Luchis, counters, Moria, Rebecca. He could replicate his play to KO his own Brook, his uh, to KO Cameron's Brook, because he has the Rebecca in hand and the Brook in trash. And then Could also play the the so filter. Khalifa is hidden in there. Makes it more fun. Yeah, yeah. It's like a casual game for no. Just for the dragon rights, I'm getting first. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I prefer second place match. <laughs> but I'm too competitive to just concede. Yeah, we're still going on. We have uh, progressed to game three, so yeah. we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Uh, did I s is that three Luchi? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of Luchi. Luchi oh. Wait. Oh, yeah, the next one. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Got a grip that big? I mean, yeah, at this I point, these guys are just relieving, uh, relieving all the uh, late nights in Discord playing webcam for sure. <laughs> I'm sure they yeah. are thinking about every single play they ever did. <laughs> 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 Luchi with four guys, five guys. <laughs> 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 A lot of contemplating what is the correct course of action, and they're very much allowed to do that. Yeah, there there is no pressure on time in this uh, final right here. So 
is salvaging bad hands. Yeah. Definitely, uh, he'll be making yeah, a play. He uh, play uh, he's a full down, so. Damn, the Nami mirror is another Nami painful mirror. mirror. Oh, oh, I, I don't know about that one. I don't that, know about all, that one. I'd rather watch the, the Nami, like a little Luffy. Play Kai. I see that. Draw two. Play Kai. Gloria says Surge. Put bottom deck. Memorize your bottom decks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going seven at the brook. Okay, pretty straightforward. The Rebecca takes the block, maybe? Yep. Rebecca takes it, reduce, and then... The Luchi comes down for KO, or are we doing mm -hmm. someone else? It's a little tricky. He doesn't have that many cards in deck, so bottom decking could be could be rough if he plays the Luchi this turn. You're good. It's a long day. I only pay attention. Yeah, it's a long two days, but. And play the Becca into the brook. Yep. Yep. That is definitely the best play there. And getting rid of Brook over here. Going back to Cameron. I think I've had worse, to be fair. What's the current down set up here? And that's the eight. Eight dawn. Eight. Okay, we are at eight dawn. That's the magic number. Mm -hmm. We do have a Brooke and a Rebecca to address. Uh, the Brooke is rested, uh, which you can yeah. just swing at, see mm -hmm. if he gives the Rebecca for it. Which they could, because it, it is an investment opportunity to uh, keep it up. But being a full Dawn and not knowing how he's going to distribute this Dawn allocation. It can be it, scary. Yeah, it, yeah you, it might not be worth investing yeah. counter for this no, no. or blockers. And we're starting off with. Okay, so we are gonna be swinging eight. We're not playing the Mori at this turn. Yep. Ooh. We're swinging eight at the brook. Big diff, big diff. Yeah, now th it's either block or let it go. There's no. <laughs> No chance no they, they counter that. Yeah, yeah that, that is. And a 1K. Just check this up. Mike, they're trash. both having a great time. You know, it's just two guys enduring playing uh, Rabuchi. Yeah. Oh, he's won't get life, not a brook. Interesting. Oh. Now for five, does he play the Sabu? Oh, Kaku. Kaku pops the. The Brook, the Rebecca can sit there for one more turn because then he still has a Rebecca in trash, so it's not that, that problematic. And searching for, oh, a CP. Okay. Not a CP. And uh, an event. CP. Oh, we're keeping the event for Tempest Kick. Yeah, yeah. that's going to get us a, uh, another draw off of that. Yeah, minus three and another draw. Because he's going to fill up the trash right now. Okay. That is a triple Luchi hand. That is... That's a lot of Luchi. A lot of Luchi. Red, purple, loss, worst nightmare. Okay, hey, we're going to be minus the Kaku. So he's a two cost right now. With the Khalifa putting him at zero. And also helping mm -hmm. us getting this... Luchi is out of the hand because they're not doing much for us in yes. hand, of course. Clear that hand. That's too many bricks. And we do the Luchi. Yes. Hard cast Luchi, but on that can you three mm -hmm. cards from your trash. Okay. Target the events primarily, and he sees four Luchi on the trash. I think one can go. Yeah, put him back in stage, Ice Age and Luchi. And back to Cameron here. We have had Zero, Nami uh, be represented in top 32. 
I mean, we, there were 13 red purple laws. Yeah. Uh, that would do it. We had an ocean of like red purple law this past weekend, and no Nami's made top cut. We uh, had a few X2 that could have made it in, but they didn't. They either bubbled out or the last, the last round to make it X3, so they unfortunately did not get in. Mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't either also find them on top tables. Oh, careful, uh -oh. careful. Okay, judge supervising now. Yep. We saw a lot of like different rogue decks, Vegapunk, Katakuri, Dofi. Mm -hmm. So we put them on stream first before we get to this point where it's all these repeat decks for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of NLs did top. There were two NLs on there top. There were two, Kurichi, yeah. Right? Uh, top of my head, it was 13 Law, 7 Luchi, 1 Boa, 2 Dofi, 2 NL, 1 Black Yellow Luffy. We lose hey, Padel Search, you're going to hit yeah. uh, Finger Pistol or mm, the more 2K. Where's uh, that hand down there? I think I am going to grab. I'm going to check the trash. Mm -hmm. Spandine, yes. Yeah. Three targets on that one spot end. That's really good for him. Lots of options. Or some math there. Six at your lead. Mill two. We're milling Suru and Ice Age. Not bad at all. Definitely not the cards that you're worried mm. about milling. <laughs> so far, no one milled the Moria, correct? I, I don't recall seeing a Moria. Yeah, yeah, um, the first. No, he drew the Moria. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the sequence was correct, and Moria was not draw, uh, milled out. Mm hmm. So, yeah, very uh, contrast. Big contrast in in game from two and three. Yeah, for no sure. Big time. Yeah, they have more opportunities. They are more are in a more equal playing field. They have their stages both set up, and majority of these decks don't really have a way to get rid of these. They just let it ride. I think this a black event and something else that clears them. Mm -hmm. But at that point, you're spending so many cards on a stage. It's not really worth it. Not really worth it. Yeah. yeah. Now he reduced the Luchi to Brook the Luchi. And he Maybe finger the to the Khalifa, yep. giving him a, a board that essentially doesn't attack unless mm -hmm. very much card, boosted with Dawn. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Sabo. Oh yeah, Sabo coming does down. change things. <laughs> we had the Sabo Wars game one and two. It was a lot. Okay, mm. so now Holden has two Morias in hand. And his opponent's board is somewhat easy to clear. They are not really high cost units. Camera has seven cards in hand. How about you, actually? Six. 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 Oh, I don't know where that happened. Maybe the ten. Mm. Oh, well, I, I, I went second. Ago, I yeah. went second. I think that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, these guys are having a blast over here. <laughs> I think it makes the game all, all more fun when you're uh, having a little lighthearted banter as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise, just being a sweat. It's not always a fun time. You know, they're taking it easy here. Yeah, if you're just stressed out about a game, you're probably going to end up being your worst enemy there. You're going to get nervous, you're going to get angry, you're going to get stressed. I know. I mean, his only play right now is Moria, right? He only has Moria encounters? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. You back up, broken eye, my spin. Yeah, Moria number two is indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. Yep. Or the we're brook. starting. We're trying to go for a full Ooh. clear, even the span then. Nah, I think brooks. Um, we are given the option. Block, counter, let go. Yeah, yeah. Which are you picking? And, and Cameron's going to pick two. Yeah. Um, it, it's I think blocking makes it more awkward. Uh, let go. A world great question. Value Moria. He's gonna get Gwen's this. 
I mean, you don't have to, but like, if you want to guarantee it. Uh, I am going to. They're blocking. Rebecca block, yep. He can still yeah. swing five or over it. Yep. And he's going to do more of a value yeah. Moria, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? I want to maintain my one card. So you know, that trash. No, that's sad. That's sad. That even needs to play for him, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, I didn't get to that. You don't want me to give it up? You know, I kind of like it, but like I have plans, and now I have to offer Yeah, I don't know that's why he's talking, cool. but that's you probably his own process. Yeah, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Value. Oh, no, you were not. Here. So so we didn't have uh, a microphone, a headset for last well, viewer, whatever you know. But this was a oh, very okay. prevalent yes. thing That's last uh, couple of top four to, uh, in finals. Uh, the winner, the white bear player, Longley, he had a very specific way of counting uh, cards. And the man, uh, we all open deck list, right? So he would look at the opponent's deck list and he would just stare at it for a good five minutes and memorize every card, kept it all in his head, and then he would play out. He said it to every person he played in Top Cut. You have this card, you have this card. Uh, the odds of this counter is this much. I have this, you have that. Oh it was Lord. a whole, the movie sequence cards. where Sagalafinakis is seeing all the math symbols and everything. Literally, that's what he's doing verbally. And he did it to the Gekumoria top four player and also the uh, RP Law uh, finalist too. Mm -hmm. it was the odds of this card is this. this card, it was this whole math sequence that he was doing every single turn. No, yeah, that that is insane. That's the next level. Yeah. Brain process, and we're there. like thinking, yeah, the math is right. Yeah, that's what he has. Okay, mm -hmm. so he plays the Khalifa from the Moria, filters the hand, gets rid of those nightmare Luffy's that keep breaking his hand in this game. Not fully a brick, but a useless card. And then span down to do another search, maybe get a plus one card there. Mm. Which I think he did. I think he succeeded on his search. And those are the cards that he's filtering from Khalifa. Mm -hmm. Kaku and the Spandau. Mm -hmm. You did. Ah, yes, that is how I get it. You know, kind of regret that. Absolutely. Possibly. A clean five? No, uh, no, 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 that was just motioning. Oh, yeah, he was, was like, wait a minute, no, he, he's leader. doing five? <laughs> that is. Sometimes you, you overthink it and you end up with foresight that doesn't help. We are here watching uh, and listening to the uh, so uh, Luchi Masterclass. Definitely. <laughs> that is... He could respond with a gecko. He has the gecko in hand. We learned last game that there are sometimes gecko is not the best play when uh, mm. he casted the Luchi into Sabo. But right now, uh, Mario seems to be a great option. Check in on Discord. Mm -hmm. No, 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 that, that's sand. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of mulling on what Cameron can play over here. He does have the Mori on hand. Um, but what sequence can be the thing that gets you into uh, clearing the board, stylishing, something that can contest Holden's over here? For one, we're going to be doing the reduction. We're going to target the gecko with yeah. the minus three. All right. um, Stage to reduce the gecko. I want to do so many other things. Oh, if you have the world as your oyster, that's not big. Ocean? I don't know, something like that. This <laughs> this turn. And this is okay. So, for example, as you can tell here, we, we have quite a bit of a low uh, on progressing the board state, but it's been how can I put this uh it's not progressive it's uh constructive okay yeah in the regard that you know both Cameron and holding are talking each other out regarding a play of sorts you know like I said earlier they kind of know each other mm -hmm. they're experienced players so less pressure in this point in time you know. they're both already so well placed yeah, in this yeah. Tournament, so, so at this point they're enjoying themselves, having a good game of the deck that got them to the finals for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And 
Okay. Bottoming. It's uh, Sawa, right? Sawa, yeah, Sawa Brook? Yeah, Millie Miss Hawk. Okay. And we're starting to come down with the reduction on the gecko. Uh, that's uh, a four. four. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I could also not get it. I could do a different one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should, like, be for the default. Play for play for pet. Uh, six on that. Yes, six on that. He's really thinking about who he's going to remove and how he's going to remove it this turn. Nah, what are you on? What am I scared for? Yeah, there's a turn into the coaching session right here. <laughs> Yeah, so we are still in the uh, eight dawn play turn for uh, Cameron here. Ten dawn. And he's going to turn it sideways, most likely or not. He's at ten dawn. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm saying, because oh, he used eight, one eight for up. Lucci, uh, leader, and one that's rested um, earlier. Mm -hmm. So he has the eight free minus to... Uh, to gecko. Yep. Minus to the gecko, and then yeah, this gecko play. Yep. Uh, yep, gecko is further reduced, and... He is verifying that he has all the correct targets in the discard pile. Uh, is he? Does it look like he has the Spandine? Oh, oh wow. Okay. If he has on. the Spandine in hand, he can get a 2K he and play it. Does he have full combo? Oh, no. He doesn't have the second reduction. Oh, no. He has a Tsuru that he can use too. That is quite the spot. Yeah, so Rebecca. Gecko, Rebecca, all right. Just and then Spandem. them. See Spandem Spandem first. first. Oh, he mills oh, the. Oh, mills a Gecko. gecko. Okay. We're gonna do back effect, probably getting okay. Sabo, Sabo mm. works. Into playing the Spandine. And now, uh, what are we playing? What are we playing? The Spandine. He got it Spandine, earlier. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Yep. And now we're gonna let go of one of the Spandems into Luchi. Yep. And are we sending the pistol back? Yeah, the pistol goes back. Oh, oh, almost bottom. Here you go. Uh, let me actually go ahead and verify. I can look at the metadata of my, uh, my picture where I posted. I'll, I'll let you know right now. I, will grab Lucci, uh, uh, I took the final picture. <laughs> <laughs> I took the finals picture at 2:12 p.m. CST. <laughs> it is currently 3:51 CST. <laughs> it's been almost two hours. No, but be be mindful. Uh, we had to let him set up. They had a little bathroom break. It, it's not actually almost two hours. Yeah. We had other things going on that. But at least an hour and a half. Yeah, We've yeah. Been deep. Make timers great again, guys. Show me the big guy. We'll start with the card that Tempest. Don't oh, clutch into Moria. Moria. Looks like it's a replay of round one. Play Moria. Remove your Moria. Play Moria. Very hard for this deck to get there. Okay, we're doing the the little five, pushing in a little bit, cards out of hand. Yeah, I think we're losing our European viewership after this. <laughs> He already saw the leader. Do you just block Rebecca block and not lose the resource in hand because you can bring the Rebecca back nah, anyways? I don't go to one. Oh, okay. Okay, and so Rebecca the takes the block. And then the oh, the Moria from again. the uh, from Tempest Kick. He already had a Moria in hand, so now he has another one. Mm -hmm. So are we looking for a Rebecca for the uh, Helmet Boy into Rebecca? That would do it. If it helps you go to sleep easier, rest easy knowing that Lucci has won this route, you know. Yes. Who's um, Lucci? We don't know yet, we but we're getting yet. there. Yeah. No one of them did. We're going to be doing the Espendine effect. Full combo. Full combo. <laughs> looking for those I mean, three CP cards. cards. Oh, it's uh, Spandem, two Tempest. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah Spanish okay, right, Tempest. Right. And then we're summoning the Luchi from the trash over it. KOing the Luchi and the Gecko Mario. Mm -hmm. Big targets. Big, big targets. And they're getting scooped out to the trash pile. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see the Mepo come out. I'm so, so uh, not locked in right now. <laughs> Cameron is not locked in, they said. Yeah, because that was a uh, Hell Mepo that was overplayed by Spendine and then Luchi, mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. forgot about that reduction. That's why it's important to always mark the reduction mm -hmm. for that kind of scenario. Yeah, make sure there's no uh, little accidents on no miscounting little. and stuff. Because in, in black, math can be easily like, oh, mm -hmm. you're one over or one under. <laughs> Not even just the minus in, but also the dawn management the and dawn how many you spend. Yeah. Yes. And we're going for uh, easy five. Helmeppo and I missed the uh, last, the, the car before the Helmeppo. Mm -hmm. We uh, give the Rebecca. I mean, Re Rebecca consistently keeps this play going while uh, yeah. till one body actually sticks. Mm -hmm. Because if you just have the leader, the Rebecca is always taking that one hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did uh, Cameron also have a Gecko in hand? Did you catch one earlier? He already he played one. It was removed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does uh, so he have yeah, another one? <laughs> already, uh, he's at nine, right? So yeah, nine he up. has the potential. He's yeah, I sage the Moria, so he could be doing a Moria play. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he's he doing is, a he's hard, hard Luchi. Yep. Not removing anyone else, just one target for Luchi. And then he plays the Sabo this turn. To prevent another gecko play from the other side. But Luchi on uh, Holden's Luchi still has three bodies on the field, which might be putting Cameron in a tough, tough spot. We're now oh, Sabo we gaming. We saw Moria drawn from the Sabo. Ooh, pretty good hand. The stage, yep. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, swing uh, with Spandam. them. Keep them guessing, right? <laughs> Never let him know your next move. Okay. Five alive. Uh, still a incomparable board state. Uh, we do have more protection from uh, Cameron Sawa right now. Mm -hmm. And as we said earlier, Holden does not play the Brook. So they're going to have to uh, brute force it, attack higher. I mean, he got the Sabo rested? Oh, no, that was... Uh, so being blurred. That was last turn when he drew into the... Uh, no, he drew into no. the... Yeah, like okay, okay, yeah, everybody no, is KO That's already been done, yes. yeah, okay. He's just debating if he's going to free block with the Sabo or if he's going to pitch a 1K for it out. Yeah, I'm getting lost on the sauce already. Because if you do rest that Sabo, mm -hmm. he can just go all in on that Sabo and get rid of it. Uh, with Luchi mm -hmm. maybe swinging an 8. If you just counter 1k. And he swings 7 with the Luchi, you can mm -hmm. rest Sabo 2k. Both players have been at 1 life for... Um, 2 life. Mm, sorry, two, 2. Exactly. Um, yeah. It's, it's getting terrible. Day. Yeah, it's been it's a long been day. It's been a long day. <laughs> He's still deciding on that one. Okay, he's already go countered with a five. Khalifa. Six alive. Mm. He takes that one. Second last life taken and kept in hand. Okay, six with the Khalifa. Khalifa. What a six. We are pressuring it. Another 2k coming down. Maybe a 1k Sabo. No, and guys. yeah, Kaku. Oh, okay. Kaku. And then and he's comes gonna play Moria. Moria. Probably gonna be a, so a sort of value Moria. Rebecca into Searcher or um, Khalifa to filter the hand. But probably Rebecca. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just a Moria pass. 
pass, if I'm not mistaken. Mario. If only it was a Moria pass. If only it was a Moria no effect pass. I don't have to, but I think I will. Yeah. And then he plays the Spadan over the Khalifa. Gonna do search. Oh, we already we're going plus at you, okay? Putting back the uh, Ice Age, Khalifa, and Gekka Moria for a feature reference. Yep. Straight to the trash. And then Rebecca Effect is going to get another 2K. Mm -hmm. Seems like uh, they're... He hasn't uh, done Rebecca what, Effect what, yet. What are we getting into? Okay, uh, no trash. Looking for... Da -da 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 -da. We're looking for Maybe another Sabo as well. Mm -hmm. Sabo can always be picked back by Rebecca. I'll get you next turn. Don't worry. Yeah, uh, Khalif. No. Gotta find it. UK. Okay. Okay, so right, we are yeah, gonna yeah. do a Khalifa into blocker. That's interesting. Because there's no removal that can be done. Uh -huh. And we're putting in, uh, that's a... Uh, Akaku, Akaku Espadan, Luchi Khalifa. and Khalifa. Oh, Espadan, no. okay, Espadan, okay, gotcha. Spandan. All right, sounds good. And then he's going to summon oh, who from what? the trash no for the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a hand. Two Suro, one Spandan. Huh. Mm -hmm. He could use the Khalifa to filter and get a better hand. What are the ones on his right side? Uh, the two. It was two. Cameron uh, or Holden? No, no. I'm sorry, Holden. Okay. Yeah, he, he had two cards that were the same, uh, between the Surus and the Spandam. Uh, was, was it Sabo? No, uh, it was like in dark background, so I, I couldn't quite make it out. Huh. Let me see yeah. if I can pick uh, on it next time. Okay, let's do the. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely not Moria. <laughs> the Spandam. That's in this card. Uh, we'll yeah. Oh, he uh -huh. does summon <coughs> the Luchi for no effect. Just to bottom that cards, maybe. Put them very, back in the very game. Very possible. Yeah, Rebecca. Okay. Rebecca goes back. Ice Age stage. Maybe he's no, trying to go on the yeah. aggressive to have more able bodies yeah. to go ahead and attack more, as Cameron is in one life right now. Yeah, since he has two Rebeccas, um, mm -hmm. he can at least safely protect a little bit. And he has a good amount of counter in hand. Is that yeah. like four 2k counters? Double blocker. Um, Gecko, two Luchi. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, Cameron is swinging straight up six into another another uh, Luchi and holding his countering off with a Helmepo. Yeah. Six so Luchi mm. again. And, okay. I'm reducing the Moria. Brooke Sabo being trashed out. Yeah. Counter again. Okay, he's trying to set that lead out, trying to keep that board up. And we're starting to minus out into Gekamoria to get him out of the way. Tempest kick. Draw. She remove. Yeah. She play his own Gekko at this time. We're at two left. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for him to do his uh, own Ungabunga. No. Uh, Cameron yeah. doesn't run the eight call Sabo, right? I don't believe he does. I, I, I have see not on seen. Yeah, it, it would have been like seeing him play for two games, three, uh, four games. Going through whole deck. And not seeing that. No, yeah, yeah, we would have seen it actually. We would have yeah, seen yeah, no, it. Yeah, no. At least in this, uh, these games, because they're unlimited for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Should play over. Uh, Chris, I took the finals picture at 2.15. Oh, here we go. go. More Ungabunga. Since the Kako back or one of the events, another Khalifa. Khalifa, it's Khalifa, 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 Khalifa. Uh, Tempest Kick. Yes. Okay. And finalizing that bottom deck. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of wait a little. Luchi, removing Luchi Spandai, Luchiing to remove. Holding is out of Gecko. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this game is it, still pretty open. Uh, yep. Everyone still has their assets on board. Uh, just top decking one are pretty good, I'd say. That does help. Another very insightful comment is I think that when someone goes to zero life, someone is going to win here. That was very mm -hmm. helpful. Yeah, that was uh, super insightful. <laughs> Yeah, but that, I mean, they both have doll blockers. But Blocker, Sabo, Rebecca, Rebecca yeah. two Luchis, Gecko. That is oh, a scary he, board. He to is setting up now. a nice uh, board for a potential uh, lethal, probably. It's two life and two blocker. If he could have a way to uh, maneuver out of these two Rebeccas, that would be pretty good. Mm-hmm. One Sabo and it's five life, right? <laughs> yeah, these guys are just having a great time over here. Still haven't seen I think now I can I can confidently say this is the uh, longest final I've been I've been a part of. Mm, that's the I, longest final I've ever it, watched. Yeah, because I've been in um, one in Cancun and two in Mexico City, and yeah, and there were NL Katakuri for one. Another was, uh, it was Impact, actually, oh. on uh, Saka Mori, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then prior to that was RP Law against Green Purple Dofi. Oh, okay. So a big difference in those uh, decks for sure. Yeah. Soft 6, million 2 Sabos. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Reducing the Rebecca. Blocks with the reduced Rebecca. And... We're Ooh. gonna be hard casting a 2k okay. for the minus. And then the brook comes down and, and KOs the Sabo. Sabo. Mm, for five, he plays his own Sabo. Wow. Very nice. Okay. So he is pretty set up there. Got double Tempest Kick from his top so deck. So we're already coming down to the uh, bottom decks now. Yep. And then we're gonna go six lead. Right? That was six face. Because none of the Rebecca's or the Sabo can have, be KO'd. Uh, two in hand, I'm seeing, correct, right? Two, two in hands mm -hmm. for uh, Holden? Yeah. Three it's blockers. A, it's a 2K and a 1K, three yeah. blockers, non ko -able. Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, and our, I mean. He does not he have the best counter hand, but he could do a value one with, like, Khalifa into Searcher to filter mm -hmm. his hand, establish a blocker. But definitely Holden has set up a really tough board to go against right now. Two sixes, a nine, and your leader, of course. Uh, two two lives that Holden still has. Mm -hmm. He has a two K in hand and a one K. Yeah. Holden seems to have established himself in a really safe position. Very safe. Super comfortable. I don't think anything is happening this turn. Yep, he can just 1k out of that mm -hmm. one. Oh, 2k out of that one. Okay. And another, another six. That's a Rebecca block? That's a Rebecca block. Yeah. And Valuing the life more. Mm -hmm. He needs board to make sure that if he does block her up, like Sabo Rebecca mm -hmm. turn, he can still win regardless. It's all going to be if that 6k is going to go through on the Luchi. Yeah, I would imagine so. Uh, to four, yep. And then we're... I'm pretty sure his card in hand is a 1k. Milling, Rebecca, and Suru. 2k. To okay. counter. Last card in hand. The Gecko Swing. And now it's the free. The uncontested. Free yeah, but it was Rebecca. Now she's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to mm. do a Moria play. Filter the hand. Ooh. Oh, uh, playing tough. his gecko from hand, going combo to attain his blocker. Cameron is at zero life, uh, so it's looking like rough times. We're gonna find a 2k, zero cost event. Okay, okay, okay that's okay. not bad. Then we do Spandine to play Khalifa and filter. If he has a Khalifa and Spandine and trash. 
Not sure if he does. Or he just picks up a Kaku and... Oh yeah, he does have this Pandan in hand, even mm -hmm. better. Gets a 2k. Bottom three cards and play the Khalifa for a filter. Or maybe establishes mm -hmm. a Luchi same way that Holden did, in case he survives this turn. Mm -hmm. But with the 2-6 cost Brooks in hand, I think the Khalifa is more likely. Yes. Here you go. Khalifa for more draw. More draws. No, double brick. Oh, no. The finger pistol and... Tempest. That he bought on decks, right? Yeah. yeah. And they're going back to this card. Yikes. Okay, mm -hmm. now. He's playing the last. Drew, trying to find trying something. To Hail I mean, marrying. Get rid of that brick. He no. passed one blocker, zero life. And he has the the brook on the board that's going to mm -hmm. KO the Rebecca for free. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go all in with the brook. And then we have a, maybe keep yeah keep on done up for a seven if needed. And pop Rebecca. Yep. The instant KO. Okay, any counter out of ten? Is that ten? Ten okay. with the brook, and we and have Holden, Holden Miller it. taking it in a very contested mirror match. What a grind! Good game. Uh, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go ask him to come here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can bring him over. Can bring him over. Ah. Yeah. I'll bring him over. Yeah, thank quick. you. Bye. Yeah, so we're going to bring Holden over here. and Or they might want to do. Well, I think uh, Judge Eric is wanting to do their uh, top pictures. Mm. There we go. Yeah. We're doing pictures? Are you doing your pictures? Okay. Uh, can Holden come in a bit to uh, do a little interview too or not? Okay, we're gonna bring holding over in the meantime. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna talk to Chad a little bit here. Very contested, best of three mirror match between two very good players. You know, they did all they could. Their deck went all the extra miles to get him where they were at. We saw more than one, uh, sorry, more than four of each, basically, of your Camorias, Rebecca, Solis cards. So it was a lot. It was, so from, <laughs> Just to double check, because it was a picture taken that's not the same as posted. So when I posted the picture, uh, yeah, it was over an hour ago that I posted this, uh, this <laughs> final stream. So, yeah, it was quite a long game. But, no, I think it was worth it. It was uh, very insightful. There were some little previews here and there on how the game is going to play out once Sage gets gone. Uh, we did feature Cameron a lot during this tournament oh, earlier. in the winner. Yeah. Hello there. What's up? Come on down, get your headset in, get comfy. Yeah, and we are joined here by the winner, Holden Miller. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. yeah. We can hear you better that way. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Congrats, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, so like I said, you know, I'm saying in stream, holding is not a stringer to winning. You you did win with Queen back in, in the OPO4, four, yeah. set four. Yeah. Uh, and you've topped other events too. Like yeah. You travel. Well, you go to mostly the Texas events, probably, right? Yeah, I would this is my imagine. first time traveling outside uh -huh. of Nats. Well, it definitely but paid off, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was a very good opportunity. I also see you, you know, uh, playing on Discord a lot, doing some webcam games. Yeah, I play a lot. Yeah, a lot of digital ones. Uh, yeah. So it was super. How do you get all the patience to get through ten rounds and then all these rounds of top cut and see all these mirror matches? Because that was a very long best of three. It was. Um, we definitely went to time maybe twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I took this picture of you guys at like 2.12, and it is currently 2.12. Oh, uh, 4.12. Yeah, okay. So, so we went to time twice. Um, yeah. It's, it's fun. It's no. The game's fun, so it's like, yeah, no, I, as long as you're having fun, it exactly. doesn't feel too drawn out. We all saw how you had yeah, your interactions with Cameron, who's a local player. We know him, too. Okay. And you were having a good time yeah. based on what we were seeing over here in, in the uh, Always in the chatting podium. while we play. It makes it more yeah, fun. Yeah, absolutely. And it's also, you know, you're not in the zero bubble anymore, so it's yeah. way less pressure to of go course. around. Yeah, big difference from seeing the 16 match to the final match because, you know, you already got a lot of nice things from topping already, so... Yeah. Yeah, and you're playing. You already played Cameron before, have you? I think that's my first time actually playing him. Okay. I know who he was, but that's my first time actually playing him. Yeah, because yeah. I do recognize you for, from the Fires Raven uh, usual ID, right? So, yeah. uh, throughout this tournament, do you see any particular matchups that stood out to you? Anything that was like unknown or difficult? Like I had, I have friends, for example, that have made Top Cut 
and they ended up playing like a very rogue deck, like like Foxy, for yeah. example. Do you experience any of that this event? Uh, the most rogue deck I played was actually my one loss in Swiss. It was Yamato. Okay, so you did. Okay, so yeah. very similar pattern, <laughs> Yamato. And was it a land of one variant or a different kind of thing? You know, the game went so fast. So fast, I'm not sure exactly what he had. So it was aggro. But he he killed me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so it was a very aggro. But yeah. yeah, I seen a few are running the land of one because on, they have the Yamato. He did now. play uh, the four drop of two Yamato that rests of four or six costs, I think. The four drop six oh. K that has no counter. Oh, oh, the uh, the, the beast green form one. one? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So uh, I guess yeah. that's. Maybe that's Land of Wano. That, that is Land of Wano card yeah. for sure. Yeah, Momonosuke, Otama, all those searches. Okay, yeah. so that's, see, a lot of, of those decks, they just take you off guard. You don't know how yeah. to react to them. You don't play for those decks, obviously. No. no. Yeah, for sure. So at least, you know, haven't you finished X1 in Swiss? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it wasn't, you know, the one you gave it up and uh, you finished, what was your ranking for the standings last Eighth. night? Eight. So yeah, so you did get to pick a lot of your matchups. You know, you're going first, second for a top cut. I chose all of them except the last two rounds. Mm -hmm. Against Jonas in top four. And gotcha. Him. And throughout top cut, what do you end up playing against? Uh, 30 Luch seconds uh, and Law in 32, Law in oh. 16, Luchi in eight, Law in four, Luchi in finals. Man, you went through all the loss over here. Yeah. You wanted to took him out. Yeah, it yeah. was, uh, I actually tooled my way all the way to the finals. And then mm -hmm. finally went to a game three. You toured everybody else? Yeah, it was, wow. I was drawing really well. Okay, that, that's, <laughs> you know, you, I saw I see some of those draws. They were really good. Yeah. And, and uh, how often the did the Sabo uh, come into uh, being useful in your tournament experience? The eight cost or the five cost? The the big Sabo, yeah, the yeah. eight cost. Um. So they see you have something different. That yeah. Nightmare Luffy see. and the Sabo. They're a little different from what other people have. Yeah. The. I want to start with Nightmare Luffy because sure. that card. I played two black, yellow Luffy in mm -hmm. Swiss, and it won me both games, including okay. round 10 against the black, yellow Luffy yesterday to secure my spot. Mm -hmm. I had like three on board against him at the, uh, like, uh, one time. Oh, you played? And you <laughs> I played him five, lot. seven, and nine. And yeah, oh, I was wow. Like, so that card, I wouldn't even be in mm -hmm. top cut without that card. Very good tech card. Uh, and then Sabo, it was good in theory, but I, I didn't really have anything else I wanted it to be, so mm -hmm. I just played the one off for an extra big body. Mm -hmm. It came up like, I think, w I think literally once. Uh, all of my matches between Swiss and Top Into cut. Law or? I think it was Into Law, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is pretty good Into Law. Kills yeah. the pot drops, yeah. So um, besides that, did you have any matchups that you particularly, as, aside from this one, you had a lot <laughs> of fun. You know, basically, you had a lot of fun. Yeah. Like, do you have any match that you uh, stood out for you, that you enjoyed, that felt like really good contested back and forth, like maybe like the one with Jonas? Yeah, Jonas was, yeah. um, those were really close games. Even though it was a 2 0, they were both really yeah. close games. Mm -hmm. Um. And top 32, they were both really close games. Yeah, I mean, nothing stood out too much. Honestly, those were the closest and best games. Oh, I've yeah, had I'll, I'll say, you know, we, had a, we had a good time for sure. Yeah, this is uh, probably one of my funner finals that I, I've casted for sure. And yeah. I enjoyed the interaction and seeing how you have reached your bottom of your deck so many times. Because you can yeah. tell, because see, oh, it's Double Tempest, yeah, it's bottom deck. Yeah, yeah. He, apparently he's used to doing that. Mm -hmm. I. I only keep track of that against the Nell because I've never had that come up against any other deck, not even really? the Mirror. Really? Not, yeah, I've, all, I don't, I've, yeah. I've played against the Mirror as much as I should have. But okay. it's never come up, so I'm like, I, I wasn't keeping track of that game one. Mm -hmm. And then by game three, I was like, I'm too tired to keep track of this. Yeah, because <laughs> so. I, I would imagine it's like, this is going to come up a lot, and I was thinking in my head, like, yeah, these guys have to have granted this so much to not mistakenly deck themselves out. No, no never decking out. Yeah. No, no. I, I saw it in Swiss <laughs> yesterday. So okay. Somebody yeah. asked for Judge, and they were going to deck out because they had one card left in deck. Their draw was going to be the, uh, the loss. Yeah. And so it does happen. It does. You got to calculate yeah. it properly. Uh, but I guess it didn't really affect you, thankfully. No. Yeah, so... No, this was uh, a great showing. Uh, super cool that you made it all the way here to Peoria, yeah, and you fun. ended up the winner. Yeah. Yeah, so are we seeing you here at Fort Worth at the end of the month? Are you going I'm not to in it. Mm -hmm. I was going to wait list. It depends if I'm busy, though. I might be. Uh, uh -huh. Hopefully, but I might be busy. Yeah, I that is uh, the uh, 512 cap, I believe. So yeah. a little bit harder to get into for sure. Here yeah. we have more freedom, you know, more spots. Yeah. Harder to travel into. But you're close by the Dallas area, I you am said? local. So yeah, so you have you can have drive into uh, for sure. Panda Cards Fest uh, next yep. month. Same. Yep. Yeah. You're already set up. Yeah, you already have your invite from this. Yeah. So, yeah, you're just set. This is your, your invite, right? I uh, had it. You had it already? I had it. For, yeah. uh, okay, yeah. very cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, uh, well, do you have any special shout outs you want to give out to the uh, the stream over here? Um, shout out Joe, uh, Joe Fluffy, for coming with me, my roommate and uh, testing partner for a lot of things, mm -hmm. mainly law matchup, but obviously that paid off. Yep. Uh, shout out people back at uh, Common Ground in Dallas. That's it. Okay, well, uh, thank you for your time. Big congrats on, on winning. Uh, I will see you at Dallas as well, the uh, Carthus. Yeah, I'll be going to Carfest. I'll see you there. Yep. Uh, 
thank you so much, guys, for watching this stream. It's been awesome. Really lots of great gameplay, both day one and two. Had an amazing final here that was super contested, super competitive between uh, a local player and yourself. So uh, we're going to sign off over here. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next event.